Isn't this song about a depressed, sad, and fat Italian who streams weeb games and gets degraded by his chat? Shut up! Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, I saw some people like uh, subbing. I, I and I scrolled up and that they're gone. I'm sorry. Uh, Molotov. I'm gonna thank the people who I can see right now. Molotov, thanks. Alpha Boom Twack, guys, thanks for the resubs. And then I, I missed like a bunch of. If, if you subbed earlier and I, I, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, Bungie Gummy, thank you. Um, what do you think about, like, opening with, like, a song? Not necessarily that one, but maybe I'm, I'm gonna ask Enixada if I can get, like, uh, a zip file of all the tracks that they made and just, like, kind of rotate through all the different music that, that you guys have made for me. Mostly Enixada has made for me. That wasn't Enixada, by the way. That was, um, um, uh, hold on. It's on the Buru. I'm sorry. P uh, Potato, Mollusk, thanks for the resubs. Nintendo Donut with uh, the gift subs. Yeah, beans. Thank you for the resub. Bell, uh, Philosophy, thanks for the resubs. Um, you guys were all going to chuck one of these out there. My Steam Deck works again. My, the... My stream deck works again, thank God. Cozy and uh, Vixipede with the resubs, thank you. Uh, Mitsoda with the gift sub. By the way, the person uh, was Miska. Miska, 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 um, Miska Tonic? Miska Tonic. Microscop Kick. Microscop Kick. Microscop Kick. Mitsoda, thank you. 
Uh, D the Zombie with 43 months. TC Lords with 32 months. When are you showing whole? Oh my god, soon! What does it say? Can you read? It says soon. So that means I'm gonna show whole soon, okay? God, people are so impatient. Jesus. Um. Misca uh microscopic. D the zombie, thanks for the resub. Um I've been listening to that music, like that that track. I, I really like that track. That track is is really good. And thank you, uh Miska Microscopic for making it. Um Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna open with music. Uh every night and like let people get here i guess um vinny does that right does vinny not do that but he opens it with like i don't know queens of the stone age and then has to like edit it out afterwards so it doesn't get dmca'd on youtube or whatever like what is yeah i'm not gonna break the law yeah i'm not gonna i'm gonna do this with this music because i'm obviously getting permission to use it um get a loading screen that says loading cum shot Loading load, Draco, is right there. I'm letting my T count recharge. Um. Having a hard time organizing my thoughts here right now. Loading, loading th uh, thoughts. John Full Sauce trims the VOD. Yeah, I'm not, we're not doing that here. We're not trimming no, we're not trimming no VODs. We're not doing that. So that's the one problem with it. It's that if you're watching on YouTube, you have to sit through like a couple of minutes of music because I'm not going to edit it out. My YouTube um, editor is not going to edit it out. So, um, oh, by the way, yes, I keep forgetting to bring this up. Microscopic's gonna sue me. Micro, that I love that track. Like you, I can't even put it into words how much I really like that. Um. Uh, it's it, it, it's like just musically, it's, it's something. It's something I, I I would really like listen to. Uh, you know, um. We could yeah. So maybe potentially, Magical Boy is not gonna be with us anymore on YouTube. So, if you may have an interest in helping me out on the YouTube, specifically the full stream channel, and getting paid for it, uh, shoot me an email. Uh, no guarantees, though. Um, we're still working out. We may, we may not need you to, but if you have, because some people uh, emailed me about it last time, and I went with, I ended up going with Magical Boy. Um, there's an email in the chat. They may not be able to do it anymore so um we might need some help with it but but maybe not we'll just um i was there we was talking to spit about maybe taking on the responsibility but spit already does like so much on youtube right so i don't i don't know it's a, um i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it up to spit ultimately but um i don't want him i don't want him to be run ragged you know they said i have no life it's okay i well <laughs> We'll see. Well, I, you know, I want, I want at least to have somebody on standby, you know, in case you need help or something, or, or you know, like something happens, or, you know, one day you get, um, you, you, you get like cum logged. I don't even know what that means. You, you get like, uh, you know, overwhelmed and, and, and you just you can't do it. Maybe it's too much going on, or like you get sick with like, maybe your shit mites get too big or something, and you need a, a breather. That doesn't make sense. I guess if they get too big, they would start to hurt coming out. X Ninja, thanks for 15 months. Um, and uh, I'm I'm honestly really impressed you were able to give up the ninja life. That's not hard, dude. Uh, the statistics say that uh, 90 something percent of people who are ninjas uh, and and are recovering ninjas eventually relapse. So if you are uh, actually you know sticking with that, you're not going back to your you know your shinobi ways. Uh, that's really impressive, and I commend you. Um, good for you. Born a ninja, die a ninja. Show hole now. 
For those of you who were confused about that, I want to share with you this clip I saw. Or, or no, it's not a clip. It's just a screenshot of a thumbnail, I think. Or, or just a still frame of a stream that I saw on this website. Um, this, uh, this she, she's a hot tub streamer, and she put this on, 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 on screen. It says, squats on camera soon. Uh, at the time this screenshot was taken, she had, uh, she was up for three hours and 12 minutes. Um, she's up to 8k views here, and she had not appeared on screen a single time. So she, she cracked the code. Blue ha hey, thanks for four months. Alright. Squats on camera soon. Yeah, for th this this was just this this was just what her stream looked like for three hours, and she got eight k views. So that that's the that's the new meta, right? The game break. She found the game break, dude. So, um, now I'm not saying that I'm not gonna show whole. I'm just saying I might have gotten some inspiration from that. Bob is with 23 months. Thank you so much. It's got a little bit of... In I was feeling inspired by that. Right? Um. The new meta. Literally nothing. Showing a hole soon. Don't want to miss it. Is the Reign of Kings ad supposed to be in your account description? It is absolutely not. It is definitely, definitely not supposed to be. Thank you. Thank you so much. Should be gone now if you refresh. Thanks for helping me out with that. Esperate Cat and Plico with the resubs. Thank you so much. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna... It's like, you ever go to a bar and there's like this really old sign behind the bar and it says free beer tomorrow? This is just the Twitch stream version of that. Yeah, this is that. Chat, people in chat are saying no, because you're children who don't, aren't allowed in bars, that's why. Mike is reprinting yesterday's stream. The overwhelming majority of these people in this, in this watching right now were not at yesterday's stream. So yeah, I am gonna reprint it, okay? Isn't it TOS to leave your stream up without anyone on it? Not if you're doing a bit, though. The type of hole is not specified. <laughs> well, eventually, see, here's the thing. I did show hole yesterday because I streamed on kick, and you are allowed to show hole on kick. I showed hole. Um, and it was based. Got right, chat? It was very based. Um, everybody loved it. Dave the Diver's main goal is finding the blue hole, so it was fitting. Guys, I have to tell you. Um, that Dave the Diver game is amazing. I, I really like it. I played it for hours after that stream. After I ended that stream, I just kept playing it. <laughs> I played it for like another three hours. Totally turkey. Thank you for 26 months. Oh, we got a lot of first-time chatters here. I seen him in the chat. Thank you guys for coming. Borti, thanks for coming to check out the channel, bud. Um, yeah, no, Dave the Diver is great. I'm, I'm definitely gonna stream that again. Um, I might, I might stream that again tomorrow. Fuck Sonic. Honestly, I might. I think I'm just gonna stream that tomorrow. Cause it's fucking Sonic, dude. I play. How many times have I played Sonic Three and Knuckles? Yeah, guess I love it. But I've played through it, like, s since I'm, like, eight years old, like, d dozens of times. Sea Star with the full year. Thank you. Um, oh, and somebody asked how the Sonic Bingo works before. I wanted to get to that. It's per, it's per video. Okay. They Game Gear games? Dude, there are Game Gear games on that Sonic Oranges? How come? I didn't see them on there. Where are those? 
You want me to play low? I don't... You really want to see that crap? I had a few... I played a few of those games when I was a kid. I had a Game Gear. All 12 Sonic Game Gear. Yeah, I, I had some of those. I, I... What's the one when Tails is in a little submarine? I think it's Triple Trouble. I had that. Bag of rocks. Thanks for the gift sub. Elizarine, good to see you, buddy. I hope you're having a good night, man. I might play. Yeah, Triple Trouble might be might be cool. Might be cool. So, let's get back to the topic at hand. Fang the sniper is Triple Trouble, uh, Red Baron. I'm pretty sure. Back to the topic at hand. Okay. Uh, 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 I forgot what the topic at hand was. Totally blank. What? Oh, yeah. What are we doing tonight on stream? <laughs> well, we're going to watch, uh, you know, we're doing a Finger Family stream, which Finger Family has just come to mean f dog shit YouTube content. And it's all it is. I, I don't... I, we really should probably stop calling it Finger Family. We're just gonna... Wa basically gonna watch dog shit YouTube con content all night. Um... Some carefully curated YouTube. Algo vomit. Right. Um... And this... This... This particular stream has been requested and anticipated for a while now. Uh, a YouTube channel called Assassin Rapper. We're going to start off with tonight before getting into more, you know, the more traditional stuff that we do during these streams. But um, I don't know anything about Assassin Rapper. I've never seen any of, of their content. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they are. I don't know anything, anything about Assassin Rapper. So I am going in again totally blind. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it. Hell Whiskers, thanks for 11 months. This is my first time seeing Assassin Rapper. I don't know shit about it. Am I going to stream Pikmin 4? I thought I was going to stream Pikmin 4, but like... Why do I feel like most of you don't want to watch it? Fat jokes with 41 months. Thank you so much, man. Um, It might be backseat hell. Is it... I... I don't know. I, I will we'll say. We'll say. We'll see. We'll see. Well, Pikmin Four is like in a in a week from now, right? I already streamed all the other Pikmin games. Yeah. Never play a new Nintendo game again. Your stat. I know Static is saying it's gonna be like Breath of the Wild, where nobody comes to the streams because they're concerned with spoilers. People are gonna be like Pikmin spoilers. Pikmin spoilers. You guys gonna fucking shit the bed about Pikmin spoilers? Yes, it's a fucking Twitch stream. There's going to be spoilers. Are there Pikmin noids? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I I don't know if I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do it. We save Olimar. Saw this uh this tweet today where somebody used that meme of like the kids drowning in the pool. It was like the Nintendo Direct was the mom. And they were holding up the, the, the Pikmin fans happily. And then there was an a Animal Crossing fans, like, rotting on the bottom of the pool. And then you could see the Splatoon fans drowning on the side when it was like... Splatoon fans are, might be the most catered to Nintendo fans. In fact, Splatoon was incepted and had two sequels. And like fifteen, like con fifteen thousand, like content updates in the time between Pikmin three and Pikmin four. So who made that meme, and what is wrong with them? Meanwhile, F Zero and Star Fox. Oh, you can't say it about Metroid anymore. No, 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 no. We, I'm, I'm not procrastinating this conversation again. I am not, I am not, I just remembered. Okay. Something that we have to discuss. I, or re read, discuss. What's, what's their name? Uh, uh, the, we, okay. The We Didn't Start the Fire cover. What is, what is, what is that band called? 
Fallout Boy? Yeah? I thought you guys were, like, messing with me. They really did- They really rhymed George Floyd with Metroid. I thought you guys were joking. I thought you guys were fucking with me during that- that only upstream. Oh, they really did that. Oh, you don't believe me? Go look up the lyrics. Pleppy, thanks for eight months. Well, I mean, like, if you understand... If you understand the concept of that song... Alright, what it traditionally has been... Is like, okay, so when, when Billy Joel wrote that... He wrote the lyrics, it was just a series of things that happened... Over the course of his life? Starting with, like, when he was born to, like, when he wrote the song. So Fallout Boy tried to do the same thing. Electrum Vault, thanks for 14 months. So if you realize that it's, that the event, and the events are supposed to be in chronological order. So if you look at the timeline, right? So that happened in 2020. Okay, so then if you're going to say that and you're going to rhyme that, that, that man's name with Metroid... Okay. Siduri, thanks for seven months. They have to be referring to, specifically, Metroid Dread. Right. Because Metroid Dread came, was, was 2021? Maybe he meant Prime Remastered? I... So the... The implication, again, would be like... That the release of the release of Metroid Dread for the Nintendo Switch was a global event comparable to the first thing. That's that's the implication. That's the implication that was made there. I I, I mean, can you make any kind of sense out of it otherwise? They ran out of shit to rhyme- to rhyme with? I- The lyrics are Harry Potter Twilight, Michael Jackson dies. Nuclear accident, Fukushima. Is that re- are you recopy-pasting lyrics? <laughs> Guys, it's so bad. Don't forget- okay, so it-, it he, okay. Easy Man says that in the lyrics, they completely ignored the COVID pandemic. Which is ironic. Since it's Alzheimer's like neurological degenerative effect likely impacted their ability to write lyrics. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Go read the lyrics. You want. Yeah, Izzy, I'm gonna permit you. C can we, uh... Mo can I get some moderator assistance right now? Uh... Can we- can we get- hmm... Um... I'm sorry about the... Yeah, the assassin rapper. We'll get. We're gonna get to listen. The assassin rapper is not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Let me see the full lyrics right now. Let me see this full lyrics. A Fallout Boy cover of the Billy Joel song "We Didn't Start the Fire," covering newsworthy items from 1989 to 2023. It is again to recap. The they took one of the worst songs ever written and somehow made it worse by covering it. And that's coming from probably the biggest Billy Joel fan you're ever going to meet in your life. Okay. I that's that me I'm a, I have I've been telling you guys this. I I'm a massive Billy Joel fan. I have been for a really long time. And this is one of the worst songs ever written. I'll just tell you straight up. 
Okay, no, Assassin Rapper's not canceled, guys. You go fucking change your diaper and come back in five minutes, okay? Okay, so here's... Starting from 8, 1989. I will not be singing it. I will be reading them in an, in an atonal manner. I will not sing this. I refuse to sing this. Captain Planet, Arab Spring, L.A. Riots, Rodney King. Okay, so I'm already seeing a problem. They said L.A. Riots, Rodney King, if I remember correctly. Rodney King being, you know, brutalized and beaten was what started the L.A. Riots. So that's, that's chronologically wrong. It, it, and, and, and how difficult oh no it would have been difficult to, to reverse those because they had to rhyme spring with king so or, already this is already th this this is fucked they already they already blew it and then we have deep fakes earthquakes no cuz you said 1989 to 2023 and, and deep fakes is from like last year so what is that doing in the 1989 oh my god oh they they couldn't even do this right it didn't say chronological guys billy joel's is, is chronological the, the song is the song is supposed to be chronological Yeah, it's supposed to be chronological. That's the gimmick. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Guys. They flunked the assignment. Oh my god. Iceland volcano. Oklahoma City bomb. Kurt Cobain Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, dude, dude, I just felt my asshole invert with cringe. You know when you, you know when you cringe so hard, like your fucking asshole inverts? Holy shit. Like a reverse prolapse. I'll show whole later. I'll demonstrate later. <laughs> I'll demonstrate later. It's just, it's just, it's just jumping around in time. Right. Holy shit. All right, so <sighs> Oklahoma City bomb, Kurt Cobain, Pokemon. <laughs> Bro, I just got a very vivid image of like an electrode like exploding in that fucking in that in that parking garage or whatever the fuck it was. What was it? It was like it was a school, wasn't it? Holy shit. Oh, my God, bro. Timothy McVeigh was a fucking Pokemon trainer, dude. Okay. It was a government building? I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Ch chat's like, oh my god, Mike, why? B I'm gonna tell you why. Because Fallout Boy made me- made me think of it. That's why. Kurt Cobain was a Pokemon? Alright. Tiger Woods, MySpace, Monsanto, GMOs. None of that rhymed. None of that rhymed. Tiger Woods, MySpace. Tiger Woods, MySpace, Monsanto, GMOs. You gotta try hard to be this bad. You know what this reeks of? Like, tax write-off type shit. Like, you know how they say, like, Adam Sandler deliberately makes bad movies just to keep his friends employed and, and fucking, like, and, and write off the, the failure on his taxes? This is that. This has that energy. Harry Potter, Twilight, Michael Jackson dies. Okay, why why is it not rhyming though? Again, why is it not rhyming?
Uh, Harry Potter Twilight. Michael Jackson dies. Snape kills Michael Jackson. Page 349. Oilers! Oilers! Bro. Someone chat said this makes the original look like the work of a lyrical master, which it was. Billy Joel is incredibly talented. Okay, believe what you want. Like you can, you can hate on him. You can call him cringe. You can call him boomer music. You could say I, I, you know, he's played out. He's overrated. Like I've seen every criticism of him, and some of them, some of them border on valid, honestly. But like, you can't. I don't think it's a thing that you could take away from him. Like, it took talent for him to do what he did. Okay? The original Billy Joel song is not in chronological order. Yeah, it is. And if, and if it's not, it'll probably just be like, yeah, maybe, maybe like a couple years, a year or two. D these guys are doing like, like I'm seeing deep fakes in the first two lines. Okay. Scenes from an Italian restaurant is so good. Actually, scenes from an Italian restaurant was supposed to be two songs that he merged together. That's why it had those different parts. It sounds like a prog rock song, but it's actually two songs that he stitched together because he thought they sound good together. I can actually you about Billy Joel like all night, dude. You also have to remember that in Billy Joel's time, news came out a lot slower. There wasn't as much current thing in in his era, you know. But yeah, no, his his the the song sucks, but the fact that he was able to to, to do it is still impressive. This is somebody like trying to imitate like like a fucking, you know, uh, like a Michelangelo carving and it coming out like, you know, nailed it type shit. And it coming out looking like a, like a brain damaged like cartoon cat. Okay, that that's what this is like. Okay, carving a sculpture, bro. A sculpture. Does your search say "Welcome to Come Town"? It's this Resident Evil Seven shirt. Welcome to the family. It says. It's not in chronological order for the majority of the song. Opinion on Piano Man, probably one of his worst songs. But isn't that always isn't that always th the case though? Where like you know you 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 get into an artist and you find out like their their biggest hits are their shittiest are actually like among their worst songs. It's not bad. It's not a bad song, but it. You know, a lot of people think they think that's like oh that's. That's the iconic Billy Joel song. I don't think so. He has way, way, way better songs that like don't even get played, like on the radio and sh and shit. Like his some of his deep tracks are are like his best shit, honestly. Some of his serious some of his deep tracks are his best stuff. He never had any. He had very very little album filler. It's a radio track. It, dude. It's not a bad song, but it's again. Go listen to Miami 2017 or like, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, Zanzibar. Zanz Zanzibar gets on your nerves. Zanzibar is a, an amazing song. I don't, how do you not, how does that get on your nerves? What? No. That, that's an incredible song, Zanzibar. I love Candle in the Wind. Yeah, it's great. The Stranger is Bobo. The Stranger is amazing. I, I don't know what Bobo means. Does that mean good or bad? Oh, he auto-corrected. He said a bop. No, I love The Stranger. I have a thing for masks, if you couldn't tell. Vienna, Vienna is very good, but Vienna insists upon itself. Azrael. I really like... I, I, I like Vienna, but it insists upon itself. I will not be elaborating further on that. It does insist upon itself. Big Shot, now's your chance. Big Shot's good. Yeah, I the, I, I really like Pressure. I really like um, 
Yeah, moving out, moving out's good. Moving out's good. But I, again, I, I, I tend to gravitate towards his like lesser hurt stuff. I really like only the good die young, especially since I went to Catholic school. River of Dreams is a better song than people give it credit for. Uh, you got to remember that that album was was near like the end of his like. Not at the end of his popularity, but it was one of his later albums where people are like, Oh, this is the new stuff that I don't like. Meanwhile, it came out in like 1991 or something. For the longest time, I don't really like. He had that album where he dipped into like, like, like 50s, like acapella and like, uh, and like, um, I, I, I don't know, like, like, I don't know. He wanted to write like Grease or shit. Yeah, the do he, he leaned into like doo wop. I'm like, uh, it's not my that's not my favorite stuff that he did Uptown girl is on that. I don't that's that's like That that's like candy radio pop. That's not That's not some of his better stuff Well, pre no pressure is one of his uh, one of his best. I didn't want this to turn into a Billy Joel conversation Okay, I'm gonna get back to these lyrics. All right probably pissing people off Nuclear accident Fukushima Japan Okay, but here's the thing about that asshole. That's all the same thing. That's all the same incident. Okay? Yeah, I, I do sometimes like have it a music chat, but... You know. This is... Billy Joel's my, my, um... My wheelhouse, man. Um... Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid is fantastic. Uh... I'm, 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 mm, no, no, don't talk about, don't talk about Billy Joel, don't talk about Billy Joel for 10 hours challenge. Don't talk about Billy Joel for 10 hours challenge. Don't talk about him. Okay. Nuclear accident, Fukushima, Japan. None of it rhymes. Okay. None of it rhymes. Okay. And it, none of it, it's all the same thing. That's all the same thing. That's all the same thing. You just said the same incident three times. And you're saying that that's all different. Like that's all different lyrics. They're just saying things. Okay. To be fair, just saying things is the point of the song, but Billy Joel did not repeat the same idea three times in a row differently, okay? I tuned into the Jabroni Mike Twitch channel and he talked about Billy Joel for 10 hours. Great entertainer he is. Uh, Crimean Peninsula. I just got demonetized. Thanks, Fallout Boy. Cambridge Analytica. Uh, which again would be like 2016. All right. He then says Kim Jong Un, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man. <laughs> Fuck this. Man, that's bad. Man, I'm not reading the chorus. Verse two: More war in Afghanistan. I guess they're referencing the first song because Billy Joel sings about the Russians invading Afghanistan in that song. Well, he doesn't sing about it. He just says that because the song sucks. Don't forget. So then they're saying more war in, Afghani in Afghanistan. So they're referencing it. And then it says Cubs go all the way again. More war in Afghanistan. Cubs go all the way again. Does that rhyme? Nope. No. Well, that doesn't rhyme. Although I think there might was there lyrics about the Cubs winning the World Series in 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 Billy Joel's version. Listen to this: Obama, Spielberg, explosion, Lebanon. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. It's just like word association. Kindred, thanks for a full year, man. Obama, soda. Brooklyn's got a winning team in California baseball. Was like, uh, no, the Cubs are from Chicago. So I don't think that th those lyrics were referencing either of these things. Okay, Obama, Spielberg, 
Explosion Lemon 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 Stealing Horse. The musical depiction of ADHD thought process. It, but it, it, it's it's sort of like what it's supposed to be, but it's not bad. Like like Billy Joel would be like Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, right? Where it's like, okay, so he's okay, so he said Lawrence of Arabia. All right, was that was like whatever year that movie came out, British Beatlemania. He's referencing like, okay, so we're in the '60s. I get a sense of where we are in in the timeline. Okay, both songs are cringe. Yeah, they are, they are, but this is worse. Okay, he meant the movie, not the guy. He meant the movie, not the guy. Okay, but like. He's 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 saying he he's trying to say Billy Joel is trying to say these things because he knows how stupid the concept is. So he's trying to say these things in like a lyrical way or in like a kind of a, you know, interesting way. They're just like that explosion Lebanon that like somebody's playing like charades and you're sitting there and you see them doing things and you're like, oh, uh, the, the, the explosion Lebanon. Uh. You know, it's like. Explosion Lebanon. My God, that's bad. Gorilla meat. Gorilla meat. It's just like just 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 chucking just chucking words out there. Like he tried to rhyme the things. What he said? Okay, so one of the lyrics was like Edsel is a no go. It was like a car that Ford the, Ford made a car that sucked. Basically, long story short. Okay, and then he rhymed that with something else. I don't remember what it was. He didn't say like car bed. Okay, which is basically what what Fallout Boy just did. Like, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Explosion Lebanon. Unabomber Bobbit John. Bobbit John. John Bobbit. That the guy who got his penis chopped off. Nori attack. Thanks for five months. Who got their penis chopped off? Chevy. It was Chevy, not Ford. My bad. The bits you say don't rhyme with each other. The first and third line rhyme with themselves. The second and fourth line rhyme with each other. Edsel is Ford. Oh, well, the chat's confusing me now. Shut up. Uh, it... More war in Afghanistan. Cubs go all the way again. Doesn't work. Obama Spielberg. Explosion Lebanon. No, I'm sorry. What you're saying, does it, it, it still does not work, Pyro. You are wrong. That, that might be what they were trying to do, but they fucking failed. Miserably. Okay. Who's John Bobbitt? And what? In order to keep the rhyme scheme, they had to say the last name first. It says Bobbitt, comma John, bombing Boston Marathon. No, you cock. That. Okay, so dude, no bombing. At the so that's like it's like two separate things. It's supposed to be. I. I'm not saying it's easy what they tried to do. Okay, you understand what the problem is here. Okay, like bombing, comma, Boston, bombing, Boston Marathon. I don't think Billy Joel would have done it like that. Also, classic Carabelle, thanks for eight months. I think he would have found a way to like, I don't know, connect the thoughts. Okay, which by the way is one thought. Bombing Boston Marathon. It's just, it's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. I don't know what else there is to... There is to say about it. I know that reference. It's it's like it's like Ready Player One, the song. Nivis Shadath. Oh. Uh. My Steam Deck broke again. It just it just shit itself. Hey. Hey. Freak! It just stopped working. I I don't. I'm gonna unplug it maybe and try to I don't fucking care. Um
Lebanon rhymes with Q Anon. The, oh, it, but oh, so then that's really different from the first song. I didn't, li I didn't listen to this. Fat Mork, thanks for eighteen months, man. I can rhyme Lebanon and Pokemon together, similar to Billy Joel. Where's my Fallout Boy contract and money? Yeah, like maybe. I'm not saying it was hard what they did. What I'm saying is that they shouldn't have done it. Like I know, I know it was hard what they. It was hard. It was difficult. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's stupid and shouldn't have been attempted. Does that make sense? Even Billy Joel like regretted this. The, he regret, Billy Joel himself regretted doing this. Shit, mites, cum sock, silverfish, brain, rock. Yo, Joaco is trying to write the Jabroni Mike version of We Didn't Start the Fire. Balloon Boy, War on Terror, QAnon, Explosion, Lebanon, Unabobber, Bobbit John, Bombing Boston Marathon, Balloon Boy, War on Terror, QAnon. No, it fucking blows. It doesn't work. Guys, what's Balloon? Oh my god. I just like glassed over this, but gl glossed over this. Are they referencing the, vid the video game Balloon Boy from like 19... Like, 91? Time to learn about Balloon Boy. Under a rock. I'm living under a rock because I don't know about Balloon Boy. Okay, can you give me a one-sentence fucking synopsis of Balloon Boy, please? It was a hoax that some parents pulled about their son being stuck in a balloon. All right, let's be honest for a second, guys. How many of you are going to fucking remember that? And and how many of you are going to hear this lyric and be like, oh, I know what they're talking about. Really? When you no, no, not not the event itself. When you have it explained to you the way you just explained it to me because I fucking remember it now, too. I'm asking you, if you hear the words Balloon Boy, you're going to immediately think of that? Yeah. Okay. I don't think so, but okay. War on Terror QAnon. Listen to this. Trump gets impeached, impeached twice. <laughs> It's just, the lyric is, Trump gets impeached twice. Billy Joel would have been like, Trump gets impeached. And then like, like later in the song, would have said, Trump gets impeached again. Is what he would have did. He would have just said, Trump gets impeached twice. That's what I think he would have did. Alright. Internet historian did a video about Balloon Boy, and that's why most Zoomers remember it. Polar Be Trump gets impeached twice. Polar bears got no ice. <laughs> I didn't read the next one. <laughs> That's unbelievably bad. That's unbelievably bad. Oh my god. Yo, Wilkins Coffee with the gift subs. Thank you so much. Freak, 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 freak. Synergist with 17 months. Thanks, bud. Someone in chat said that's kind of based. Bro, that is not based. Who said that? No, that is not. That is not based, my guy. You got to go into the mechanic and get your baseometer checked out, bro. Zargantex with 52 months. Thank you. Firefest Black Parade. Okay, I remember that. Firefest. I don't know what Black Parade is. Firefest, Black Parade, Michael Phelps, Y2K. No, 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 no. That definitely does not belong there, man. Yeah, they're referencing my, oh, the My Chemical Romance song. Oh, is that the, the edgy garbage that Shadow the Hedgehog was singing in that fucking cringy fanfic re we read that time? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. 
Michael Phelps Y2K, Boris Johnson Brexit, Kanye West and Taylor Swift. What did they fuck? What is that? Stranger Things Tiger King. <laughs> fuck you. And then it says Ever Given Suez, which is fucking obnoxious because Billy Joel did that. Right? Under a rock. I don't follow celebrity garbage, guys. Yeah, his lyric was trouble in the Suez, and it was like at the and I don't even know what the fuck he was talking about, honestly. But it was at the end of the verse. It was at the end of the verse, and guess what? Fallout Boy did the exact same thing. Fucking cringe. First three, Sandy Hook, Columbine, Sandra Bland, and Tamir Rice. I didn't, uh, who were either of them? Isis, LeBron James, Shin, Shinzo Abe, blown away because in the original song, it was JFK blown away. Right? Yeah. Listen to this. Meghan Markle, George Floyd. Burj Khalifa. Metroid. That's that's the star of the show right there. But Metroid, I know Metroid. I love Metroid. Yeah, Metroid. Yeah, yeah, Metroid. What Metroid game? Okay. It is obviously has to be. Okay, again, if you. It, it, Okay, if it's 1989, and you okay, we we now know that they're that they're jumping around in chronological order. This is this is not a chronologically, uh, you know, what the fuck is the word? The song is not in chronological order, so it could literally be any Metroid except the original one because the original one came out in 1987. This song, uh, the events of this song begin from 1989. Okay. Could be Metroid Prime. One, two, three. Could be Metroid Fusion. I think it's Metroid Dread, personally. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't fucking matter. Because it shouldn't be in this song. Because this is a song about historical events. Ostensibly. Or it's, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about historical events. Is any video game getting released a historical event except maybe like I don't know, like like the advent of video games themselves? It's certainly not a Metroid game. But maybe like okay, I don't know, Tetris, I Halo, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. What is? What? It should, be, it should be Metroid in here. You obviously wanted to put George Floyd in here, but you couldn't rhyme anything with George Floyd, so you just slammed Metroid in there. And it's obvious that that's what you did. Okay, Gollum. It's like, <laughs> Gollum! <laughs> Jabroni Mike full of cum. Rockin' Brain Gollum! We didn't start the penis. We didn't, we didn't start the semen. We didn't start the semen. That's what. <laughs> we didn't shit the shower. <laughs> shit the shower. Oh my god. No, the point. There shouldn't be Metroid in here. Write your own version of this song. No, because I value my fucking time, and I don't want to be fucking ridiculed. Okay? Well, I mean, if I, didn't, if I didn't want to be ridiculed, I wouldn't stream on Twitch, but... Alright. Fermi Paradox. What is that doing here? Venus and Serena. Michael Jordan 23. YouTube killed MTV. SpongeBob, Golden State Killer got caught. Michael Jordan, 45, Woodstock, 99. Keaton Batman, Bush vs. Gore. I can't 
take it anymore because yeah he says that at one point in the originals and oh this is fuck this fucking hurts bad i'm sorry everybody i'm i'm sorry guys i i i'm i'm sorry i i'd like to see somebody I, I, I want to explore the possibilities of a Jabroni Mike version. Hesher asked chat GPT to write a version of the song. May I post the link? Not now. We'll never get to the content tonight. Okay. We'll never get to the... No. So, hold, hold on to that though. Okay. Hold on to that, please. I would like to see that at some point in the future, but not right now. Okay. Okay. Here's the last verse. Elon Musk Kaepernick Texas failed electric grid. <laughs> but that, but that's, but that's like, but that's, oh my god, that's out of order. Like the whole sentence is out of order. That's not. Texas failed electric grid. Like, did you guys forget English? Elon Musk, Kaepernick, Texas failed electric grid. Jeff Bezos, climate change. White rhino goes extinct. Great Pacific garbage patch. Tom DeLong and aliens. Who? Mars Rover Avatar. Self-driving electric cars. SSRIs. Prince and the Queen die. Oh, like Prince. Like, like. And <laughs> Prince. That Prince. Yeah, that Prince. I'm like, well, Harry died too. I must have missed that. Yeah, maybe I am living under a rock. Holy fuck. Uh, did they think they were being clever with that? What is SSRI again, guys? What What is that? Why do I not? What, what is that? I don't even know. I, I feel like I did know what that was and I forgot. What is that? It's antidepressants. The antidepressants have existed. Shut up. World trade second plane. What else do I have to say? I... Yo, uh, World Trade Second Plane. Hey, Pyro, you want to explain to me how that rhymes? I got to say, it's very sus how you've been defending this song all night. Yeah, he said no. Uh, that's what I thought. Holy fuck. Fallout boy in chat. Yeah. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What a fucking abomination. Can we actually applaud... Like in a in a way, this is again. It's impressive to suck this much ass at something. Holy fuck! Like, hey, you gotta try. So, like, can we can we actually applaud the fucking the failure here? I guess you could say they fell off. <laughs> Chat's not funny. Shut up. Like, like, like. I mean, when you suck this much cock, it's gotta be like that's gotta be worth something. Right, being this painfully bad at something is impressive in its in its own way. Right? If you want to see people defend it, go to the Fallout Boy Reddit. Oh, I I don't think hmm, that's got to be real painful to, to witness. Like imagine the, the mental gymnastics of people trying to explain why actually this is brilliant. They didn't reference Waco. They didn't reference Waco. Um, all right, so I know a lot of you guys, I, I saw a lot of people in, in chat not enjoying that diversion. I apologize. Uh, we will get back to your, uh, regularly scheduled, um, diarrhea, uh, in just a moment here. Um, uh, you guys, they're clamoring for the shit. They're clamoring for the shit. Right, it, 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 it is remarkable that COVID was not mentioned in there. That's something that again killed tens of mil tens of millions of people. That that is that is. I mean, dude, when I first heard that they covered that and updated the lyrics, my assumption was like, oh well, the whole thing's gonna 
be about COVID. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Fucking amazing. Uh, it, it was like it, it's. You know what it was? It was like a, you. It was like you had a one job. You had a one job situation. Like literally, you had one job. Like if, if there was one thing that should have been in there. They didn't want to be demonetized. They didn't want to be demonetized. All right, so guys. We are now one hour into the broadcast. We have not watched a single fucking video. I do apologize. I do. I am sorry. Okay. Fruit Machine, thank you for five months. Without further ado, I am now going to show whole. Okay. Um, I have to manually do this because my again my stream deck broke let's make it two hours guys i like to ch I, again look at the, look at the category of this of the stream i rest my case okay samus ice missile the pentagon stop it says b riddle again this is the assassin rapper i explained this earlier i'll explain it again i don't know anything about this youtube channel other than it looks like he uses the same animation program that trouble busters does she loves working with bees. If Tara has a bee in her hand, what does she have in her eye? Nothing? Because beauty is in the eye of the bee hole. What do you mean? What do you mean it's over? What do you mean is it You telling me that was the whole video that was the whole video guys? That was the whole that was the whole video the whole video. All right, we have to um go in the settings here, show uh setup because we need to, you know what? I guess we don't need to do that. All right, let's talk for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk for an another hour. Um, Karen was driving. Okay, so this one looks like it actually has more music talk. Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of, it's kind of like we talked about that, and then we just like dove into this shit, and it was like a it was like a really jarring kind of a like whiplash, you know. Um. I would really like to, again, we, we went into config editor, config, and we had the, uh, uh, what was it? It was, uh, playback. It was autoplay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think that's, I think that's fixed now. It's not fixed. Okay. Karen was driving down a dark country road just beside the woods. She was tired. Show config setting. Uh, show config editor. Playback. Keep open always. Playback will never automatically advance to the next file. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Auto load folder. Yes. Yes. Do that. Yes. I think. Um. I, I I used to be able to click between the videos with, with whatever. Karen was driving down a dark country road. First thing we got to talk about is the accent. Just beside the woods, she was tired and wanted to just get home. As she was driving, it felt like she was getting nowhere. She felt like she was falling asleep so much. So much. Sounds German? He sounds German. He felched? He, he felched, guys? Like she was driving. It felt like she was... It felched. Something felched here, guys. He's Irish? Karen was driving down a dark country road. Oh my god. Is he Irish but trying to, like, sound American? Is that what that is? Is, is he, like... Is he Irish but trying to, like, suppress his accent? Just beside the woods, 
she was tired and wanted to just get home. <laughs> that's what that, <laughs> that one dude. That's what that sounds like now, though. That's what that sounds like to me now. As she was driving, it felt like she was getting nowhere. She felt like she was falling asleep so much. That's what that's what it sounds like. An Irish person trying to like kill their accent to sound American or something. Holy shit. Guys, is this not music related? Does he Does he not rap? What about the rapping? Where's the rapping? Was I What do you mean no? He does. And she didn't want to and wanted to just keep driving and driving until she was at home and get into her own bed and fall fast asleep. She knew she had to stop to have a rest, so she parked her car. Did you hear that sentence, dude? Th th this guy writes lyrics for Fallout Boy or some shit. When she was stopped, she went to open the door to get some fresh air. But Explosion. Lebanon. Bombing Boston Marathon. She porked her. She porked her car, guys. She went to oh sleep. She knew she had to stop to have a rest, so she parked her car. Parked. She porked. When she was stopped. She went to open the door to get some fresh air, but she was locked in the car. The car. Karen has a hammer. What way could Karen get out of the car when the door is locked? <laughs> what the fuck is this? You can listen to some music while you try to come up with the answer, and I'll be back in a very short moment to give you the answer, and you can <laughs> see are you correct? <laughs> Bro, I'm so un I'm so uncomfortable. It makes me dude, it feels so uncomfortable. Dude, I'm like dissociating. The way he's talking to me, it feels like 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 we're on mushrooms together and he's trying to freak me out or some shit. What is this? Literally, it's it's it, it's surreal. That no, that's that's the word. It's surreal. Absolutely. Guys. Why can't she just unlock her car and get out? I'm confused. Was I maybe I wasn't paying attention? The bootleggers found the Dora the Explorer format for adult stuff. Hook hand car door. Why does she have a hammer? We're being Coco Melons. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that. She's in the passenger seat. Yeah, where's the steering wheel? Music. While you were. I hope you enjoyed the music. <laughs> wait, wait. I hope you enjoyed that music. <laughs> while you were considering how could Karen get out of the locked car with a hammer inside? Did you what say she could break the window? She could, but then her dad would be mad that she wrecked his car window. She had realized that all she had to do was open the door, knowing car doors don't be locked from inside. Yeah, but motherfucker, would that... But obviously, but you made it seem like that wasn't even going to be... Is he self-aware and he's fucking with us? Okay, he's got to be... He's self-aware, right? Like, he's a shit, he's a shit poster. He's just shit posting. He's gotta be. No, he's gotta be. Come on. Look, that's that's hilarious. It was her paranoia and tiredness made her think the door was locked. Made her think the door was locked. Naughty little farties. Holy shit. Dude, tell me that's the end of the video. Holy shit. Holy shit.
Oh my God. Yeah, because you implied that there was something wrong with the door. That's why you did the, the whole thing. Dude, there's no way this guy's like this for real. There's there's no way he just, he just this man just lives his life like this, dude. I, I refuse to believe it. On. All right, so it looks like we got Karen was so another uh, another video here, similar type of a thing. The riddles are misdirection, but. but oh. an ad online for a life coach with a guaranteed plan to make their life better in every single way. Jake thought it was just a load of marketing he taught and advertising rubbish trying to sell an idea. But, but like again he doesn't sound Irish he sounds like he again he's trying to learn English as an I I don't dude it yes Irish people speak English as usually like a first language that clearly what I mean he sounds Irish but he doesn't at the same time right it, it's very strange like you you, you 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 hear the Irish in there but you don't hear it sounds like he's suppressing it or something to work in any way there's something wrong with it like it doesn't sound like a Genuine Irish accent. I don't know how to explain this. But he was hating his life so much, he thought to himself, what harm would it do? He made an appointment by sending an email, and he arrived in the office the next day. The man introduced himself. Hello, Jake. Nice to meet you. It's as Irish, but something's off. My name is Robert Sampson. I am very pleased and thankful that you chose to do my course. This is a plan that has been guaranteed to work. I'm waiting for Hikari to show up. Just you wait and see. Your life is going to take a huge turn for the better and you will be happier than you ever were. You will be happier than you ever imagined. All you need to do is relax and go with the flow. All you need to do is try to relax your anus. Hey, Jazzerx, thanks for coming to check out the channel tonight. He said he's extremely Irish, but is trying hard to cover up his accent. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. ...of the plan, and you will find that your life is absolutely amazing, and you will finally be able to feel the power of now. You will be able to focus on what you love and who you love, and be able to get rid of all the negative energy. My happiness is growing larger. My body is storing happiness in my penis. That is holding you back. The session lasted for about an hour. Within days, Jake's life had started to get so much better. He got a girlfriend. Just like Robert had promised him. He got a girlfriend. Right? Because everybody knows you can't be happy without a girlfriend. CBT, Wikipedia, thank you for three months of support. Thank you. He was so happy. He met a new girlfriend called Brooke. Brock? Bro! She's gonna give you the jelly donut. And they had a great day out in the carnival. The next day he went swimming, which he loved, but recently hadn't the mind to go. A week later he- And he became a rock star. Even joined a band and became the lead singer, which he always dreamt of doing, but didn't have the courage. If that wasn't enough, himself- Why, why doesn't he like- did, He speaks in run-on sentences. It's not even editing. I think he's just reading a script like that. Like he doesn't know how to pause between sentences. And his new girlfriend, Brooke, traveled to countries they had only dreamt of going to. Brooke! <laughs> Brooke! <laughs> but now could afford because of the money that was rolling in from the band's success. Robert was. It is an edit. I just heard the, the, the breath cut, you know? This is where he hijacks the plane. Uh, the pauses aren't good content. Yeah, maybe he's maybe his audience like tabs out the cock porn if he pauses between his sentences. Right? He's a voice actor they hired. No, this is this is him, right, guys? This is not somebody from Fiverr. He's from Cork. Okay. 
is he Irish or is he like maybe a second gen generation migrant, uh, immigrant? What is it? Like, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying desperately to figure out why he fucking sounds like this. He's trying to say Brooke. He's trying to say Brooke. He's trying to say Brooke. What's up, Dave? He's from Cork. He's a nut plug. Dave, I want to play the Seinfeld audio, but my Steam Deck broke. I was so excited when it was when it was working earlier tonight, and now I'm like so bummed out that it just died again for no reason. Very happy, which the progress he was finally achieving. He hated the teething problems with his other subjects. His his what? His his teething problems? Bro, he's got the uh, <clears throat> the AR uh, cock porn goggles that we saw the other night, right? The progress he was finally achieving. Vinny enjoyed that video, by the way. He hated the teething problems. Which the what problems? I can't understand him. His other subjects. He hated the te the teething problems with his other subjects. Dude, somebody's getting milked. And that was a shame. Those very nice people looking for help only. You hear women who breastfeed complain about that. You know, sometimes their nipples get really, um, get really sore from the, you know, the babies like biting the nips and shit, right? Um, that, that's cha chafed, right? Nursing mothers will become, they will have teething problems with their udders. I mean, like, what else is he trying to say? To wind up dead, he. F I have to. Wait, I'm, I am fucking losing my mind right now. I am losing my goddamn mind over this. Progress he was finally achieving. He hated the teething problems with his other subjects, and we will never know what that fucking actually say. That was a shame. Those very nice people looking for help only to wind up dead. He felt stupid that he didn't take into account they would die of hunger and thirst. <laughs> I just figured this out. I just figured it out. He, so this is like his horror story, right? So the guy he puts, he puts like a, a, you know, a classified ad for like, you know, job interviews. And then they come in and he puts them in a VR headset. So everything that the main character has been experiencing was in like, a, was in like sword art online. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking. It, 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 oh my God. <laughs> it was like it's like they asked they asked the chimpanzee to like smoke crack and write a black mirror episode <laughs> okay or 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 m night Shyamalan. either one we either way either one holy shit dude but this was going to be different they got a chimp. They taught him some basic sign language, even though you guys said that's not possible. And then they gave him a fucking, like a, like, a crack bowl. And they were like, here, smoke a bowl of crack, and then gave him a typewriter. And we're like, we need you to write the next, uh, the season, uh, season opener for, uh, for Black Mirror. He sorted. Someone in chat said brown mirror. That problem. <laughs> yeah, because it has chimp shit smeared all over it. These pots wouldn't let Jake die <laughs> like the others who were plugged into the Digiverse. The Digiverse! <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Oh my god. 
Digimon Digital Monsters. <laughs> Bro, no, that is, is that not what they called it in Digimon? That is what they called it, right? Holy fuck, they did. <laughs> Uh, yo, in two minutes, thank you for 17 months, bud. Thank you. Holy shit. It, it, no. All right. They didn't, they, they didn't call it Digiverse. They called it the digital world. All right. Holy fucking shit. Eat your heart out, Zuck. Created to them feel here and see a world <laughs> that was beautiful and amazing. But these pods should be able to solve that problem. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm going to back it. I just want to, without the pausing in the inner, I want to see it the way it was the intended, okay? Which the progress he was finally achieving. He hated the teething oh. problems with his other subjects. And that was a shame. Those very nice people looking for help only to wind up dead. He felt stupid that he didn't take into account they would die of hunger and thirst. <laughs> but this was going to be different. Jesus. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I know I said I wouldn't pause it, but holy fuck, I can't even, I can't even focus on this. So he thought, he thought, he, he like forgot they needed food. The, the, like the antagonist guy, right? Like he forgot they needed food and, and water. Dies of thirst, new emote. <laughs> new emote dies of thirst. Dies of thirst. Dave thinks he meant weaning instead of teething. Like weaning yourself onto in, like onto the, the VR world, maybe? Like weaning yourself into the into the like the metaverse. Sorry, the digiverse. Out of the VR? <sighs> He sorted that problem. These pods wouldn't let Jake die like the others who were plugged into the Digiverse. The others. You will live in the pod. Created to them feel here. You will eat the cope pods. And see a world that was beautiful and amazing. Alright, let, let's, be, let's be fucked up for a second. Yes, I am going to pause this again. Deal with it. Okay. You all seen Black Mirror and shit. All right. No, because it, all right. No, no, no. Cause, cause in, in, in San Junipero, they died. Okay. That's fucking, uh, that's fucking spoilers. All right. I don't want to spoil. I really don't want to spoil that for anybody. Okay. Yeah. Somebody died. Okay. Somebody dies in all of them, whatever. But like what I'm fucking, okay. Here's what I'm asking you. Okay. This. Okay. This. This, this right here. Okay, there are multiple Black Mirror episodes like this. I'm not fucking, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling anything. This, okay? Do you, do you, do you go for this? Okay, so they put you in a pod, okay? Matrix type shit. Do they put you in, the, in a fucking, in a fucking pod? And they put you in a fuck Matrix, okay? No? Why not? Guys, who gives a shit if it's not real? Fez, thanks for the full year, bud. Who gives a shit? You go into the bro. Do, if you were, if you remember in the Matrix, there was a character who was like, "Fuck it, yeah." And he and he sold out, you know, the other, the the rest of the protagonists to the robots because he was like, "Put put me in there, put me in that Matrix, put me in that that Matrix, make me rich, make me powerful, give me a big dick." Give me fucking cars and, and money and it's just a healthy uh, uh, body, okay? Like, I, right, right, right there, I'm in. You tell me you plug me into this thing and I can live like a crazy fantasy? Okay? And just do whatever and fly? I can fly. And my knee doesn't hurt all the time? Yeah, put me in there. What are we waiting for? Who gives a shit? Who, oh, it's not real, though. It's like, shut up! Who cares? Grow up! It's not real. What's the difference? You think you're going to fucking know? You're not, you're not going to know. You're not going to know. Because in the Matrix, they told that guy they were going to wipe his memory too before they put him in there. They were like, we're going to wipe your memory before we put you in. So he's not going to remember that, they, that the Matrix even existed. 
Okay. Mike dies in the Sword Art Online tutorial. D good. No, you can't die in it, okay? Somebody didn't watch Matrix 2. There is only one Matrix, guys. Okay? Most of the horror comes from the limitation or restriction that would come from it. You, you, you know, you know, you know why they fucked up in the Matrix? You know why the robots lost ultimately? Like, you know what? You know why? You know why the bad guys lost in the Matrix? It's very simple. They made one critical error. They made the life inside the Matrix lame. Like, why did Neo have to go to a shitty job every day? Why did that? Why do that? They easily could have made him like a fucking, you know, a rock star. They explained why bullshit. Okay, run, refresh my fucking memory. Why did they? Why? 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 I'm waiting. Why? They explain it as that their brains always rejected a utopia. Why? Was that the only line of dialogue? I mean, dude, if, if, if some moron ever comes up to you and, and, tries to, and tries to fucking pitch you on like this, are we living in a simulation bullshit? That's the first thing you should say to them. No, we're not living in a simulation because look, because look, because if it was, it would be great. It would be a paradise. They didn't explain. They just said paradise didn't work. That's because they weren't talented. Sorry. Okay. They said nobody believed it. Maybe if it was like something about how psychology, the, the matrix is not as good as everybody thinks it is. Let's get that out of the way real quick. But like psychology of like how the human mind like craves misery or something like that. I'd be more, that, that would be something I'd buy. Right? Like the human mind wants to exist in a state of maybe unhappiness or something. We're hardwired to doom. That's what I'm saying, Joaco. You get what I'm saying? Something like that. It had shoddy writing. It did. It was, it was, it was, it did. It was all over the place. It was full of holes. It was weird. It was like, but why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? And if you had been in like the writer's room, you probably would have just got backhanded and told to shut up. Because, like, they obviously didn't care, you know? Um, anyway, what I'm saying, okay, here's what I'm saying. Maybe we'll do a poll. Let's do a poll on this. Okay, let's do a poll. I'll play this in a fucking second. Calm down. All right? You have an, let me explain the scenario. You have an option to go into a simulation. All your wildest dreams come true. They wipe your memory so you don't realize you're in a simulation. You live in whatever the fuck your fantasy is, whatever the fuck it is. Everything, everything you want. Whatever it is, everything. Okay? Do I have to eat bugs? If that's your fantasy, is your fantasy to eat bugs? If I come in the simulation, do I come for real? You would, no, because if we did that, you would just drown in the pod filled with your own cum. You would just drown in your own cum. No. No, the cum would contaminate the, 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 the LCL fluid or whatever the fuck it is, and it would get in your lungs and you would, you would drown in your own cum. But Mike, that is my fantasy. God damn you, this chat. God, God damn you. Oh my God. No, because if, if okay, no, no, shut up. Because if drowning in, in, in your own cum is your fantasy, then that's going to happen in the simulation, guys, okay? Okay, so you go into the simulation. It's whatever the fuck you want. You could be a dragon. You can be a, a, a you know, you could be a, uh, if you want to be, you know, if you want to live in like Victorian England, or for some reason we could do that, whatever. St. Gilf, thank you for 19 months. It's literally whatever you want. You want to be Gollum? You can be Gollum. I'm telling you, it's whatever you want. Okay. All right, you want to be your first Sona? We could do that, okay? A cum breathing dragon. I told you anything, okay? 
We wipe your memory. You don't know you're in a you don't know you're in a simulation. Do you go in? What's the downside? There is no downside. There's no downside. None. 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 The you know what the downside is? You're in a simulation. Uh, your body sits in a tube and atrophies, which is guess what? It's doing that anyway. Guess what? Take it from me. Go staring down 40. Your body's gonna atrophy regardless, guys. Okay? Coley, thanks for the, the, the super chat. You'll get bored. Uh, Dave says you'll go insane and get bored and go insane. Nope, doesn't happen. It, was, it doesn't happen. You have an infinite simulation in there. You have an infinite universe to, to, to explore. It's just, there's, there's literally no limitation to what you can do in there. After millennia. No, it's infinite possibilities. There is, there is no, there's no running out of, there's no getting bored in there. Can I talk to real people? No. No. No, and I'm going to tell you why you're not. Well, you, you don't know that, it, that you're not talking to real people. I'll miss my friends and family. No, you won't. They're in there. They're in there. They're in there. Okay? The reason you can't do it with real people is because that would be too hard to program. Because everybody has their own unique simulates. You, you can't observe somebody else's paradise because it, 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 it has to be personalized. You know what I'm saying? So no, you can't talk to real people in there. No. No online co-op. <laughs> no online co-op. Do you allow a person to end their own life? Dave is really worried about getting bored in, in a millennia. Yes. Okay, yes. If you decide you want out, you could do that. Okay? Yeah, it'll just, I don't know, it'll kill you. Yeah. It'll... What about Splatoon? Are you asking me if you can play Splatoon in the in the, in the in the in the simulation? Wisp, you can be Splatoon in the sim. You can be John Splatoon in the sim. You can just become a woomy and, squ and swim around in squid cum all day for eternity. Why wouldn't you do it? Can you leave the simulation? You can't leave because you don't know you don't know you're in it. You don't know you're in it. Okay? Chad is uh they have said overwhelming 64% would would have their memory wiped and go live in the simulation because again, why wouldn't you? Imagine you're walking down the street and suddenly you see Triple X cockfucker 98 has invaded your world. Yeah, it's it's like we put we put PVP like Dark Souls PVP in the simula <laughs> simulation. Right, you want to be happy or miserable? Tough choice. 32 35% of chat voted no. Basically, we just saw 35% of this chat say, "No, I like being in the shitty real world and being unhappy." I wouldn't give that up. I like being in pain and having a shitty fucking corporeal body that fails constantly. And I like having to poop, you know, I, I like the, you know, the disappointment and the heartbreak and the, and the fucking, I love when things are bad in, in life. That's great. We like it. I like it. I like that. No, that's good. If it's escapism, but you're not going to know that it's escapism. I'm telling you. Arguing in bad faith. I'm in bad faith. I'm I'm arguing in bad faith. Am I? Well, well, how? I mean, maybe. Uh, how? Yes. How? Tell me how. You're so fun to listen to. Are you being sarcastic? Okay, let's put it into perspective. In a language you understand, do you prefer sandbox mode or campaign? In that scenario, I know I'm playing a video game. I feel like you guys aren't listening to me. You're not going to remember what you wanted in the first place. Hi, lady truck driver. Thanks for... um. 
listening to the stream on the big open road tonight. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the stream. Just make sure you pull over to the rest area before you start typing and chat. You're not going to remember what you wanted in the first place if they wipe your memories. Are you the same person with the same wants with no memories? That, uh, that, that's the best point that any of you made. Escapism is bad. You're all gamers. Escapism is bad. No, that lady truck driver just brought up the get the best point. I think that was the best point right there. You're not gonna, you're gonna be like, what's happening? Okay. You're gonna be like, well, I deleted your comment, Matt, because it had spoilers for San Junipero. Okay, I don't like that. All right. I'm I'm saying I'm saying. Yeah, you wouldn't remember. I okay, maybe this is stupid then, because who even are you at that point? You're you're like, well, I'm in this fantasy and everything's great, but like, why do I like it? No, because I think you can want things inherently without having like memory. Like you, your identity is intact, but your memories are erased. That's possible, right? Yeah, that's possible. Put Grandpa Mike back in his in his simulation pod. Uh, isn't the Barbie movie something like this? Stop spoiling the only movie that is visible to the human eye in the past fucking 20 years, please. Thank you. Okay? I want to go see Barbie. I would like to have it not spoiled, all right? Okay? You know why I want to see it? Because I can see it. Somebody, one of you, okay. One of you emailed me. And we're going to look, we're going to look at an email real quick. Okay, we're going to get back to the shitty video in a second. Inu Oblivion, thank you for uh, the uh, super chat. Ten bucks, thank you. Okay, well, seven bucks, but thank you. Um... One of you, Brandon, if you're in the chat, they emailed me and they said the following. Hello, come man. I just saw a geriatric man stumble about for two hours. That's right. I went to see Indiana Jones. Michael, I am disappointed to report that there are parts of this movie that are so fucking dark. They could have shown Harrison Ford's nutsack on this 50 foot screen and I would have missed it. There was a Barbie trailer shown before the film, and it felt like getting hit by a flashbang, but in a way that did not make me uncomfy. Thanks for taking the time to read my report. Logan Brand, thank you for the report. He's seeing, he's telling the truth. Yeah, because these movies are, are not visible. You, you can't see anything now. Okay, you can't see shit. Okay, I'm hoping at least Oppenheimer, like, maybe you can see something when one of the nukes goes off. Like, because, you know, the, the nuke will, will, will fucking, like, you know, illuminate the area and you'll be able to see something for, like, one second before you get fucking melted. Jesus Christ. The nuke will blind you. And I'll still be able to see more than I did it in, in, in fucking Morbius. Dark is the best trend in movies. I, I'm, you know what? I'm not going back to a fucking movie theater until they fix this. Until Hollywood stops this fucking madness, I'm not going back to a movie theater. Oh, Coley, hey, thanks for the super chat. They said, uh, they filmed Oppenheimer in IMAX and IMAX makes sure the films are visible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Skeleton Saint, thank you for two full years of jabronification. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> what about Tenet was inaudible? Yeah, Tenet was dog shit. Tenet was complete, complete dog. Tenet was very, a very bad movie. On Also, Dune was fucking inaudible. Remember Dune? 
Remember how all the dialogue was was like whispered and it was fucking impossible to hear anything that anything that was said in the Dune movie? Remember that? The, the, the movie was well done, but it was fucking inaudible. It was slow as fuck. It was true to the source material, King. You know, so I mean, like, take that for what it's worth. Um, the new Spider-Verse was inaudible to the point they sent out new versions after Static saw it. Really? It was that bad, huh? All right. Fucking big, 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 big tangent. Apologies, okay? But these parts should be I'll back it up a little bit. ...here, and see a world that was beautiful and amazing. But these parts should be able to solve that problem. Jake doesn't know either about Digiverse. He doesn't know he's in a part. If he would, wouldn't he freak out, of course. <laughs> Robert looked into the pot at Jake, wondering how his life in the Digiverse was going. Did you hear the way he breathed? when he, That was the end? That was it? <laughs> that was it! <laughs> That's fucking bad. Oh my god. Dude, is, is he self-aware? Because, I, I, guys, I have to tell you something. He might be a genius. This is fucking awesome. Like, this is great. This is fucking great, dude. But these parts should be able to solve that problem. He's sincere. <laughs> Jake doesn't know either. He doesn't know either. He's in the, the Digiverse. If he knew he was in a pod, he would freak out. About Digiverse, he doesn't know he's in a pot. If he would, wouldn't he freak out, of course. Of course. Robert looked into the pot at Jake, wondering how his life... It's like... Oh my god. Like AI generated creepypasta? Listen to how he pronounces going. In the Digiverse was going going very dramatic and breathy right I wanted to put that impact on the final you know that that's the gut punch right there that line of dialogue right we've been trying to figure out if this is shit post or genuine for years holy shit it's supposed to play the next one but it doesn't which is actually perfect holy shit all right um, music video. All right, so this is going to be it. We're going to hear this guy rap finally? We're going to get, we're going to get, oh shit, guys. I hate, I hate to tell you this. Okay, somebody in chat reminded me of the, um, the fa uh, Finger Family. Uh, contest. Okay, listen. I really want to do it, and I really want to do it soon, but at the same time, I told you guys I was going to think about it. Okay? I told you guys I was going to think about it and get back to you. I proceeded to completely forget about it and not think about it at all. But I thought about it a little, a little bit, okay? It's gonna be soon. It's going to be real soon, guys, because I think, I think it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be a really solid charity stream to look at your videos during a charity stream. I think maybe because we're trying to do, we're trying to do at the end of this month, we're trying to do a St. Jude's fundraiser stream of conscience. Okay, we're now in the phase where I ping everybody in the server and tell them to um, pick out their time slots on the schedule and everybody ignores it. We're in that phase right now, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to ping them again tomorrow and we're going to get this schedule filled out. We're going to announce the dates and then we're going to, and then we're going to maybe, we're going to maybe do a, for, for my slot, for my charity thing. You would have about, I think you would have about three weeks to make, to make the, to make them. 
Okay. And then if you don't make them, we just, you know, we just, uh, I just do whatever. It's not that big a deal. If we don't, if we don't have enough, there's other shit to watch. It's fine. Um, Yeah, but yes, also, I'm not going to give you dates yet because they're not, like, solidified. Okay, but but expect it sometime uh, the end of this month. Stream of Conscience, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Okay. Save a date that I didn't give you yet, okay? Um, and put aside a couple of bucks for the, uh, for the charity. Uh, for the charity drive. Um... Does the best video get to see whole? Soon. Soon. He's finally gonna rap. I wish I was a wizard. Maybe things wouldn't be so hard. Conjure up some magic. Shine bright like a star. I wish I was a wizard, oh yeah Where magic happens every day If I was a wizard, I was a wizard <laughs> It's overlapping! Yo, Justin RPG vibes, dude. I thought maybe I things wouldn't be so hard He's like trying to harmonize with himself. Conjure up some magic I was a Shine bright like a star I I wish was a was a Yo, he's Dr. Manhattan wizard, oh yeah. Guys, this is not rapping though this Magic happens every day <laughs> Was a wizard, I'd come up with some plan to the world stop fighting. Did diseases disappear and darkness turns to bright and live in a world. And darkness turns to br to brighten. And darkness turns to brighten. There's there, there's no uh, there's there's no captions, so we can't hear the lyrics. Red Vox hits different. Hi, Free Killing. Thanks for checking out the channel tonight. He sounds like Wacko from Animaniacs. Because Wacko has a Liverpool accent, and this guy's Irish. That's why. George Floyd, Metroid. Explosion, Lebanon. Waco from Animaniacs? Yeah. Well, the God with and fighting. Holy fucking shit. Fighting. Did diseases disappear and darkness turns to brighten? Darkness turns to brighten. Live in a world that God would find inviting. Live in a world that God would find inviting. Who's this? No more pain, no more suffering. <laughs> He's fat. Look at his fat. If I was a wizard, those are some of the things I would bring. That was it. This was the situation that time where when my sister told me to put my roll away. Remember that? She was like, Michael, put your roll away. It was like this. He's talking about living in the pod. He's talking about living in the pod. The Digiverse. There's a McDonald's back there. <laughs> yeah, look. Magic happens in the world every day, guys. If I was a wizard, maybe things wouldn't be so hard. Conjure up some magic, shine bright like a star. Who are these people? Super Dino with nine months. Thanks, bud. The Bungle Baby will be born. I wish I was a wizard. Oh yeah. It's all stock assets. Yeah. Magic happens every day. Wish I was a wizard, oh yeah. So it seems like like his wanting to be a wizard is mostly about like wanting to get laid and like have a girlfriend. Because like he keeps showing like peace somebody getting married and then like women. Magic happens every day. I guess like have kids. A family, you know. Go to the park, get wet. 
Yeah. Bro, yo, do you see this couple? They're playing Poo Finger, guys. They're playing Poo Finger. Remember Poo Finger? Yeah, so his his magic is literally just gonna be like casting spells to like get laid. I wish and like get a girl. Like he's just gonna cast a spell to like get a girlfriend. Like that's literally all it is. Like that's the only reason he wants to be a wizard at this point. I was a wizard. Are you talking about world peace? No, it was to get a girlfriend. Maybe things wouldn't be so hard. Conjure up some magic Shine bright like a star Yeah, it is ironic because he wrote this song and this is gonna get him further from from women even more Someone in chat said this is this song is woman kryptonite <laughs> I wish I was a wizard oh yeah Where magic happens every day Yeah, what? What is what is that? Who is that him? Who <laughs> is that him? I wish I was a wizard, oh yeah. Dude, this is not good, guys. Holy fuck. Oh. I was a wizard. He died in the wizard world. Well, maybe wizard. Be like there's a plot here. Like he he dies or he his spirit I could do like a more shoe remix with this. Uh he somebody di he died. Somebody died. And then these hands like showed him some women. Dude, this is I I, I can't <sighs> He just wants a uh he wants a spell that he could cast to like get laid. He died and went to hot chick heaven. Yo, who... Who didn't hear about Pooh Finger? That, that was on... That was the... That was kick... That was the kick stream. The kick YouTube stream. Should we tell them about Pooh Finger? Don't tell them? I don't... You know what? No, they don't need to know. The party was full of people. Suddenly there's a power cut. There's this shitty, like, uh, what is it? Vi, uh, Vi animate? What is it? The, the shitty dancing that they always do in the Trouble Busters videos? Vi Viand? Yeah, Viand animate. Everyone keeps dancing even though they can't see. The lights come back on. The room is full of people, but there's not a single person in sight. Huh? But I can still see them? He forgot what words mean. How is this possible? It's a pawn. It's a riddle. It's a riddle. You know what? I'm going to say I need more than the nine seconds he's giving me. The lights come back on, but the room is full of people. But there's not a single person in sight. I'm going to figure this out. Everybody has their eyes closed. Because everybody has their eyes closed. Even though you can see that their that their eyes are uh, are open. Everyone is married.
Yeah, I get it. I, I I wasn't thinking the right way. You know, you don't have to. You you have to engage your brain in a certain way to like interpret these things. Two police officers. You have to re you have to go into it a certain way. And be like, okay, this is a riddle. You have to lower your IQ on purpose. Yeah, yeah. The tr the trick is not to think. Two police officers were driving down the road on a quiet summer night when they spotted something strange. Lateral was thinking. A car. Lateral thinking, yeah. Lateral thinking is, I think, like important for, for comedy too, you know. Stopped at the side of the road, but it was in a position that a car shouldn't stop in since it was out in the middle of the road. Two of the police officers. What a redundant fucking way to say. It. My God. Walked around. Gorilla meat. Yo, this is the in the the very similar to the intro of the gorilla meat video. To the car to investigate, and they nearly got sick when they realized what they saw. They had seen a woman lying lifeless inside the car with towels stuffed into her body and most of her organs removed. One of Towels? The police officers turned around and got sick, but the other was more experienced and was used to seeing sick things, so he just sick things took out his notebook and started a writing B bowels down and notes. Then he ran back to the station. To the vomit came out of his nostril. Call in the crime scene. The police officers wondered what type of sick person could do that to anyone. They wondered was it some dark ritual or even a sacrifice taking the baby out of the body because there were really really strange stories around the town for years and years of witchcraft rituals in the woods and this road was by the woods. When they went back by the woods to investigate more looking into the car they felt a strange presence and when they looked back into the back seat they froze in fear of what they saw they turned <laughs> around and saw a baby stare at them and not cry or whimper but they still knew the baby was alive. Fat they baby. They couldn't comprehend how the baby got into the car and also wondered how the baby could have survived being taken out of the mother's body. The also, it was a hot day and they didn't roll the windows down. Two officers seemed to be in a daze. When they took the baby out of the car, one of the officers realized there was a newspaper article stuck in the baby's hand. Kid's an avid reader. It was as if the baby was clutching onto it for dear life. The newspaper article was about a serial killer that died, killer. died in prison. Two like, that's not Irish. Like, an Irish person wouldn't pronounce that that way. Like, two days ago, and before his death, he became obsessed with being reborn through a human sacrifice. It sounded sick. So he didn't read on. One of the officers had a crazy idea he didn't tell anyone. A kidder? You would pronounce a kidder? Irish people. We got I we got iroids in the chat. Kidder? You would say kidder. But since he had the opportunity, he went ahead with it. And knew people in the right places, so he got someone to run a DNA test on the baby. Ash it's he's the father. He's the father. He's gonna be the father somehow. It's the baby stand user's origin story from part three. Shiver ran up a spine. When he realized, a hit came up on file, which was the same match as the murderer who wrote the notes about being reborn through a human sacrifice. Oh my god. Oh man, that is brutal. Picture the scenario. A woman shoots her husband, then holds him underwater. That evening, the woman and her husband have dinner together. How is together? Together. This possible, you might ask. This riddle you don't get to see the real crime scene, 
but from what I just told you, can you give me a rational answer as to how the couple went out for dinner together? together. I repeat, a woman shoots her husband, then holds him underwater. That evening, the woman and her husband have dinner together. A woman, okay, let's, let's, let's do a, a, a woman shoot. I can't believe I'm fucking playing into this shit. A woman shoots her husband and then holds him underwater. Like, he's insinuating that, like, she shot and then drowned him. Holds him underwater. Uh, uh, all right, so it's like, like, take it literally, right? Maybe. Or like, okay, she shot him. Maybe with a camera. She took a picture of him. Okay, so he's alive. Took a picture of him. And then hold, held him underwater. Even though they, they showed her with the gun. They showed her with the gun. They showed her drowning him. Okay. Shot him. Shot him with the camera. And then uh, held them underwater. Um, I don't know. Took, gave him a hug in the shower. Gave him a hug in the shower. All right. How is this possible? Once again, here is some music. Do you try to put your detective yes! skills to work? I'll be back after this short music and give you the answer. As somebody in chat pointed out, when you, when you um, develop photos, you put them in water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Polaroid, like a Polaroid. Well, not po po Polaroid didn't need to be developed. They developed instantly. That was, the, that was like the, the, the point of a Polaroid. That was the selling feature of a Polaroid. Um, hey, Joel, uh, this is the kind of brain te teaser my math teacher would show us at the start of class. If you got taught by somebody who is repeating shit like this, I'm surprised you can do basic kindergarten addition. I'm surprised that you, you, if you had a teacher like this, that's malpractice. That person should not be allowed anywhere near inquiring minds, okay? Oh, Dave makes a great point. That shit that you use to develop photos is not water. It's like a chemical of some kind, right? And you can see, did you put your detective skills to good use? Also, as somebody else pointed this out, she could have killed him and then got married to a new guy. Dude, if she did take a photograph of him, it's fucking bullshit because you can clearly, they're showing us with the, the guy with a bullet in his head, man. He's got a bullet in his brain. And then you're gonna turn around and say like, oh, it was a wordplay, tee fuck you. This is kind of poopy music. You I hear the fecal sounds in the back. I hear them. They're, they're quack, 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 quack. I'd wonder how can the man go for dinner with his wife after being shot and held underwater. But did you listen to my words carefully? I clearly said that you don't get to see the real crime scene. What those uh, words meant he did say that. were that the woman shot her husband with her camera and held his photograph under water to develop in the dark room and then they happily went out for dinner together. So there is brain dead. Yeah, the word is brain dead. Your answer. If you got it right, kudos to you, Kudos? <laughs> kudos? Lumbo? Kudos? Got it right? Kudos to you, Columbo. Kudos to you, Columbo. <laughs> Fuck off. Kudos. He said he was going to show us a crime scene. Or he, we weren't going to be allowed to see the crime scene. 
But guys, there was no crime scene because no crime took place. But he all insinuated there was a crime scene because he showed us this. He showed us this. He showed us this again. He showed us this. Okay. He showed us this, this, all, all again. He showed all of all of that again. Okay, that should sure does look like a fucking crime scene. Dude. I don't even, I, oh my God. And, and this, this guy still, he still makes videos. How does he do on YouTube, this guy? Like, is he, uh, is he, is he popular? Like what's going on? Like, how's he? He does daily slash weekly videos. Yeah, how the view, how are the views? He's got 9K subs, that's it? Let's just say he gets the views he deserves. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything anymore. Okay. Of course he's popular. YouTube is brain dead. He'll get about 300 views. He should be getting... <laughs> if, if, if you take that logic... Okay, I mean, dude, look at some of the shit we do watch on on, on during these streams, and, and and see how and, and look and see how how many views it gets. He should be crushing it on that website, dude. He should be get, yeah, he should be by, by like all reasonable uh, and I'm I'm on ironically. He should be absolutely crushing it on YouTube. Joe was a therapist that saw lots of different patients. He was a therapist? Which different... Something to do with turtles? Problems. But little did he know that one of his patients would create a huge problem for him. Huge. Joe was having an affair with... He's a terrorist. ...the lady called Lucy. But unluckily for Joe, one of his patients, Tom, spotted them kissing on the street one night. Are they kissing or is he just like, I don't know, sniffing her hair, like doing a little, like getting a little Biden action in there. What's going on here? I, is that a kiss? I think he's just mashing his face into like the back of her head. He's licking her jaw. Bone. Joe was kicking himself how stupid he was, but his patient Tom would not give up on it. He knew he would not give up. Ever until he got what he wanted. Until? Guys, until he got what he wanted? Until. Until. Guys, you're not gonna fucking try to seriously tell me that people in Ireland pronounce that word like that. No, you're not gonna fucking tell me that. He knew that was his MO. Joe worried about it a lot until one session, Joe had a plan. Tom had threatened Joe he would threaten tell his wife about the affair and Joe knew he wasn't kidding but Joe came up with a plan that okay, he knew would work what does he want is he blackmailing him what does he want Joe said to Tom okay Tom I know that I've been sitting here telling you for months about you having to control your urges and I know that you have some what urges? You're not telling us shit! Crazy fantasies that would get most people locked up in prison. But I have an idea for you. I created a plan that you could live out one of your fantasies that you were always talking about. This fantasy, Tom, is what I'm talking about. This fantasy would get you locked up, and I mean locked up for a very long time. But what I'm getting at, Tom, is I can make this happen for you. I can make this fantasy become a reality with no repercussions. I, I, I want to, let me try to find the right way to put this. Listening to that and what, listening to all that dialogue and watching this, it, 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 it felt like somebody like removed the top of my skull. Like, you know how they do that when they're going to do brain surgery? Like, they like they saw through somebody's skull and, like, removed the top of their skull to work on the brain. Somebody removed the top of my skull to put and put my brain in a deli slicer. And, like, very slowly was like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and just like slice really, really thin slices of my brain off, like slow. That's what it felt like. Like just someone was just like, someone came in and was like, I'll take a half pound of uh, Jabroni Mike's brain, please. No problem. I got you. Just hang out a second. Yeah, just, one, just give me one minute. You got it. Scorn. <laughs> Scorn. <laughs> My bologna brain in a deli slicer. Very thin slices, though. Very thin slices. Like, I'm talking like, like, like paper thin. Because it happens slow, right? Billy and Mandy shit that would totally happen. What <laughs> happened, Billy and Mandy? A hundred percent like a Billy and Mandy bit. Yeah. Tom gave Joe a curious look, wondering what he was about to say. Then he said, What is this plan of yours, may I ask? Joe took a breath and said, Okay, well, I never gave in to one of my wives. I've been deletized. ...fantasies, for the simple fact I know this might sound hypocritical when I'm a cheater myself, but I would never want my wife to sleep with another man. However, it is one of her fantasies to a stranger walk into her bedroom in the middle of the night and have sex with her. Now... <laughs> Gendo moment. What I am offering you is that chance to you be that stranger to walk in and have sex with my wife. But <laughs> only if you promise me you won't breed a word of my affair to her. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Yeah. And don't ever breed cock mode engaged. Breed a word to her or anyone else. Tom sat back smiling. Captain John Luke Picard to engineering. Jordy, have we engaged the cuck drives? Cuck drives at full speed, Captain. Engage. Smiling, then said, Now, I must say, that sounds like a plan. Joe and Tom spoke for another 15 minutes, organizing to him call over tomorrow night. I can't fucking follow this! Fuck! Say, that sounds like a plan. Joe and Tom spoke for another 15 minutes, organizing to him. Put the cock hat, uh, the, the cock hat on the, on the call over tomorrow night. He gave his address and time. The next session, Joe was feeling a lot better as he knew Tom loved the plan and he had promised not to tell his wife. Now that he is giving him the chance, of having sex with her. Lisa. <laughs> so the. <laughs> so the. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the. So the. <laughs> the plan is. The plan is. Okay. So his patient saw him cheating on his wife. He's threatening to go tell his wife. For some reason, he was he wants to fuck up ruin his therapist's life for some reason, even though you know, uh, presumably, you like your therapist again. My thing is, like, oh, is he trying to blackmail him? Is he trying to get something out of him? Does he want something free therapy? Well, they didn't tell us that, okay? So he goes, All right, so the therapist has a plan. He goes, All right, so this guy tells me about, I guess, you know, his his like in fantasies all the time, okay? Yeah. I'm going to allow you to come into my house at night and fuck my wife, okay? As long as you don't tell her that you saw me cheating on her. Do I have it? Do I? Do I? Because her, because her fantasy is like somebody comes into the house and fucks her. Like, uh, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, that type of thing. 
I, I think that's what's I think that's what's happening. Who was Joe's next patient? She was beaten. A stranger, yes. Getting fucked by a stranger. By her husband from fucking. All right. So this is a new character now. Giving him the chance of having sex with her. Lisa was Joe's next. Sex with her. Sex with her. With her. Sex. Guys, do you call it sex in Ireland? Iroids. Do you call it sex? Do you, how do you pronounce sex in Ireland? How do you pronounce that? Yes. We call it shagging. Yo, how many Irish people do we have? We have there's a lot of people, a lot of Irish people. Guys, I want to come back to Ireland real bad. If I come back to Ireland, can you guys, I don't know, buy me Guinnesses? Iroids. Iroids in chat. Isn't it 5 a.m.? Yeah, it would be like 5 a.m. there. Thanks for watching, guys. From the uh, Emerald Isle. Next patient. She was beaten by her husband for months before she finally had the opportunity. Oh, it's 2 a.m.? It's 2... Belostomy said it's 2 a.m. IRA roids. Why do you guys got to bring up the worst thing imaginable right now? Shut the fuck up. Let me. You know what? Shh. That he is giving him the chance of having sex with her. Lisa was Joe's next patient. I want to go back to Ireland so bad. I want to go see that 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 fucking. Uh, what was that thing we saw in, in GeoGuessr? The hostages, the ho the hobbit hole of the the hostage hole. Remember that? Hostage hill. Yeah. Someone in chat said he wants to see the Blarney penis. She was beaten by her husband for months. Okay, so this character gets beaten by her husband for months before she finally had the opportunity to leave him. Joe asked how things were going. Lisa said, I am so jumpy at everything. I can't even walk. Iroids. That was, you know, how I, I love to find out, like, I, I love to put oid on the end of everything, but iroid is a little, that, that, that's a little clumsy. Yeah, that one's not working out that well. There's 18 iroids in the, in the chat. According to the poll. Down the street without thinking my husband is following me. It's got so bad, I sleep with a loaded gun. The next day, Tom was happy. Yeah. Iroids. Oh, all right. I, I, Canadoids, Americoids, Mexicoids, um, Britoids, obviously, uh, Frenchoids. He is going to tell this guy, yeah, all right, so that my wife, this is where my wife is, come in and have sex with her, he's gonna break into the house, the woman's gonna pull the gun on him and shoot him, and then this guy's problem goes away. About what was going to happen tonight, he smiled at the fact of him getting the chance to sleep with his therapist's wife. Why is chat waltering? What, what is the, why is, why is, why is there Walter in the chat? Why is it? The way you said it. Ah. Oh. Here's what you're gonna do, Walter. You're gonna go over to my wife's house. You're gonna break into the house. All right? You're gonna go have sex with my wife, Walter. Put your penis away. I'm not having sex with you right now. You're gonna have sex with my wife, Walter. Go in there. She's gonna pull a gun on you. She's gonna shoot you in the dick. All right, and you're going to die, and then that's going to be the end of the story, and then my problems are going to go away, Walter, okay? It all felt so... Here's what you're going to do, Walter. You're going to cock me hard, and that's going to make my cock rock solid, Walter. I'm going to be sitting in a corner of the room in this pose right here while I watch you go balls deep into my wife, Walter, and it's going to be extremely erotic, all right? Then that's going to cause me to come buckets, Walter. I'm not even going to touch my dick. That's how hot this is. I'm just going to get... It's just going to fucking shoot out like a fire hose. Totally hands-free, Walter. All right, Walter? Okay, Walter? <laughs> Exciting. 
to him, a stranger walking into... <laughs> I regret, listen, I regretted it before I said it. Someone in chat said, you can't spell Ermintrout without NTR. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Okay, that made it all worth it. Right there. That made it, that made all of it worth it. <laughs> It's a very fun voice to do, Walter. It is very fun. I don't think I'm that good at it, though. But I enjoy it. It's fun for me to do it. It could be better. I Maybe if I practiced it, maybe I would have to watch the show again, Walter. And that's so why I could get better at it. You know, I gotta practice it, right? A room in the dark and having sex. That night, he drove over to Joe's house. The door was open. Hold on, I want to back. What did he say? That sighting. To him, a stranger walking into her room in the dark and having sex. That night he drove over to Joe's house. The door was open and he walked up the stairs to the room where Joe told him his wife would be. It was exactly 1am and Joe told him he would be gone out for a walk. Tom walked up to the bed and could see Joe's wife lying there. He wondered was she pretending to be asleep Lying door. or was she really? He kneeled down next to her, about to kiss her, when her eyes opened and she screamed. <laughs> she reached for her gun and shot Tom in the head. Joe looked out from his car across the street smiling, <laughs> knowing that Tom will be no more problem to him, and he drove off proud of himself for giving Tom the address of his patient Lucy, who he knew had a gun. As if like, he's, he's like telling us the twist in case, you know, we didn't figure it out on our own at this point. Right there beside her bed, he smiled wondering, did she not realize she tells him every single session about having a gun by her bed? You really don't need to explain it, man. He knew she would blow Tom's head off. Yeah, we know, we know, man. Really, man? Instantly, once she knew a stranger was in her house, Joe drove home. Yeah, there's a minute left. I thought this was the end. And snuck back into bed. He was hoping his wife wouldn't wake up. Luckily for him, she didn't. He didn't want to have to explain anything. He was looking forward to the morning to tell his darling wife how much he loved her. There's 30 seconds left of what? Like and subscribe? Um, her eyes are open now? Oh! I am so sorry I was having an affair with your husband for the last few months. I made a mistake. I couldn't stand the guilt any more. So I had to tell you any meow, any meow, meow, any meow. Guys, who wrote this note? I don't understand. I. It, this could be an A24 film. Like, like now, when I need him to explain something, he's not going to explain shit. The woman he fucked. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, this I couldn't figure out. The woman he was fucking wrote the note, came and gave it to the wife. The wife waited for him to come in. She shot the wife and, and, and shot her husband in the head. Giant shot him and killed him. Okay. Holy fuck. So... All right. Well, I mean, this is a, nice, a little twist that got me. You know, that got me. I wasn't ready for this twist. A part of me wonders, you know, did he come up with this on his own? Like, did he really sit here and conceive of this story? Or did he just kind of steal it? You know, did he just steal this from something? Like, like what? Like, what is this an episode of, you know? Like, what did he... It... 
He's ripping off stories. Bro, maybe this was a Fabiosa video that he ripped off. <laughs> the DigiWorld story is stolen. Yeah, you know, the DigiWorld story is, you know, classic. I got something in my eye again. Fuck. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. What's in my eye? Ow, 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 ow. What is it? Uh, ow, 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 ow. I might have to go to the bathroom and wash my eye out. Ouch, ow. Oh, that feels bad. Silverfish laid eggs in it. Uh, I'm inclined to believe he made this on his own because he published the book. This guy published the book? This happened because I forgot to trim my eyelashes today. I got something in there. Ow, 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 ow. There's a cope pod in there. Ow, 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 ow. Guys, this hurts bad. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna go deal with this because this can't be ignored. Ow, ow, fuck. Ouch, this hurts a lot. Um, uh, Mods. Uh, hit, uh, put, put some links in the chat for people to occupy themselves with while I do this. Um, that's my social media stuff, YouTube channels. And hey, while you're waiting, join our Discord server. And join our awesome Discord server and get stream notifications and, and all that. I'm going to be right back. Voluntarily goes down your throat. Got back just in time uh, for the song to end. That was nice, nicely timed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was. Uh, I think it was like some. I put suntan. I had suntan lotion on earlier today. Like I went outside for a little bit, and like it was the, the sun was like brutal today. Um, silverfish. Come. I don't think it was. Uh, I don't think it was. Can you stop saying things like that? You, you are making me. So paranoid, guys, with this, really. You, I'm going crazy over here, man. You, you are making me lose my mind with this stuff, guys, okay?
All right, stop. The bugs don't do that. They have no reason to do that. Okay, bugs would, why would it do, why would it, why would it do that? There's plenty of better places to lay eggs, guys, okay? All right, guys? They don't do that, right? No, I'm not, no, I'm not asking you. No, you never are honest about these things. Guys, I'm not. There was a spider in the hallway. That's the brown note. I'm back. Did you get the silverfish out? It's not a silverfish. There was a spider in the hallway earlier today and, or yeah, yesterday. And I walked through the web and I was like, I don't like this. So I politely moved the spider. Okay. I didn't kill him. I just moved him aside. I was like, you can't have a web here. Go do it somewhere else. Okay. Today, in like the same area, a high traffic area, he rebuilt the web and made it double the size. And it's now it's even in a more convenient place. I have to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I'm, I'm trying to not be like that, but I, I have to kill him. Based. It's not based. It's in my fucking way now. Take him outside. I, I see no, because now he's going to bite me and shit. No. He declared war. I, I tried to be cool about it, but now it's... It's open season. All bets are off now. Yo, somebody just used condom full of spiders emote for the first time in like, how long? Months? Where did it go? Did I even see it or did my brain see it? No, it, it's, it, no, it is, it's in there. It's in there. Man, what a mistake that emote was, huh? <laughs> Let's go condom. Let's go condom. Condom full of spiders. Spider condom. Let's go spider filled condom. He's not going to bite you. Uh, no, the spiders bite. What's the story behind that? Oh, uh, that was uh, Pokemon Fusion. I streamed the, the shit out of Pokemon Fusion. I streamed a lot of that, guys. That is um, a fusion of Joltik and Victory Bell chat. Right? Is it Vic Victory Bell? Gav Gavantula and Victory Bell fusion. He's, he was fully evolved. Right? He, he was like the fully evolved version of that. Right. All right. Um, I think uh, I think that brings us to the uh, the end of our assassin rapper segment. Actually, that was uh, yep. That was all the assassin rapper videos. So. Yeah, thank you to FAP for putting that together and uh, making that uh, cool. Again, you know, we, we we are trying to keep the segment shorter these days because people complain about the segments being too long and they want to watch other things. So we're trying to keep them shorter. And Deltron Zero, thanks for 21 months. Um, I hope Assassin Rapper never gets laid. You hope he never becomes a wizard. Uh, the Happy Dingo says, if you liked it, I can bring more. I think chat would love to watch more Assassin Rapper. If you guys want to find the cream of the crop and put it in a new folder, I would definitely really enjoy doing another Assassin Rapper segment in the future. Um, but again, guys, we're trying to do things a little bit differently uh, in the future. Uh, FAP, and for those of you who maybe want to submit to FAP, it, 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 when we first started doing this, it was necessary to download the videos off YouTube and put them in Google Drives and email them to each other because YouTube was actively taking down the videos we were trying to watch. Like, what was a common thing, like, I myself would be finding the most batshit fucking crazy, like, you know, finger family, like, 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 like algo vomit Sonic videos. And then 
I'd go like I'd click the I'd save the link in a Word doc, and then I'd go back and and try to find it, and it would be gone. It would be like the video no longer exists. But with most of these videos, especially if they're coming from like healthy YouTube channels that aren't getting their shit deleted all the time, there's no reason to download them. Probably Assassin Rapper, I would imagine it's not necessary to download them. Um. Yeah, don't tap the glass. Never tap the glass, guys. Please watch his video about being canceled. That sounds great. What, did somebody try to cancel the Assassin Rapper, guys? Cocktonio. <laughs> Cocktonio. <laughs> Cocktonio 420 is back. Thank you for five months. I will. I'll get Camel Toe Jaw wrecked in a minute. Seanic with 21 months. Thank you. Re uh, covering a Red Vox song. Oh, that's fun. He made a Shamrock and Shake song. Assassin Rapper. I would like to hear him rap. Can I request that? His name's Assassin Rapper. I haven't heard him rap tonight. I heard him sing, but I didn't hear him rap. I'd like to hear him rap. I'd like to see his his uh, lyrical prowess. I'd like to see him spit fire rhymes. I'd like to see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me see some of his rapping uh, ability. You know, I'd like to see it. Um, I have a link to one. Sure. Give me a link. Give me a link to one. Give me, give me a link to one. Sure, 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 sure. Pyro, you have been permitted. I'd like to see it. The Spook 214, thank you so much for seven months. Put your dick away, Gibraltar. The salami lid ain't gonna fit. That salami lid's not gonna fit right now, Gibraltar. Put your dick away. Alright, so here it is, guys. It's from one year ago. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, the Assassin Sham Rock and Roll. It appears to be a, a rap song. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's hear it. So that's him right there, huh? He's wearing his uh, wearing his Irish uh, heritage on his sleeve here, right? He's he, he, he. All in the Gino Tantion, going to get my dance on to the break of dawn. Feeling lucky, it's my lucky day. Even dancing in a lucky way. Sham rock and roll and sway. 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 Sham rock. So he's not really uh, rapping. He's just saying sham rock and roll and and sway, uh, re repeatedly. Just think you need more. Um, you need more uh, more lyrics, no? I want to start it over again. I like the intro. It it, it it's like a it, it's like a synth bagpipe or some shit. It's like a synth. Fiddle, right? It's a fiddle, right? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a synth fiddle. You know, like an Irish... All in the Gino Tantion. All in the Gino Tantion. Going to get my dance on to the break of dawn. Going to get my dance on to the break of dawn. Feeling lucky, it's my lucky day. E Feeling lucky, it's my lucky day. Even dancing in a lucky way. Even dancing in the lucky way. Sham, rock and roll and sway. 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 Sham, rock and roll. We're getting out. Oh, we're. 
We're not getting out out the hood with this one. This one. Sway. I'm rock and roll and sway. Somebody said, I wish I'd lost my virginity to this song. But thrusting to the rhythm of his vocals, like like Seabat. Sham, rock and roll and sway. 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 Right? Sham, rock and roll and sway. Sham, rock and... <laughs> roll and sway. Sham, rock and 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 roll and sway. He's doing it again. That that drop, that beat drop goes hard. That goes hard. The heat is on like Axel F. Dance to the floor like I don't give an F. The heat is on like Axel F. Dancing the floor like I don't give an F. Okay, so he rhymed F with F. Right? That might not be okay though, right? That's I feel like that I mean that's all that's alright. That's alright. That's not that's that's uh not traditional, right? What is Axel F? I think it's a a guy who's Axel F, guys. Who's who's a Axel F is the Crazy Frog song. I've got my dance shoes on and I feel the groove. You don't. I've got my dance shoes on. How to feel the groove? You don't even have to be average to do the shamrock and roll move. You don't even have to be average to do the shamrock and roll moves. Again on the floor, or even your kitchen on the. Again on the floor, or even your kitchen on the street. Street, you can shamrock a roll anywhere if you feel the beat. If you can shamrock a roll anywhere if you, you feel, feel groove. Beat. If you feel grooved. Just go and do the shamrock and roll. Just move. Feeling lucky, it's my lucky day. This hasn't really been rhyming for a while, right? Even dancing in a lucky way. Sham rock and roll and sway. Sham rock and roll and sway. And now he's doing this again. Sham rock and roll and sway. 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 No, I'm not looping it. That was the whole song. That was the whole song on looped raw. Those 18 Irish people are like renouncing their heritage right now. Like they're furiously figuring out how to like divorce themselves completely from from like the this entire culture. Like the entirety of Irish culture. Like they're just trying to be like, well, time to get out of here. Time to just. No, you know. <laughs> Anybody asks, anybody asks, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm British. Yeah. <laughs> this did it. All right, this did it. <laughs> this did it. <laughs> no, I'm not Irish. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the Irish would never say that. Obviously, obviously, if, if anything was going to make them, though. Neff, please, thanks for 16 months. Oh my God. I'm Welsh. The heat is on like Axel. Kiss me, I'm not Irish anymore. F, I'm dance not. to the floor like I don't give an F. I've got my dance shoes on and I feel the groove. You don't even have to be Irish to do the shambuck and roll moves. Get so he rhymed groove with, with move. Moves with grooves. I've got my dance shoes on and I feel the groove. You don't even have to be Irish to do the shambuck and roll moves. Get on the floor. Or even but he didn't though, because it was gr groove rhymed with moves. In your kitchen or the street, you can sham rock and roll anywhere if you feel the beat, if you feel groove. Just go and do the sham rock and roll. All right, you know what, man? This is not that bad. Just I move. Feeling lucky, it's my lucky day. Even dancing in a lucky way. Sham rock and roll and sway. 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 He put out a freestyle video. Are we gonna, um... Uh, yeah, Wisp, let me see what you, what, what you got. Yeah. Yeah, please. 
maybe it'll be uh, even better. Elizarin has an amazing one. Is it, is it this one, dude? Is it is it this one? Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good? The Assassin's channel. So I'm gonna give you a little surprise. I'm gonna kick a little freestyle. My new single, Champion, is out now. So go and support that. And watch out for the album that's gonna be coming early next. They said he's red. He's kind of red. I feel a sense of kinship. Next year, also, the video for Champion is gonna drop early 2013. So stay tuned for that. Now, as promised, my freestyle, a little gift for you. So, guys, Christmas guys, guys. Do, do you hear his accent is normal now? L listen, listen, he doesn't sound like he does doing those voiceovers now. Yo, what's good, YouTube? The Assassin's channel. So I'm gonna give you a little surprise. I'm gonna kick a little freestyle. My new single, Champion, is out now. So go and support that. He, now, this is what, this is, this is what an Irish accent sounds like to me. Now he, now he sounds normal. When he's doing those voiceovers, he does not sound normal. And watch out for the album that's gonna be coming early next year. Also, the video for Champion is gonna drop early 2013. So stay tuned for that. I think he, fi hey Plum Blossom, I think he fixed up his accent to sound more comprehensible to non-Irish people. I tend to do that when I talk to my non-Irish friends. You think, so you think he, that was him, Cleaning, yeah, yeah. Did was it working? Because it made him unintelligible. It well, that wasn't. How was that fixing up his accent? Did, were you listening to that? And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you if you don't, if you okay, honestly, Welsh with Welsh people and their accents, I can understand this. With Scottish people and their accents. I can un I can understand this, okay? If you're an English speaker, especially if you're American, I understand, like, sometimes maybe, like, uh, Scottish people are, like, a little bit hard to understand, yeah. Depending on, like, how heavy their, their accent is. Welsh people, too, yeah. Irish people? D if, if you can't understand an Irish person, I don't know that. I don't know what that... Their accent is not... I don't... It, it's, just, it's just not as harsh to me. You know what I mean? Like, well, Irish accents to me are not something that need to be fixed up for people to understand them. You know what I mean? I it, not the ones that I've heard. Like the the the, the, the Irish people that I've met, like the Irish the, the accents that I've heard, they do not. It's not like I'm struggling to understand what they're what they're saying. You know what I mean? The way I I am sometimes, like if you know, with Scottish accents, right? You are being dumb. All you've heard is is Dublin. Yeah, but I. For example, hearing streamers and I, the, Dublin's the only place I've been in person, but you understand like media exists and people exist outside of me. How, what are you talking about? Like I shut up. I'm being dumb. Doesn't Lemmy ban people for saying they don't understand him? That sounds like something he would do. Honestly, that does sound like something. Do, does he? He he does. He does because he doesn't give a fuck. He does. <laughs> Basically, I think his attitude is like, if you can't understand him, get out. <laughs> He also bans people for posting them shitty frogs. Yeah, but doesn't he have to enable the frogs? I mean, that's super based. If if he bans Pepe's, that's extremely based. But aren't you, you have to enable them for your channel? There's no, there's global Pepe's on Twitch. Dave only understands thirty percent of what Lemmy says. I sometimes. 
sometimes do not understand what he's saying. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's like, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. I'll admit it. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not around Scottish people all the time. And yeah, you know what? Honestly, I've known Scottish people with accents that are less harsh than his. His, his accent's pretty harsh. Other streamers have... Oh, so you, you... Imagine you're a fucking Twitch streamer and you have, like, a bunch of emote slots and you, and you fucking upload Pepe's. Mike, he enables them in order to have the rule where if you use them, you get banned. <laughs> now, as promised, my freestyle, a little gift for you, so... Christmas is coming early, so check it out, yo. Okay, let's do this my way, like Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah, you know I gotcha. I suppose some hoodies, wanna be bad guys, really goody goodies. Walking funny and looking moody, you're not from the hood, you're not from the ghetto. Man, you're mixed up like songs on Soretto. So many things painted glassy, but there's always a but. We need to take part in getting the nation out of its rut. Practice what you preach, so I try to practice what I say. That's not what your country can do for you, but what you could do for your country. In the words of JFK. Country? We need to carry a torch in these dark days. There needs to be help in education. The students are the future of our nation, but still there's not... JFK. Blown away. What else do I have to say? Funding schools, there's teachers losing jobs. It seems that society is designed sometimes to create jobs. Embrace the energy, support creativity. Success can be in music to sport activity. It doesn't have to be a regular nine to five. It's about making a living no matter what to support your lives. The assassin freestyle, Buckwild champion. He said Buckwild, YouTube, come on. Out now, album coming soon. Blowing up like boom. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Woo! Like Ric Flair says, yeah. You know it's... Rick, Rick, Rick Flair. Rick, his name's Rick. His name's Rick Flair. Wisp, can you do me a favor? Can you go to... Uh, what is it? Inked Ghoul, where, where is the emo? Is it 7TV? There's an emo, a uh, go piss girl emo that is amazing. The Limes, Limes is using it. Can we have go piss girl? It's the dark days with the recession, but this is progression because i'm kicking the freestyle yeah that's in session so i hope you like it and believe in what i say and hopefully the country can pull out of the rut and we can see brighter days the freestyle could go on and on from now till the break of dawn but yo i will make this the end it's a rap i hope you like the freestyle rap he rhymed rap with rap oh but it was you know like the two different kind of raps. Are you allowed to do that? Uh, are you, I don't know if you're allowed to do that because the word is pronounced identically. There's no rule against it. Well, you're not allowed to rhyme words. There is a rule against rhyming words with themselves. But he, he didn't? He did, but he didn't. Right. Peace. Peace. And you two thought it was like one piece. All right. You know what? That wasn't that bad. Uh, the Frank Sin. I like the Frank Sinatra part. That was cool. Yo, Elizarin, can we, can we see yours, man? That could have been worse, dude. When I was growing up, um, uh, first of all. Eminem was very popular when I when I was in high school. Eminem when I was in grade school and high school, Eminem was probably the biggest, um, like musician uh, in America. I don't know. Every everybody loved him, and not only that, everybody wanted to be him. Okay, and and where I grew up, okay, in my high school, okay, um. 
That was like the thing to do. Okay, the thing to do was to learn how to rap and like imitate Eminem as best as you could. That was like, dude, we had... Oh my god, it was um a dark time, actually. Stands. Yeah, stands. <laughs> I'm I'm talking to the early 2000s. The early 2000s were um Eminem like ruled the world. Uh and, and where I don't know where I grew up everybody loved him. This was very common for people to be dressing like him and speaking like him and acting like him. And uh when I was in high school there were like there there were like 30 kids who were just trying to become rappers. And they would not shut the fuck up ever. And every time we had like like lunch period, they'd be like rap battling each other at the fucking table. And I would be like, we are a bunch of white kids in a Catholic school. Can you please sit the fuck down? Like, I, I'm saying, like, I, and I, I mean that in like, like, it was embarrassing. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, guys? It was fucking embarrassing. Like a lot of these kids, and a lot of these kids were like, like fucking, so, some of them were like rich kids. I remember, I remember deliberately, like specifically, there, there was one kid who was like, probably like the richest kid in like the neighborhood, like the richest kid in our school. And it was, yeah, they were, they were basically having arguments about how, who was like the real Slim Shady. And my fucking God, they were all so bad at it. They were all so, just God awful at it. My God. And I wasn't even into rap and I could just tell like, wow, you guys suck. Necro Beastie, thank you for 13 months. Like, holy fuck, you know? Like, like, oh, I fuck, like, I can't stand that shit. Like, like, I hope I'm not coming off like, 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 like an asshole here, but like, if you, if you, let, let, let me put it this way, okay? It was a time and a place you had to be there to get. Like, if you were there and you could feel the cringe that, that I felt, you would fucking get it, trust me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Necro Beastie. TC Lard says, I'm from Boston and 10 years younger than you, but I was one of those kids you're talking about. Thank God for growing the fuck up. It's, it's, it's one thing to like... Oh my God, because I, I, I probably sound like an asshole. Like, I probably sound like, oh my God, you know, I don't want people to... I'm criticizing them for liking a genre of music that I don't necessarily like, and I'm criticizing them for like, maybe wa wanting to... um. I uh, get good at something that they enjoy and like be inspired by something that they like. You know what I mean? Like, am I like, 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 oh, well, you know, well, you, you liked drummers and you wanted to be a drummer. So, you know, you're, you're imitating drummers. You're doing the same thing or whatever. Like, I, I guess that is similar, but like at the same time, I, I, I wasn't going to sit there and like fucking drum in your face at the, in the fucking, in the cafeteria. You know what I mean? Like, I, most young people are trendy posers. Trendy posers is the nicest way to say what these people were, dude. Okay. Um, there it is. Go piss girl. Go piss girl. That's the, if I, yeah. If, so if I start talking about how I got a piss and I'm holding it in, that's the, that's the emo. That emote's got great utility. It's part of the reason I wanted it. Yeah. Um, where it's like, I, you know, I, I, I hate to be like that guy who's like policing, you know, like people enjoying having fun or like what, doing what they want. But like, fuck, that was fucking annoying, man. That's all I'm trying to say. That was very fucking annoying. And it was like everywhere. It's like, oh, here's another kid trying to be a rapper. Here's another cool. Here's another... Yeah, they all had their hair bleached so they could look like Eminem too. Which, you know, like you weren't actually weren't allowed to do in Catholic school, but like they somehow were like getting a pass on this. I guess because it wasn't highlights. Hey, here's another, uh, here, here's, here's another rapper, you know, wanting to... Here's another fucking loser. And you know, they would talk like all hood and everything. All the, like, it, because, it, because it wasn't just... Bro, bro. Trailer Park Boys. Okay. What was that character's name? 
J Rock. Bro, J Rock, when I was watching Trailer Park Boys, J Rock gave me severe PTSD because that was half the kids I went to high school with. And and by the way, and and by the way, that's well that you know that because that was the culture, like that was what was going on. That was the zeitgeist. That you know, don't forget Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys aired when I was in fucking high school. It first aired when I was in high school. Yeah. And a, 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 not a majority of them, a, a not insignificant number of them were definitely like upper middle class. Okay. We're in like a fucking suburban, like Catholic, <laughs> Catholic school. Okay. And they're walking around like, what's up, Holmes? And, and they're just like, and it's, and it's like, and, and, and they're rapping with each other. And it's just like, why, why this? Why? I don't, and they're, and they're always like, and they were loud about it. They were always so loud about it. You know, like they were always so loud about it, like just and 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 wanting you to know that this was what they do. They were they would like they would rap like in homeroom. This was the thing. Rap. They would they would not guys guys. They would not stop with it. They it was, it was constant. It was constant. It was constant. Okay. And it was and it wasn't. And it was not limited to like okay, I want to be a rapper. It like it, it pervaded like every aspect of their personality. You know what I'm saying? Trying to match his tone. I swear to God, they were trying to imitate this guy to the T. They were trying to literally, yeah, like jack his mannerisms and shit. Straight up. They were, try they were cop, like they were watching videos of him and like practicing how to like move and speak like him. I swear to God. Can you roll and sway? I'm Slim Shady. No, I'm Slim Shady. And I remember, I'll never forget this. They were like rapping in homeroom once and like, our, and like our teacher like had to pretend to like it. Like he was like, he was like, yeah, this is great. It was, he, was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like a 70 year old man, you know? And he's like, yeah, this is cool. You guys sound awesome. Yeah. I love this. I don't know. Why, I don't know why he had to pretend to like it, but he was obviously pretending to like it. And, and you know, their rhymes are terrible. Guys, guys, I can't think of examples, but worse than what we just watched. Way, way worse than what we just... Yo, they fucking straight up made Assassin Rapper look like fucking... Like Biggie or some shit. I don't know. Like, seriously. Way worse than what we just watched. Way worse. Holy fuck. Um... R look at Herg's comment. I'm looking. For, I, I where where is Herg's comment? Where is it? I don't see it. You know, I mean, like, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm yeah, like, if you enjoy a genre of music, cool. But like, I don't know, get a personality. Like, I don't know, like, like fucking. Oh. And don't forget, we were in Catholic school, right? We had uniforms. And these kids were constantly, constantly trying to find ways to, like, you know, dress street with the uniform. So, like, you'd see the kids, it, you, you'd, you'd see the dude in, like, his Catholic school uniform, which is, like, you know, a button-down shirt, slacks, I guess, like, dress pants, and, like a blazer or like a sweater or whatever. And they would like loosen the belt and like shimmy down the pants so you could see like their underwear and stuff. But like in the, but in the Catholic school uniform. But then it would be like, well, you know, you're not going to see it, you know. You're not going to, you're not going to be able to, yeah, they would, they would like sag their Catholic school pants, guys. But then like, don't forget that was, that wasn't allowed. So whenever like the Dean would come by, you'd see them all like jacking their, like, like hiking their pants up real quick. Sagging dress pants. I swear to God, guys, sagging dress pants.
That's fucking goofy. You, do you think so? I think so. Did you have to tuck in your shirt? I remember one kid distinctly was tucking his butt, his white like button down shirt into his underwear, so it would be so the underwear would be visible. Mike, someone is using your username on the Threads app, Instagram's new version. Twitter. I know, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Isn't that great? Guys, I can't get in. I, 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 no, I, I talked about this last night during the TikTok YouTube stream. I, TikTok, I keep doing that. Kick, for some reason, why? It doesn't even sound like it. The kick, YouTube, the kick YouTube stream, guys. Pillbug, thanks for the, yeah, the 19 months, bud. Um, I, I couldn't even. All right, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the cliff notes, okay? I, I'm going to give you the cliff notes. I went to go make a threads. And they told me I needed an Instagram. And I was like, I don't want an Instagram, but okay. I guess I'll fucking do this because apparently I fucking have to. I have to have 15 fucking Twitter clone accounts now. Okay. Because this fucking jerk off won't just, just stop fucking with things. Stop fucking with things that aren't broken. St leave everything alone, man. Come on, I'm, I'm so done with this. So he, he, he fucking, I, I go there. I go there to make an Instagram account and it's like, uh, Jabroni Mike is taken. Okay, there's a guy who's been using this username a lot longer than I have. Okay. It's the, he, this guy is the reason why my Twitch name right now has an underscore in it and why my Twitter account has an underscore in it. So I said, okay, I put the underscore. Do you know the underscore is also taken? So that's the person we're mad at. We're not mad at the person who had the name originally. That's obviously, that would be douchey. We're mad at the, the, the person who obviously went out of their way to take my fucking username. Okay? And also that person might be me from six years ago. I might have made an Instagram account and forgot. Okay? Point is, I don't think it is. Okay? Born to lose, what's up? People signing up in mass for threads is proof that people memory hold the shit out of the Cambridge Analytica situation. You listened to the Fallout Boy cover, didn't you? What the fuck is the Cambridge Analytica situation? Oh, you obviously didn't listen to the Fallout Boy cover, did you? Let's get Fallout Boy to educate us on this. Imagine that fucking 30... Because the last time we talked about this, people in chat were complaining about how, oh, my history teacher made me learn the lyrics so we didn't start the fire and I pissed me off. I, uh... Dude, 30 years from now, they're, they're fucking teaching kids the Fallout Boy version. <sighs> Not awake yet. Thanks for three months. We didn't start the fire, but I'm going to fucking end it. Prague, the world won't last 30 more years. <laughs> I mean, guys, uh The fun the funnest part of not of of the of the Jabroni underscore Mike Threads account is that I can't even see what's happening there because Instagram makes you have an account to even look at Instagram. So I have no fucking idea. Is this some guy impersonating me posting pictures of his penis? I, I could be anything. It could be some guy being like, I'm Jabroni Mike and here's my cock. <laughs> and I have no fucking idea. I just hope it's a big penis. That's all I hope. <laughs> can't do shit. Here's hoping his cock's bigger than mine. He's posting whole. 
I'm going to post holes soon. There is nothing there. The guy wants you to contact him and pay him money to use the account. It's a username squatter. Well, fuck him. I'm not doing that. Robot Guitar, thanks for four months. Very cool. You're very cool. Thank you for the support. What if it was a magnificent penis? Like a tr Are you asking me if I would get jealous of the guy's penis? Yeah, I could see that happening. Okay, we got another music video from the assassin rapper here, guys. Uh, let's check it out. Can I also just really quickly talk about how fucking pissed off I am at Elon because he broke TweetDeck. TweetDeck was the thing that my editors were using to fucking post fucking links to my video, YouTube videos and shit. And he fucking broke it for absolutely no fucking reason. What is wrong with this asshole? What is fuck? What the fuck is he doing? Why? Because it's affecting me in like a negative way. Man, okay, it's 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 fucking with my life. This this cocksucker is fucking with my life now. Stop! Leave it, leave it the fuck alone. He wants your money. Fuck him. And you know who else isn't getting my fucking money? Netflix guys. They fucking put the net the, the password sharing thing. Sorry, assassin rap. We're never gonna hear this guy's song. The, the password sharing thing is in effect. Guys. I'm getting ready to cancel Netflix. My mom calls. She's like, how come I can't access your Netflix account? I'm like, because they're cocksuckers, mom. Because they're cocksuckers. And they're gouging their fucking loyal customers because they're scumbags. That's why, mom. Soki, thanks for 32 months. And she's like, well, you know, I love it. I, I'm, I'm sad. They made my mom sad. Guys, I have to hurt these people. They made my mom sad. Now I don't want to cancel. She's like, I want to watch. I was, she's like, I was in the middle of shows. Don't cancel it. I'm, I'm, I'm seething. I'm fucking seething. Get her a VPN and teach her how to torrent. I, she's 70, guys. She's never going to learn how to torrent, guys. Okay? I... Here's what I think I might do. Let her have the account. I, I, I wanted to stop paying them. But I might let her just have the account and then I stop watching it. I'll fuck it. I'll pay, I'll pay for her to have it. She fucking paid for me to eat for fucking 35 years. Okay. The least I could do is pay for a fucking Netflix account for this woman. All right. But now, but I, but I am refusing to watch it. Not like you're watching Netflix. I am watching Netflix. That didn't take much thought. Well, but the, but the problem was I was also watching Netflix. Okay. You can pirate. She can't. <clears throat> yeah, I can pirate. Yeah. Because I'm going to need something. I'm pro what, what, maybe I will get Apple TV now. Should I get Apple TV now, guys? Matt Mellon sent me a DM. I have a better option. I'd not now, but thank you. Use a VPN to steal your own account. Guys, can we just fucking say it? This company deserves to be pirated to fucking t to oblivion. Just fuck it. This is probably illegal and going to get me in trouble. I Pirate the fuck out of this company, guys. Pirate them into the fucking ground. Okay, I'm I'm encouraging in Minecraft. Go into Minecraft. Go into Minecraft. Okay? 
and download, uh, you know, get a, get a bit, download a torrent in Minecraft. Okay, I can't say, I can't say this. I can't say this. Also, if there was another, um, uh, there, if there was another company that, that really deserves to be pirated, it's HBO. And I'm going to tell you why. Three words. Game of Thrones. Okay, the fact that they let that happen to that story, I, I just fucking, yeah. We've, we're not going to go down this road again. I'm not, I don't, we don't need to relitigate this. Okay, if you were a fan of that show, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. The coffee cup. Yeah, uh huh? Mm hmm. I, I, you are morally ob obligated to not pay for anything HBO makes. Okay. Here's the thing, though Apple TV. Okay. Apple TV. Guys. I'm going to give Apple money when I've already given them hundreds of th hundreds of thousands of dollars for all their fucking proprietary uh, peripherals for all their fucking shitty, sh shitty technology. You want to talk about price gouging their customers? You, you have to bow in awe to Apple. I mean, a Apple is the worst solution to... I mean, like, dude, same thing. I, all, <laughs> I don't feel good about giving any of these companies money. Straight up. I, I don't... I, I don't... What's, what's left, guys? Disney Plus? <laughs> Disney! Yeah, let's give Disney money. Uh, who else? Um, Paramount Plus. Any ethical concerns with Paramount Plus, guys? Disney has got fuck Disney. F I'll choke on my own feces before I give a penny to Disney. Viacom? What's that? Oh, Viacom is Paramount. What about Peacock? What about Peacock? Peacock Plus. What's that? Peacock. <laughs> guys, we're running out of shit. We're running out of shit here. We're running out of shit here, guys. See? It's hard to be ethic an ethical consumer. Buy movies and TV shows on DVD. Fuck streaming services. They invented gold in the industry. They made something so convenient that it genuinely cucked piracy. And then they choked it out with greed anyway. Netflix is single-handedly responsible for the rebirth of torrenting. It's incredible. I, I, I will not give this. Com I, I definitely will not give this company any more money. I will keep that account for my mother, and then that will be it. I, and then I will. I don't know. They killed it and then brought it back single-handedly. All right, I'm going to fucking, I, I, I'm going to play this thing. I, I'm sorry. Bro, Assassin Rapper is going to be showing hole soon. Looks like he's been uh, auto-tuned a little bit, right? Some high production value on this, dude. He said he's gonna go to work and get a gun. Do whatever it takes to be number one. I wish we could see the, the lyrics. Makes the dance floor go crazy. I'm a 
with salt and grind. I'm allergic to be lazy. Who are these guys? Haters don't phase me. I gotta be number one in the game, so it pays me. I gotta stay focused, gotta stay on my grind. I'm gonna be a champion and get what's mine. He's got away with the ladies. Well, I mean, like, if he did, he wouldn't need to be a wizard, right? Line for line, and use like the, and use like the ladies attracting spell. That, don't, that is not stock footage. Who are those guys? Wasn't that like legit Eminem lyrics right there? Isn't that just straight up Eminem lyrics? The one rapper Eminem was afraid to diss. Because he's an assassin. He'll, he'll kill you. He'll assassinate you. This is not called that for no reason, guys. Eminem has fell off. He still does things. He still makes music. Eminem's become real quiet since this dropped. I'm saying he was quiet anyway. Success is my favorite dish, so I'm having a... This guy looks 10 and 40 at the same time. Be a big feast. The love I get makes me go harder. I write the script to being a champion. Been working on going further. I let the hate motivate and the love elevate me above. He said I let the hate motivate. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good philosophy, I guess. Going further. I let the hate motivate. What's this, though? What's what's that? Is that um, that says spit on it. He's chugging spit. This guy's chugging spit. Spite. Maybe it says spite, guys. Spite would make sense. Because he's talking about making the hate motivate him. So if you chug the spite, um, it motivates you. Like, you know, like it's got electrolytes. I guess. Snarf and Poos. Thanks for 23 months, man. Mike, it says, it, it, it says sperm. It says S-P-I-R-M. Sperm. <laughs> He's choking on the spite. He's chugging on the spite, chat. That make no, if it says spite, that makes sense because the lyric is saying, he's saying the hate motivates him. And the love elevate me above all the drama in the game that makes them feel they had enough, but the champ is. <laughs> Mike, spite is another word for scorn. Spite. Here and I came to win. Being a champion of what I do to me is everything and more. Victory to me is see my record sales soar. Don't ever let anyone tell you what you can or can't do. Just believe in yourself, follow your dreams and stay true. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else. I just want who is she? Why is it relevant? I reach my full potential and make the most of us. Yo, I thought that was Mike Mate. This is his sister? This is assassin rapper's sister. Who's that, bro? Yo, I hate to admit this, but like when I end this stream and we all we all lay our heads on our pillows to go to sleep, this is gonna be in all of our heads. Yeah. Yes, it is. This is an earworm. Yeah, this has this. Yes, it is. It is. You know, he got a metronome finally. should be called the teacher cause I'm teaching you how to grind I always wanna shine so I never waste time it's a hard knock life I got a hard knock hustle and swagger to match if I can't open doors I want then I'll break off the latch I've got the champion flow to make that champion dome knockbacks I get make me stronger setbacks make things longer than I expect but I keep going hard building respect I know this industry is full of snakes Success snakes and ladders and makes. I'm climbing the ladder.
rather avoid the snakes. He probably is reading off of, of teleprompter cue cards or something because who the fuck can remember all this shit? My I, know, I know it's like his job or whatever, but who cares? Friends from the I don't care. I'm putting in the work to Th that's not something I hold against somebody. Oh, they can't remember their lyrics. Gotta check some more. Do what I love, turn them up like hot spur. I don't sit around waiting for things to happen. That's why. I Bro, did you see their faces? Look. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy like pogged. Wait, the lyric said hot sperm. Friends from the fakes. I'm putting in the work to cash a lot of checks some more. Do what I love, turn them up like hot sperm. Like hot sperm. Hot sperm. They're 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 um they're doing like a booba type thing. I don't sit around. Look at his face. Look, look at the guy in the middle. Look. look. <laughs> Look at that! What is that? Bro, he looks like the Irish Doug Walker. Look at him. It was a soccer joke on Tottenham Hotspur. Okay. That's why I hit the studio, jump at the pool and start rapping. The parks at the game are so enticing. That's why when I'm on the mic, I'm a champ like Tyson. I thought those hot punches like Floyd. I've got my act together. Bring it so much heat in the winter. I bring that May weather. In the winter, I bring that May weather. You know, that's not even that. I'm, that's not that bad. That's not. That It's not. It's not. He could have said Floyd and then rhymed it with Metroid, but he didn't go that route. He looks like a member of parliament. And the joke was that they were playing chess in there. there. This was Mike's motivational song during the Pokemon tournament. Dude, if I ever need... Mark my worms on this. You guys have the memory of, like, an elephant with a really good memory, okay? Chat has a... a chat still asks me for fatty bear cakes, okay? They have an insane memory. If I ever need, like... like if I'm, if I'm ever going through, like, an 80s montage thing where, like, I have to train for something... Like, if I never need, like, an Eye of the Tiger type type song, you link me this immediately. Okay? This is, this is it. This is perfect for that. The boxer couldn't move the chess pieces with his gloves, and that's why he lost. Epic. This really says a lot about society. How much do you think this caused him to make? I, I think he probably asked like a bunch of his friends. Well, wait, what's Zenith Media Productions? Is that like a real, a real thing? Like, what's that? Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, there you go. I, I think that'll wrap up our assassin rapper segment. Um, pretty, uh, pretty neatly. I think we'll maybe do another one in the future. I'm going to put that into our watched folder. Uh, guys, there's a lot more stream left. Um, I was thinking that we could move on to, um, maybe some Sonic the Hedgehog, just three or four videos and maybe do some bingo. It is a, it is a tradition. Uh, if you guys would like to, uh, classic, the classic Sonic with the bingo. Sonic with the bingo. Um, there is a, a link in chat to our beautiful bingo cards. Thank you so much, Alizarin, uh, for making this, for putting this together for us, bud. Uh, for some reason, I am...
totally unable to remove it from the there we go okay uh very cool Let's see if i can get that in here can we just get that in can we just get that in there can we get that no can't do that can't you sure you can't you sure you can't just put that in you sure you can't do that you can't you, you can't do that huh mm, that's a shame okay um click that link get your bingo card um there is bear come where's the bear come time estimate on when show hole yes uh soon there's your time estimate okay um Sonic. Uh oh my god. What happened to all the all the Sonic videos that were in here? I mean I got them, don't worry, but didn't we have like way more of these? Alright, so let let's let's get these out of the way real quick. Um put that in there maybe. Uh, open with mpv.net. All right, you guys all got your bingo cards. Here's how it works, guys. Um, you will watch the one video. And you will, you know what? Shit. Hair of the moon. Thanks for five months, bud. Maybe we should do it this way, because I don't know about you guys, but I have a very hard time getting bingos lately, especially, especially lately. Remember there was like one night when I got like five bingos and used up all my luck for like six months? What if we use the bingo card, the same bingo card for like the whole block? What do you think of that? What if what if we did that? What if we did that? Right? Maybe it's easier like to get bingos like that. One card for every two, maybe two videos. Let's try two. Let's try two. Let's try two two uh two videos per card. Dead, and we'll watch four of them. Dead cows. Thanks for the uh, the gift sub to cock liquor. Very cool. Very very cool. Thank you. Uh, all right. So this says Amy's house. What did I miss? What did she put in her hair? What was it? Hot pink. Oh, someone pranked her. She got pranked! Okay, it said black charcoal. Hair dye from future? <laughs> From the imagination of somebody unknown, a Sun Media series, December thirty second, Sun Tone. Guys, I don't think there is a December 32nd. That's 30 for, there's a 31st, right? But there's a 31st, but that's New Year's Eve and then the next the next day is Jan it's January 1st, right? That's how that that's how that works. Suntune is the new stre streaming platform. There's always been a December 32nd, Mike. Wednesday! 
from the ima- look look from the imagination of somebody unk now a sun tune series wednesday <laughs> this is shit december 32nd sun tune <laughs> and but it was her dude it was her why was it her it was amy like that that's amy right uh, Player Unknowns Wednesday. I hate buff Sonic. Hey! <gasps> She's goth now. Wednesday wasn't that good. Wednesday sucked. I'm just gonna just come out and say it. Wednesday sucked. <gasps> the hole is a lie. Shh. Soon. Nori Nova, thanks for coming to check out the channel. <laughs> I don't get it. So she accidentally dyed her hair black and then she saw the Wednesday commercial and said, I'm going to become Wednesday. Like, uh, I, what is it? What, what, is the, what is the plot here? TC Lords, thanks for the gift sub to showing Hull. Does this count as a meme character? Absolutely, yes. Oh. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I always wanted a big titted goth girlfriend. Yeah, cool. She made the teddy bear like dark and tortured like her. Dark Amy. Uh FAP named the file Wednesday Wednesday me. <laughs> huh? Wednesday, you're letting in all the farts. Close the door. I mean, you're letting out all the farts. Yeah. Huh? Mm. What is it? What they liked is they saw the show and they they're like fans of hers. They're oh, they like the hair color. It takes too long. Right, the show isn't out yet. It's, it comes out on December 32nd. Hey! Of course, December 32nd never comes. Just like show hole soon. Wow! Not three big titty goth girlfriends. Hey! hey. All right, so Where he's got it? a he's got a barrel of pink dye. Blaze is bad luck now. <laughs> Amy! Huh? Hmm. Bro, I was hoping like it would land on her head sideways and give her a fucking skull fracture and permanent brain damage. Like, just like the barrel would just. <laughs> fucking flatten her skull. Huh? You made Eggman red. Pink?
The die didn't even do anything to Eggman. Hey, Iron Paul, Mike is so desperate for engagement, he's threatening to show Hole. It's like a WMD. He shows and he is banned, but the threat of Hole is enough to draw in the viewers. What do you mean, threat? I was under the impression everybody wanted to see my Hole. What do you mean, threat? I'll tell you what. One day, I am going to show Hole, and then a lot of you are going to feel very... Very silly. Okay? <laughs> and then we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> now Eggman is like me. Red. <laughs> Dr. Red Botnik. Oh, it's the brother. Hey! <laughs> the Adams family brother. <laughs> it's not Waldo. Guys, that fucking sucked anus, bro. Incest cosplay. Yeah, okay. Well, that was fucking mega dog shit. Um, let's uh take a look at this. Stolen art, maybe, uh, love wins, uh, not really, maybe, you know what, yeah, love wins, buff Sonic, Kansids, Knuckles, uh, do we see Knuckles hands, I don't think so, stolen art, the, we the Wednesday logo was stolen, you sure, that was one of the first Wednesday episodes, oh, when, like, you're saying the one of the first, um, times when these, uh, these bootleggers, like, fucking basically started incorporating Wednesday into the algo vomit. That was one of the first ones you found? All right, let's see. Okay, so she dyes her hair. And then she comes out, and then there's this... Uh, this... From the imagination of somebody unk unkow. That's a stolen logo? I don't know if that's stolen art. <laughs> Alright. I don't think it's- I'm not gonna- I don't think it's stolen art. Lazy OC Mermaid's bullshit ending, uh, it's fine, I guess. Unhinged Rage, Visual Error, more than four different characters. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, too Much Food, Mom, Dad, Two, Backwards Text, Wombo, Combo, Fecal, Sound Effects, Flatline, Text to Speech, Cuckoldry, Baby Noise, Vehicular Accident. Of course I don't get meme character. All right. When Rouge becomes bad stepmother... Eggman had the unhinged rage. I mean, somebody dumped pink dye all over his face. I wouldn't say that was unhinged. Mike, have these videos been affected by the writer's strike? They're not writers. They're fucking, yeah, they're, they're professional bootleggers. Um, He was kind of, maybe he was like unreasonably mad. Guys, who the fuck? Who were? Rouge? What are those grotesque models, bro? What dumpster did you drag this out of, FAP? <laughs> we uh, we've never seen these before. These this is these are new this is new art. These are new models. Huh? <laughs> Look at Sonic's disgusting mustache. He looks like Uncle Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Huh? 
I like Teenage Rouge the, Rouge the Bat's titty window. I think this is a mom, mom too. This is a, a mom too situation. Huh? Don't be sad. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she's deranged. She went into the bathroom and fucking put all of his toothbrushes in her butt crack. <gasps> all of his toothbrushes, even the new ones, and then put them back in the packaging. That is feces. That is feces all over the laundry. Who shit in the laundry? Remember the guy, the, the gamer on Reddit who had a poop chair that his girlfriend kept whining about, which was pissing him off? This is what his laundry pile looks like. <laughs> a lot of judgmental people in this community. <laughs> Somebody chat said Asmongold? <laughs> He had a fucking sh a pile of shit covered laundry in his room, right? He did. There wasn't no, there wasn't visible shit on it though. <laughs> Was it? So they're splashing soapy water all over each other, probably getting it in, in each other's eyes. It's not a fun time. The videos are making me shit, and the walls are brown. Man, they'll do that. Hey, Petro Dragon. Asmongold doesn't have a poop chair, he has a blood wall. Okay, so... There was a photo, uh, Asmongold put, a, uh, put a, a, a photo of his bed where he was like, this is where I sleep, and put it on Twitter, I think. And somebody said, uh, what are those stains on the wall? And they were like brown stains on the wall next to his bed. And he said, oh, uh, sometimes when I sleep, my teeth bleed. And uh, I wipe it with my hand, and then I wipe my hand on the wall. And he said that like it was completely normal, and like it happens to everybody. He said it like he said it like it's like it's something that happens to everyone. I, I mean, like maybe it was a bit. Was it a bit? Maybe it was a bit. Mike with eyelash trimming. Uh, it is not this it is not similar, okay? That is not similar. Okay, my eyelashes don't bleed when I cut them, okay? Scorn. Uh people give money to this dude. Well, you know, he I mean like, I don't think. His teeth bleeding and him wiping the blood on the wall makes him, you know, uh, less good at what he does. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that impacts his content is what I'm saying. I, I think that, you know, I mean, like you can have, bl you know, bloody teeth and wipe and wipe the blood on the wall and it not impact your ability to make content. You know, I mean, they're not paying him for the wall blood. They're not paying him for his ability to not bleed from his teeth and then wipe it on the wall. They're paying him to make content, right? <laughs> uh, you know, um, 
He's had dental work since then. All right, so he's better now. I am begging you to let me link the two-minute video of him talking about how he hasn't showered in 40 days. I don't think it's necessary, okay? But guys, you're when you sub to him, you're not doing it for his hygiene, okay? The beautiful part about this is that you have no idea what I smell like right now. And I have no idea what you smell like right now. What do you think this chat room would smell like? Okay. Like, I, yeah, I mean, like, I've showered more recently than 40 days ago, but that's not the point. It doesn't matter because you can't smell me. We're not in a room together. Who cares? Asmongold also said he would suck a million cocks and still wouldn't be gay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's possible. No, that that could that could that's that's true. Cope. He said you hit a filth plateau where you stop getting dirty. Yeah, I don't know about that. that's I wouldn't um I wouldn't take that advice to the bank. Someone in chat said liking cock isn't gay. Listen, gay is just a word, man. You know, it's like, what do words mean? We made them up. You know, we word, right? We made them up. You guys say that all the time. Words, we made them up. All right. You know, if you, all right, well, what, what's the scenario where you, where you suck a million dicks without being gay? For money? Yeah, all right, so you get like, say you get paid a dollar a cock, that's a million dollars. It's a good deal. Missed, that, Lumpy Touch said that's a Mr. Beast challenge. When girls suck cock, it's totally straight. But when men do it, it's suddenly gay. Talk about double standards. Yeah, well, here's what it is, right? He's going to he's gonna suck the pee-pee, but he's not going to enjoy it. Like, it's a job. You know what I mean? It's like Mike Rowe. Like, Mike, like on this episode of Dirty Jobs, I'm going to suck a million dicks. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And then pull down your pants and let me see that boner. Because on this episode of Dirty Jobs... <laughs> we're going to suck some dirty cocks. Um, on this episode of Dirty Jobs... <laughs> um, dirty blowjobs. <laughs> dirty blowjobs. Dirty blowjobs. Bro, it's fine, okay? If, you, if you're not enjoying the cocksucking, then, you know, you're not gay. But at the same time, it's like, if you do what you love, then you never work a day in your life. So maybe you, you, maybe, maybe you learn to love it and then become gay, right? But I also don't think that you can become gay. Like, that's not a thing, right? It's mandatory for all male Final Fantasy voice actors to suck cock and swallow the load before doing their lines so they can get in character. Guys, I watched Lime stream that for about uh, 20 minutes earlier. And, um, my fucking lord, did they, uh, did they twink that game up? Holy shit. And I mean, chat's telling me there's also like, there's also like full on, like, like hardcore, like full penetration, like hardcore gay sex scenes. To the point where it, like, got banned in, like, Saudi Arabia or something? Holy shit. Yeah, I don't, I, I saw, that main character is, like, a mega twink. Final Fantasy has always been that? Yeah, I, I guess. I was starting with seven. 
I'm going to say starting with seven. Did you see Kotaku was complaining that it wasn't gay enough? I sure did. I sure did see that. I sure did. Kotaku wanted every character to be gay and fuck having gay sex at, at all times. Kotaku wanted the battle system to be this. Hold on. I'm going to... This, this is, hold on. This is what Kotaku wanted the battle system for Final Fantasy's, uh, Final Fantasy 16 to be. I realized, guys, it was too cartoony to be TOS. Come on. It was too cartoony. It was too cartoony to be TOS. It was way too cartoony. It was way too cartoony. Guys, I, I didn't realize it had fucking hole in it. I'm sorry. Come, no, it, it doesn't. I'm looking at it right now. It doesn't have hole in it. it that's not... Guys, come on. Guys, it, that's not... Come on. Seriously? It does not have pee hole. What are you talking about? All right, well, I guess we don't need that anymore. Okay, listen. Basically, that's what they want that's what they wanted the battle the battle system to be. They wanted the battle system to just be like men swinging each other around by their dicks. Let me see this. Hold on. Kotaku Final Fantasy 16, not gay enough. Final Fantasy 16's gay romance disappoints. Uh, I mean, I don't know, spoilers here? Um, they're saying that there is a gay romance in the game. But, um, it says that it is exclusively character. One character is exclusively characterized by his devotion to his boyfriend. That sounds pretty gay to me. Let me see. What's the crux of the argument? <laughs> when the two share a kiss, maybe halfway through the game, the camera moves away from them and we see it at a distance. The two very clearly kiss, but the distance the scene is shot from would make it easy to think they hadn't. Can, can these people go outside? Go outside, please. Like, like go, like go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside for two seconds. Why are you sitting there with the fucking stopwatch timing the amount of time a gay... The, the, the exact... Okay, the gay kids was on screen for exactly two and a, two and a half seconds. But they're sitting there with a, with a stopwatch, like, timing the gay kiss and fucking judging the distance that the kiss happens from the camera. Guys, like, are they okay? What is this? The character is not solely characterized by being which is what makes him good. He is literally one of the best written gay characters in ages. Right, where it's just the entire purpose of the character is just like, he's gay, haha. <laughs> the, the, the character's entire character is just that we're telling you he likes penis. Okay. His personality isn't I'm gay. He just happens to be. He is a real person. 
But they don't... Okay, I'm going to take your word for it because I didn't play this game and I'm not going to. But they just... They just really didn't like it. They really didn't like it. Um... What is it again? What's it gonna take for them to be satisfied? Hot dog in a daddy. Thank you for four months. If I don't get a gay kiss tongue POV in my video game, I ain't playing. They want um like a mini game where like one character fists another character's ass. Like they want a mini game using motion controls where you like fist the guy's ass. Then Kotaku, Kotaku will be like, finally, a step in the right direction. Right? A step in the right direction. A WarioWare minigame. They're insisting for some fisting. My liege, the bigger issue with the kiss is that the game doesn't shy away from hetero shit at all, but pans away from the only gay kiss in the whole game. Is that is that right? Is that true? Is that what's happening? I'm not reading this shit, so if that's what that says, in the, is that the truth? Is that the truth? All right. That's I'm going to I'm going to if, if that is true, I'm going to tell you why that's silly. Because you've already committed when you decided that you were going to when you were going to have these characters be like blatantly, obviously directly in your face gay. When you when you decided that you were going to have these gay characters, you committed to not being able to sell your game in certain mar markets. So you might as well just do it. Just do it. Mike, play the video. My brain cells are regenerating. Shut the, uh, One second. You might as well just do it. Yeah, like go big or go home. Exactly. Because you already made the commitment to, to, that you're going to you decided you're going to do this. It's not like the censors in China or Saudi Arabia are going to be like, you know what? That's just a little gay. It's It's cool. You know, oh, you only see the kiss. You only see the kiss in the background for two seconds. Let's let's that's that's fine. Yeah, sure. Let's sell the game here. No, they're, they're, no, that's not going to work like that. You know, so like it, it was all. It, it sounds like they were like fence sitting on something where they already made a commitment that was going to have a huge impact. You know what I'm saying? So just at that point, like, yeah, have them butt fuck. Like, have a, have a cut scene where they butt fuck. I mean, show the cum going in. Like, I, I mean, like, it's too late now. You know? They showed the cum going in. I could still get like another six bites off that apple core. Do the they do the thing like Joel said where they have a shit tug of war? No, no, no. What Joel's idea was Pumo wrestling, where we like we both bend over and like put like go at, and go like butthole to butthole and both try to shit really, really hard. And like see like whose shit like gets pushed in. That was Joel. That was Joel's idea. Yeah, that was his idea. Like, whose shit wins? Like, whose sh poop is stronger? That was that was his idea. <laughs> Zach Ute, thanks for the uh, super chat, man. When the main character kisses a girl, the camera also zooms out. The nude scenes are hetero, but those are in bedrooms. There's no reason for the two men to be raw dogging on a battlefield, which is where the men kiss. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe some of it was, was, you know, um, it's a battle of wits. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 
maybe some of it was like cinematic, you know, like maybe, maybe some of it was like, I don't know. I haven't played it, so I can't say one way or the other, you know, but like maybe, maybe some of it was like, it, maybe, maybe it just made sense the way they did it, you know? Maybe, maybe it worked. I don't know. It's the tamest. Th so the game is like very, very horny. Except for, except in this one instance, basically, is what you're saying. It's not. Crab salute. Everybody's disagreeing with you, bud. And I'm never going to know because I'm not playing it, so. There's no reason for two gay men to be raw dogging on the battlefield. <laughs> Why not? What who says who? Says who? <gasps> Segs. <sighs> She's washing her feet. <sighs> Rancid. <laughs> So s somehow there's a cut on her leg. <gasps> Thanks again, Zakute. Uh. Get up! <laughs> hey! Hey! <gasps> hey! Hey! <laughs> I know I interrupted this a lot, but I, I don't think, I think if I didn't, we still wouldn't understand what is happening. That could be one of the worst videos we've ever watched on here, dude. That was fucking brutal. So that had a mom two thing going on. That did not have a vehicular accident. That did have a bullshit ending. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that I did not get a... No, I did not. No, I did not get a... There was... I don't know if it was too much food. There was some food. You guys didn't understand. Wisp, do you want to what well, tell tell us what happened, please? Were the bats lazy OCs? Pyro, I think the mom was Rouge the Bat, and then they just like cloned it and made a teenage version of Rouge the Bat. Right? She pretended to drown so she could save her. Guys, this was really bad. All right, well. Let me see what we let me see what we got here. Um Okay, so those are watched. Hold on. Watched. Um Sonic Stories? Let me see this. Uh let me see this. Oh, there's different Oh, there's different YouTube channels. Okay. Let's try this one. Uh, here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh, all right, fresh bingo card, guys. Give, refresh your bingo card. Uh, it's it says um, Sonic Stories. Okay, Sonic Stories. <laughs> yeah, cute. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, they gave the baby a real gun. <laughs> His fucking real ass gun. Bro, that ain't a Nerf gun, dude. That's bullets, man. Bro, his face.
What is that creepy voice acting? Oh, it was a oh oh yeah the the what Sonic was watching TV. Uh, he, what he was seeing on the television. Uh, the lyrics were referenced in that in that Fallout Boy cover. Per, a second perfect chaos has hit Station Square. All's well that ends well. They, these are the Amy Ramen guys? It, is it really? <laughs> Mallow singing? Who's Mallow? Oh, are, Mario RPG Mallow? <laughs> Sonic got fucking drafted, bro. Six months later. Zelda? Why is it so artifacted? Oh, alright. Yo, how many dudes do you think Amy fucked while Sonic was in the military? There's that guy from Tumblr came by. You know who I'm talking about? I love to come in military wives. Remember that guy? What what was what was his username? What was his name? Rev Scarecrow. No, no. Hot meat eighty nine. Hot meat eighty nine. Raise my son, bootlicker. <laughs> Hot meat 89. Bro, there is some Manchurian candidate shit in that set. What what is that? What is that? Chogolepsy. Are you hearing that? This is what you hear when you die. <laughs> There's some MK Ultra shit in there. <laughs> Look at SpongeBob.exe. <laughs> Why isn't Baby Sonic using his fucking, like, AK-47 against these guys? He's Smegma Man. Mega Hog. It wasn't a Hadouken, it was a projectile. He doesn't even know he's a robot, dude. Yo, Patrick's got, like, a famous... Chest laser. You can see some of his robot meat under the skin. They're rewinding noises. They're activating my chugalepsy sleeper sleeper cell prerogative. Like I have to kill the president. Banana shirt, banana shirt, banana shirt, gorilla meat, banana shirt. He shot- he shot Sonic in, like, the colon, dude. 
That was a fucking... <laughs> it's like a mortar round. It like, it went into his body, dude. <laughs> Random SpongeBob fish. He had like ass mortars. Yeah, like the fucking the the cannon came out of his anus and just launched like maybe it was like a shit mortar. Bro, tell me that's the end of the Where's the rest of this video? Where, where's the re where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of it? Um uh... Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I got any of these. There's never a part two. Well, that was, that was a flashback, clearly. They're showing, they were going to show how he became the six million dollar hog. It was too short. I, I got fucked on this, whatever. says, can we get much higher? Same channel, same YouTube channel. Sonic Stolris. Where is Sonic's Cyclops eye? On his way to pirate some Netflix shows. Or not. On his way to torrent Stranger Things. Like a fucking Sigma. Uh? Mermosi? We haven't seen mermaid bullshit in a while, dude. <laughs> I actually think I saw that on my new bingo card. <laughs> this Sonic model looks like he's in a perpetual state of hangover. Like he just he always looks like he woke up like after a bender. He looks diseased. <laughs> Yo, what's up, uh, Oculus gal? I feel like Mike would fuck a mermaid. Absolutely wrong. I would never fucking ever do anything sexual with a mermaid. That's disgusting. I would absolutely not do that. I would not have sex with a mermaid. No. That's for fucking freak shit. I don't like it. Not even Ariel. Did I stutter? I mean, maybe. I do stutter a lot. But I would not fuck a mermaid. Full stop. What about a merman? I'm not fucking fishmen, guys. I don't like fishmen. That's gross. Okay, I eat fish. I don't fuck my food, guys. No, that's gross. Not even or No! No, that's still a fish person. I'm not into it. I'm not, in I'm not into fish people. I'm not into that. I don't like that shit. What about a reverse mermaid? No. No, what aren't you getting about this? Static called me a bigot. I don't like fish people. I don't like fish people, guys. All right, you know, we talked about this with like Sidon, okay? Like, I don't like them. Super hot person with a smoking bod, but a trout head. I don't like that. I don't like trout. I don't, I don't, I don't find trout attractive. Okay? Unless it's in a plate, seared, okay? With the, with the lemon wedge. Thank you for the bits, war boss. Do you think mermaids lay eggs? Yeah, like, I don't want to put my penis in, like, a fish cloaca, guys. I'm not, that's not cool. The answer is no. The answer is absolutely not. You guys are fucked up for thinking. If you think mermaids are hot, you are a fucking, you're, 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 you're twisted. Doogler, thanks for two months. What if it's better than a vagina? Dave, it's wrong, bro. It's not about... Not everything is about how it feels on your fucking penis, guys. 
Okay? I'm sure a lot of things in life would feel good if you put your penis in them. But you don't do it because it's wrong, okay? It's not it's not ethical, it's not right. It's not it's morally wrong. Okay? Like a grapefruit. I bet if you put your dick in a grapefruit, it would feel great, but you don't do it, do you? A hydraulic press. That would probably feel amazing if you put your penis in a hydraulic press and you turned it on and you watched it slowly flatten your cock. And then when it lifts up, it looks like fucking Wile E. Coyote after he gets an Acme anvil dragged on him. You don't think that would be the hottest fucking thing in the world and feel so good? Of course it would, but do you do it? No. Victimless crime. How is it? It's not victimless. It's not. Because God is watching. Okay? God is watching. Imagine the cock noodles from the squish. The hydraulic press. Well, I mean, society would prefer you don't put your dick in a hydraulic press. Right? Put my tender dick in a blender. Watch it swirl around into a beautiful oblivion. I don't like fish people. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like it. I don't want to have sex with fish people. I don't think it's hot. I don't think it's cool. They probably smell weird. That probably feels weird. It's going to feel like fucking a fish. Okay, here's my question. Would you fuck a fish right now? Would you fuck a fish? Then you would fuck a mermaid. If, if you are telling me you would fuck a mermaid... Okay? Then you would have, then you absolutely would fuck a fish. No reason not to. That's, that's absolutely the same thing. That is the same thing. The brand new fish you can fuck from Burger King. Don't play Dave the Diver. I already did. I love it. I'm going to stream that tomorrow. The all new fish you can fuck. This is like the drink your dad's cum argument. No, it isn't, Draco. Stop. Okay, if you if you would fuck a mermaid, then you would fuck a fish. Okay. It doesn't matter if the if they're only a half fish. Okay. All right, that's that's still bestiality, basically. Is what it is, and I don't, I don't, I don't go in for that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, if if the if the if the the fish is the top half or the bottom half, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, hold on. How about centaurs, guys? You like centaurs? Because if you would if you would fuck a centaur, then you would fuck a horse. Guys, I saw a really, really, really disturbing like centaur image recently, and I I was hoping I I could find it for, for you guys because I know how much you love being. Viscerally upset. I can't find it. It was. It, it, it okay. It's not this one. Okay, hold on. It's not. It's not this one. It, it's. It's not this one. If. You, yeah, that's bad. You see the meat. She's. It's got. <laughs> I found one wor I found one worse than this. Guys, what goes on what goes on there? What goes on right there where under the saddle or whatever? Like what's like what's that? She has another like stomach? Like what's that?
okay, she should not. Okay, honestly, for this to make sense, there should not be a vagugu here. There should be one like back here, like under the tail. Otherwise, this makes this this doesn't make sense. Also, where is her stomach? Here or here? No, she's no, she's got to have. She's got to have only one vagina. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Dave said it's a centaur. It doesn't exist. Every time this fucking comes up, some goober says some shit like, oh, it's a fantasy creature. It doesn't matter. Dude, I know that. I fuck. Obviously, I know centaurs don't exist, man. It's not the point of the conversation. We know. We know. Obviously, what's not said here is if it did exist, how would it work? Every fucking time some goober is, it says some shit like that. I know, you know, I'm saying it, it can have two vaginas. But if it did exist, I'm saying I don't think it would have two vaginas. That's the fucking point of the conversation. Neil deGrasse Tyson in chat. Well, actually, yeah. Neil, real Neil deGrasse Tyson behavior right there. Where's the bad one that I saw? I, I really wish I could show you that this was really, it, it was like, it was like that, but worse. And it was like a Photoshop, I think. I think it was a really, really well done Photoshop. I don't think it was, um, well, obviously the one we just looked at was a Photoshop. I can't, I can't find it. Also, it might have been porn. I don't remember. Like, she was very scantily clad. It might have, it might have been porn. It might have been porn. I don't think it was nudity. Self-report? No. Shut up. All human meat. Let me see. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to find this. Never mind. Uh, this is a waste of time. I'm going to keep an eye out for it, though. All right, so re to recap, uh, he got sunk. The mermaid saved his life. He did not have sex with it because that would be wrong and weird. Huh? Why don't you go to the fish market and just buy your salmon and stick your cock in that if you would fuck a mermaid? Okay. Just, just do that then. Go buy a salmon and you're just alive if you want. Not like it's going to matter too much because it's going to be dead by the time you're done with it. Okay? Too expensive? Go to McDonald's and buy a filet -o fish and fuck that. Okay? Alright, so Wisp linked an image in the, in the chat. Hold on. Walter, Walter, here's what you're going to do, Walter. You're going to go down to the fish market. Yeah, you can go to the supermarket if you want. You could go over to the, the fishmonger. And you're going to buy a salmon. You're going to take it home. You're going to slip it on. Buy a fresh salmon. Walter, make sure this is important. Listen to me very carefully right now. This is important. Make sure you buy the farm-raised salmon. Sorry. No. Make sure you buy the wild-caught salmon. You don't want to stick your dick in no farm-raised salmon, Walter. Okay? You're going to have a bad time. Buy the wild-caught salmon. Bring it back here. All right? The ones from the farm, they're all, they eat their own shit. They're all diseased and stuff. You're going to get some kind of... Some kind of ichthyological STD from that salmon. Trust me. I know from experience, it's a bad time. Take the salmon home. Slide it onto your cock, Walter. All right? Mike Sperman Trout.
sperm and drops. <laughs> no more half measures, Walter. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Mike's sperm in trout. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so... Wisp took a screenshot that she wanted to... Yes, share with us of Sonic the Hedgehog looking up at the um yeah at that <laughs> uh showing a hole soon really uh captured the vibe here okay the point of all this is stop gooning for mer people okay So he like rem remembers her or something. Maybe. Give me medicine to transform me into a mermaid. Give me medicine to transform into a mermaid. By the way, TH88 double checked. The previous episode with the robot Sonic just abruptly ends during the war flashback. It even goes into the title card for the next episode. Amazing. <laughs> so Knuckles is just selling seashells by the seashore over here. And he just so happens to have a... You mean uh, medicine to transform me into a mermaid. Has medicine to transform Sonic into a mermaid. Okay. A mermaid, by the way. Why is he sucking on it like a dick? Bro, this is a Photoshop. But bro, I'm not going to make this Photoshop. Okay. What's up, Red Yoshi? Thanks for coming to check out the channel, man. Porn model? Because porn model, right? Unimaginable agony. <laughs> it's like when Mario got turned into an elephant. It would be pretty sick if, like, he was instantly mauled by orcas, or something like the like the the moment he. What is that? Like the moment he dove into the water, dude. Seen the mermaid, baby. No. That fish is a completely different art style. Ah. You seen the mermaid, baby. Boy, this sure reminds me, uh, I'm sure getting Dave the Diver vibes from this man who has only played Dave the Diver. <laughs> fuck, fuck Sonic. I'm gonna stream that tomorrow. I'll fucking stream Sonic later. <laughs> I, like, I want to play that game. Like, I just want to play it. I'm, I'm, re I'm probably gonna play it when I end the stream. Sonic, there is a big surprise for you. Well, obviously, you're not getting a full playthrough of it, but... Let's go. I'm tempted to buy that game. So far, the game is amazing. I'm hoping it's not as short as I think it might be. Like, did any of you beat it yet? Is it short? I think it might be short. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's about 30 hours long. Okay. All right. All right. That's yeah, that's good stuff. Close your eyes. <laughs> you close your eyes too. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna play it like off stream more I think because I am just really enjoying it. But there's a Murtails, bro. Shouldn't he have two fish tails? Sonic dies of cock. See, tell my husband we have been married one year ago. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> that voice acting right there. <laughs> Yep, confirmed. Only one tail. Sonic. See, tell my husband we have been married one year ago. <laughs> See, tells my husband we have been married one year ago. <laughs> what is that? See, tell my husband we had been married one year ago. A girl. She calls him Tail because he only has the one tail. Sonic. See, tell my husband we have been married one year ago. <laughs> one year ago. Ben Shapiro with falsetto. His name? No, his, she called. She called him Tail though, Jonks. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking idiot became a mermaid for no reason, and the process is not reversible. That's, and that's just how that ends. <laughs> it ends like that. It, it, just, it just ends like that. All right, so who uh, got a bingo here? Cause um I know I didn't. I didn't even get the mermaid box, did I? I sure didn't. Okay. So uh isn't this a Bible story? Do you wanna see more Sonic at this juncture? Or should we move on to you know what? Sonic, they're saying more son more such beautiful sing song rhymes. Hole? No, it's not whole, guys. It's gonna be other stuff. Um, you know what? You okay? You know what is probably it's some gonna be some Fabiosa trouble busters. It's gonna be um, some of the shit from that that trial period folder like that guy with the do you want to see the one where he eats placenta tonight the one where that guy eats placenta yeah that stuff clay mixer fuck clay mixer we have more clay mixer but not tonight we haven't seen the avocado family in a while Speaking of the avocado family, um, was on uh, Twitter. <clears throat> hmm, hold on. And I came across a very bizarre advertisement. Um, I've been seeing actually a lot of these advertisements lately. Uh, it's something about I don't know what I don't know what they're advertising, guys. Um, Better Me Health Coaching, uh, and uh, it tells you like what to eat uh, at certain ages. So age eighteen to twenty-five, you get this. They always have the most interesting art, though. Right. Uh, and they got these characters for this. Age 55 plus. This uh, disgusting egg who... Uh, guys, I swear to Christ, that is the face of Barry B. Benson. That is straight up the B... That is the B move. They just, like, photoshopped. They stole his face. 
They stole his face. These are AI guys. Here's what chat's horny for. A, a fucking fillet of salmon. This chat wants to fuck fish people. Well, here you go, chat. You horny? You, you, just doing it for you guys? You getting horny? Getting your pee pee hard? You like that, you freaks? Everything reminds me of her. Chat's like, I like her thigh gap. Rancid. And then there's a, a there's a zoomer over here. Little broccoli head fuck. And uh, this disgusting tomato. Uh, intermittent fasting. I don't. I I feel like if you see advertisements like this, just 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 reply and at me, please, because I I I like this shit. This shit, this shit sucks, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Zoomers are forty-five. No, dude, not the, the 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 broccoli head. The broccoli head shit, dude. The broccoli got a BBL. Static just sent me one. Let me see. He saw this this morning. Oh, this one's fucked. I seen this one. I seen this one. This is mega fucked. Yeah, this one's bad. Intermittent fasting according to the age. Why do they look like... Okay, hold on. I, I gotta get the... Hold on. Hold on. This is becoming really complicated, especially without my stream deck. Intermittent fasting according to the age. And they become like gunt homunculuses? I seen the gun the gunt homunculuses. Why are they headless? My these are literally Dark Souls monsters. Guys, he's perfectly fucking spherical. This is horrifying. No, this this literally is like Junji Ito shit. Why would they make this? Skinny legs, no tits. He's built like Robotnik, bro. Robotnik porn. Why is it so disturbing, guys? Farming these guys for rare drops. Guys, look at this one. Look how fucked this one is. Why do they look like this? Is Are they telling you this is what you're going to look like if you follow the diet? I don't want to look like that, man. Look at how they, they have to, like, these fucking mindless homunculuses, like these fucking cr laboratory creatures... They have these fat gunts that they have to hold. Dude, this... Th no, no, this really is, like... Elden Ring type shit. Oh, and ironically, Elden Ring type shit. Why does it walk around ha holding its gunt? If they let go, their spine breaks. Mike, that's crazy, but... Fuck, that stomach is gross. Look at that. Fuck you. Fuck that thing. It looks like a Kirby enemy. It's like a Kirby character. I hate it. I want to draw eyes on it. That's fucking Waddle Day with human legs. Oh, chat's re reading. Okay, so at 7 p.m., you're supposed to have veggie sticks and Asian friend noodles in quotation marks. Guys. Poop noodles? Dude. 
do some anal with your Asian friend. And then, uh, you know, throw a homie in the pasta machine. <laughs> do some anal with your homie. And there's 55. Oh, why is his belly button in like the wrong place? Fuck this, man. This is th this is an advertisement, by the way, for the same like business. Right? Better me. It's the same people. Just the same shit. Guys, I fucking hate this shit. I mean, like, I love it, but I hate it. Right? Uh, hold on. I got some house cleaning to do here. Uh, put these things in the watch the folder. We watch them, so they're gonna go in the watch folder. Okay. Trouble Busters. Let's do one Trouble Buster early. Right now. Oh, you, Chad said, thank you for teaching me about this account so I can block them and never see them again. Dude, I saw one where they had they were like furries once. They they did they illustrated this with furries somehow. Like anthro, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Trouble. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we fucking go. Here we go. And we'll we'll start with Trouble Busters. We'll get it out of the fucking way. Trouble Busters. Hi, I'm Charlie. Hi, Charlie. They stole furry art. It might have been stolen art. I work at a company specializing in interior furnishing services. I've always been passionate about furniture and space planning. So I'm thrilled to work in an environment surrounded by the things I love. My cousin Hillary, who works at a high-end furniture store, has the same Hikari. passion as me. Hillary. Charlie, do you have a minute? I have a passion for furniture. Nobody has a passion for furniture. Shut up. Yes? What is it, Mark? This is my boss, Mark. Mark is a dandy man who's exceptionally talented in interior decorating. I've always admired... He's a what? Charlie, do you have a minute? Yes? What is it, Mark? This is my boss, Mark. Mark is a dandy man who's exceptionally talented. What do we mean by dandy? Like, define dandy here. How dandy we talking? How dandy? He's fancy. He's zany. Interior decorating. I've always admired his furniture choice and placement. I got news for you. That means you're gay. Had to play it manually. I'm going to a furniture store in the city center. Would you like to come with me? Of course! Which store are we going to? Bro, I can't wait till later in this episode when they share a gay kiss and the camera pans away from it and shows it in the background. So we can finally get the LGBTQ plus rep that we've been craving for years. Yo, I heard this. This episode is banned in Saudi Arabia. The name of the store is Trubus Furniture. Oh, my. Anal Busters. <laughs> Anal Busters. Did you time the kiss? We're going to time the kiss, guys. Anal Busters. <laughs> Cousin works there. Sounds great. Let's go. So my boss and I went to the high-end furniture store my cousin works at. Hi, welcome. Oh, hey, Charlie. Hey, who worked so brought me, me here today? So me and the boss today? started fucking Great. 
It's We've fucking just raw. received some beautiful pieces. Feel free to take a look. My boss and I started to look at the furniture. And then I got real fucking horny. So I started jerking him off on the couch. Wow. Look at the table legs. The curves and lines are so glamorous and sexy. Is he okay? Bro, this dude fucks furniture. Is there a word for that? Fer a ferno a ferno file or something? What we we ought to word? Ferno file. Mark is not always like this. Only when he sees great designs. <laughs> this wood, the way it feels. Such a cute chair. It's so nice. Oh no. I'll go to the second floor. Mark was in a daze, so I decided to check out the second floor. Oh no. First, I noticed a lady and a young boy on the second floor. The boy. I hope Chair Chan notices me. He was about seven years old. His mother, who seemed very young, stood there while her son ran around. Wow, this bed is huge! The boy kept jumping up and down on one of the beds. But the mother didn't seem to care. She was looking at her phone the whole time. Love that. Great parenting. Hey, stop jumping on the bed! Who are you, old man? Old man? I'm not old. The boy ignored me, ran to a dresser, and kicked it. Then he started punching the mirror. Hey, that's enough! What do you think you're doing? Nothing! I'm just bored! This is fun! I fucking hate furniture! And fuck you! Anger level 30%. You can't damage the furniture just because you're bored. Stop it! After hearing me yelling, Hillary also came to the boy. No! Stop that, please! Dude, if I worked here, I would be like, Yo, bitch! Take your shitty child and get the fuck out of the store. Get out. Shut up, old lady! I'm not old! Get this fucking kid out of here before we call the cops. Hey, you! Just because you're a kid doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. Where's your mother? Playing Candy Crush. But, what did my Patrick do this time? Are you his mother? Look at all the damages your son did. Listen, go buy him an iPad, sit him down, and fuck put on finger family bullshit on autoplay like a normal mother. Okay? Do what everybody else does. All right, load up a fucking shitty fucking Elsa Gate playlist. All right, let him sit there and rot his mind like the rest of us do, okay? Get with the times, lady. Oh, and then? And then? Are you serious? Okay, okay. I'll pay for the damages, all right? You worried about my child? There's a guy downstairs shooting loads into a sofa. Maybe you should be more worried about that. How much is it? How much? That's how jabroni mic viewers are created? No, do you want to really see how jabroni mic viewers are created? Because this, I, I think about this art all the time. That one of you made, hold on. Somewhat recently during the fat baby, uh, fat baby streams. I have been thinking about this art a lot. It was a comic that one of you made. Uh, this, this wasn't that far back. Fuck. Oh. Remember the fa the fat baby art with the um. Can't find it. With the Roomba guys. Remember that? That was four weeks ago. That was a full month ago. Well, I was it pre Gollum or post Gollum. Was it the before times, or? I can't find it. I don't know. How did you find it? L W B underscore lol what burger.
Mike, did you see the bear sex scene from Baldur's Gate 3? No, but I heard you fuck a bear in that game, and it's horrible. I heard you had, yeah, I heard your character has sex with a bear. There's good times and, and bad times, and even the bear. New friends and old friends, and even a bear. Chat toyed the origins, right? So there's Fat Baby, and he sees a Roomba coming at him. Because <laughs> this happened in the game, right? Where the fucking Roomba was slammed full speed into the baby's soft spot. <laughs> Remember? It just thwack. <laughs> Twenty years later, ha <laughs> ha, come. <laughs> Happy birthday, uh, Beltran. <laughs> Look at that. You know why it's perfect? Because the dent made by the Roomba is the exact shape of the Chatoid skull, right? By the way, Siege Maker made that. Uh, if anyone's wondering, and I, I love it. Somebody named Siege Maker on the Buru. Wet farts. Thanks for the gift sub. The mic face cam is awesome. Yeah, and there's the uh, yeah there's the, there's the Gluck Gluck hamster. That's fucking great. Think I I was thinking about that the other day. Do you have any idea how expensive these are? Yeah, we'll pay the damages. My family is so rich. This is nothing. Yeah, even if they are rich, though, I don't imagine they enjoy, um, you know, having to pay for trash that you broke. Anger level 60%. Aren't you? The word come is visible in the chat. Is it? It is. <laughs> it is. Feeling sorry at all? Do you know how much trouble you've caused at this store? I'm gonna have to bust all this trouble. But you wouldn't have anything to do, you know. You... The word red was in there. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. <laughs> or or it's this rat. My eye is doing a thing again. He's just a kid. Isn't it enough that I compensate the store for the damages? I'll pay as much as you want. She seems really calm about it, though. I mean, like, I'd be losing it on the fucking child, you know? Like, I'd... But there's no way we'll apologize. How can you say that? Who cares about an apology? She's giving you the money. Who gives a fuck? Did you have fun, Patrick? Yeah! I love breaking things! <laughs> How can you be so proud? Elon Musk when he buys Twitter. Yeah! I love breaking things! How can you be so proud of yourself? In the end, neither the mother nor the son apologized. The mother just handed Hillary her credit card. How much in total? I'll pay for everything with this card. I'll calculate now. Please- Also, uh, Bill Gates every time he does a Windows update. Wait a moment. Hey! The kid wandered off again. While his mother waited impatiently for Hillary to calculate the total, the boy went somewhere. Okay, I've paid for the damages. Are you satisfied now? Yes, you paid for the damages. But you should have stopped him before he damaged the furniture. Wow, you just won't stop. I've already paid, so it's over. Uh, I can't believe I have to throw those pieces away. We just received them today. I'll help you. Jeez, what a day. I was heartbroken seeing all the pretty furniture destroyed by the kid. And then Mark came upstairs. Wow, this bed is so nice too. Great colors and so smooth. What an amazing piece. Hi, honey. What are you doing here? What? Honey? Michelle? Wait! You're not gay? I came here to see the new arrivals. Charlie, this <clears throat> is my wife, Michelle. What? 
She's your wife? But what about all the gay sex we had? Huh? Do you know my hubby? Don't be rude. This is Charlie. He works at the company. Ow. Mark's wife started to get really nervous. I guess she didn't want her husband to find out what had happened earlier. It'd be difficult to tell her husband, who loves and works with furniture every day, that his son had damaged the furniture pieces on display. A great idea suddenly came to me. The word hubby is horrible. I, I, oh, oh yeah, I, I fucking can't stand it. Dog shit. Dog shit. Anybody who uses that word is a bad person. And there's a special place in hell reserved for you. Worse than partner. By a lot. Mark, there's a piece of furniture I want to show you. It was just short for husband? It doesn't even sound like husband. See you later, Michelle. I would rather you say partner than hubby. I looked for the kid and led Mark to the third floor. Only boomers that destroyed the economy use that word. When we got there... Hubby Chudder. Hubby Chudder. His son was destroying more furniture and got more violent. Lobby hubby? I'm gonna destroy everything! My parents are rich anyway! Anger level 100%. I knew he'd still be damaging the furniture. This is not tolerable. I need to teach this kid a lesson. Time to trouble bust him! Time to trouble buster him. Bro, you're gonna trouble bust a child? Is that legal? Is that... Oh my god, Mark! Is that child who's breaking the furniture your son? Destroy the child. What? Stop! Patrick! What are you doing? Oh? Hey, Dad! Why are you damaging the furniture? I was just playing! You idiot! Mark got so angry and slapped the kid. Child abuse. Don't you know those things are for... Child abuse. Fail? Even if they're not, didn't Do I teach you to cherish things? Do we, uh, is, it, is this, a, 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 we always talk about this. When is it, when is it, like, time to hit someone? Guys, I was, I was reminded of that conversation because I saw a video of, I want to say it was an internet cafe. It was footage from inside an internet cafe where these two parents were laying into their kid. It was like a teenager, it looked like. And they were pummeling the fuck out of him in public. In public. Because the guy had just... The, the kid had somehow got access to their bank account and spent their entire savings on, like, microtransactions and shit for fucking, like, like mobile games and shit. Or, like, he was, like, like rolling for gushies and, like, Genshin Impact or some shit. Mike, that was proven wrong. Okay, what actually happened then? No, I forgot. I forgot nothing ever happens. I forgot that nothing ever happens. I forgot. Sorry. Nothing ever happens. My bad. Chat, don't say deserved. Okay, I have a question. For, I have a question for everybody. Okay. I have a question for everybody who really, really feels that that's completely inappropriate, totally. You have a light, you have a savings of something like your, 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 your savings that you use to survive. It's about, let's, 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 let's say $60,000. Let's say $60,000. And one day it's gone. It's just gone. It's totally gone. Your entire your life savings is is gone because of the actions of your child. You 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 wouldn't you wouldn't raise a a, a fist in anger. You wouldn't. You'd not you'd not do anything. He 
Hitting them doesn't bring back the money. Yeah, but are you going to be able to stop yourself? Someone in chat said, no, I'm not Italian. Fair. 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 The video is all... So the video is a complete lie. Okay, well, forget the video then. I'm asking you this now. What did he spend it on? Apparently, it didn't happen. So I'll forget it. Because nothing ever happens. You you would say it's my fault that the kid had access to the bank account, really? I, I'm seeing that in the chat. I'd say I'd be I'd be mad at myself for allowing the child access to the bank account. So you have like your bank account information somewhere private. He sneaks into your fucking like your office or whatever, goes through your shit and gets your bank account information. And uses it to fucking, you know, roll for uh, for loot crates in like Genshin Impact or some shit. And you come and and one day you go you go pay for something and like your debit card's declined because your bank account is empty. Has it ever happened? Yeah. I, I would I, I think things like that happen, yeah. I think things like that happen. You might be able to get it back. You think you're getting you think you're getting that shit back from, from fucking a, a Hoyo verse, bro? Well maybe you could contact a credit card company, maybe. Yeah, I think things like I think things like that happen. And chat's gonna just be like the fucking way she goes. Fucking way she goes. Sometimes your child just robs you. You know. And it's like, I don't know, maybe Maybe if you had disciplined the child prior to that, that wouldn't have happened. You know, maybe maybe something like that wouldn't have happened. I'm not I'm not saying like necessarily like physical violence. But you gotta you gotta imagine that bad parenting is 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 the culprit in a lot of these situations. I, I like to think it okay, listen, I'm not I don't I don't have kids. God willing I'm never gonna have kids. But I sort of think that That's a uh, that's a symptom of bigger problems, right? Mike, I'm not beating my child. I am I am saying that I think the the I, I don't think you'd be able to stop yourself in a situation where your life savings are drained completely. I don't think like I don't think you'd be able I don't think you'd be able to resist resist it. I don't even think you'd be, I don't think you'd be able to. I think you'd just snap. I, I, you, you wouldn't, are you kidding me? I don't have anger issues. It's a skill issue. It's your life savings. It's everything you've worked for. It's, it, you're, you're homeless now. Yeah. Like what, like what, Mike, the child is getting the camel clutch at minimum. <laughs> All right, so what do you do? I'm unhinged. I'm crazy. I'm a fucking psychopath. All right, what 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 do you do? What happens? What do you, what do you? How do you guys deal with the situation? What what ha what what happens after that? What happens after that? And then you come in here and you're like you're like, man, I'm really upset with you. I don't think you should have done that. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. Then then what? Oh, okay. I I am I I guess I am a stupid bitch. Um, and I think you're gonna have to get a job so you could help me, you know, survive. Fuck you, you dumb bitch! I'm not getting a job. Fuck you! I'm never gonna get a job. Suck my dick, bitch! Oh, okay. Well, all right. You know what? 
sure, I'll suck your dick, little Timmy, sure. Because I don't want to do anything that could upset that could upset you. Guys, it's 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 demonstrating. I'm demonstrating the point. Okay, I'm that you wouldn't actually do that. I'm demonstrating a point. Okay? Obviously you wouldn't actually do that. Okay, also it's a metaphorical dick sucking, okay? Poor choice of words. Oh my god, fucking stop. Stop. You get my you get what I'm trying to fucking say, okay? Get over yourselves. Jesus Christ. AC is drinking father's calm moment. I'm, I'm, listen, I... I would not ever want to hit my kid. I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying I would be beating my child all the time. If I had one. Okay? I, I would hope that I wouldn't, I wouldn't fucking do that. However, when I hear somebody had their fucking bank account drained... Okay, Nader Tater, thanks for 15 months. When I'm hearing that somebody had their fucking bank account completely drained, I'm wondering, I'm like, in, I'm thinking in that scenario, I feel like I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to, like, that takes some incredible, incredible, like, willpower to not lose it. You know, I, I don't know. You talk about it a lot. I think we've talked about it like four times. I, I, I think we've I think we've we've talked about yeah, we've talked about it a number of times, yeah. Because it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting conversation to me because I was not raised that way. I was raised I was raised really differently than I think a lot of you guys. And I don't know what, I, again, I just, I don't know. I got hit over nothing. I would get hit over, if I made a sound my dad didn't like, I was getting a beating. Like, I was fucking hit over virtually everything. So when I see some of the things, like, kids, like, do without being reprimanded, like, without being hit, I'm just like, whoa. Like, it just, it still, to this day, like, blows my fucking mind. You know? Like, I just fucking, it just blows me away. Yeah. I just, I, 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 like a scenario like this, like I would have fucking got beaten mercilessly for this. Like I would have had fucking bruises all over my body. Like if I embarrassed my father in public, I was, that was it, dude. If I embarrassed my father in public in any way, I was getting fucking, my, I was going to be bleeding from the mouth that night, like straight up. Like this, like going on a rampage in a store and breaking shit. He might not have even have waited to leave the store to hit me. Like a fucking crazy. You know, and it's like, I see things like this and it's like, whoa. Hey, Data, thanks for the, uh, uh, the raid, man. Because I see things like this and I'm just like, it, my instinct is like, well, yeah, well, if, that, if I was growing up, that would have been, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fucking fine. I'm obviously, I'm fine. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I'm discussing it. It's, it's, you know, yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I mean, like I've been in, I've been in a, a lot of therapy. I'm not trying to have a therapy session with you right now. Okay, that's not what we're doing here. I'm just relating my life experience to this. I'm talking about a, a, a Twitter video that I saw about a kid who ostensibly, who supposedly drained his parents' bank account. Yeah, not everything is. Yeah, not everything is a a therapy session, guys. <clears throat> um. Are you okay? About to go back on the ban list. We did have it on the ban list at one point. Um, <clears throat> you come home. You go to the store. You try to buy some groceries. You find out your debit card is rejected. Okay. Sonic, thanks for the 10 months. You notice your, 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 you notice, you notice your debit count account has been drained. You go home, you're like, son, what the fuck's going on? What did you spend it on? And he turns around. He's, you see in the computer chair, he slowly turns around. And he goes, I, 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 I just bought more land in the metaverse. Now I'm getting paid rent and cash with Atlas Earth. 
and he shows you, he's like, look what I bought, dad. And he shows you all his fucking Atlas Earth purchases that he bought with your fucking bank account that drained your bank account because he bought like a fucking NFT ape and he bought a bunch of fucking land in the metaverse. Guys, you don't hit him? Not even a little smack? Nothing? Oh, it. Oh, but now because it's crypto shit, Chad has completely flipped the script, right? They're like, oh, it's crypto shit. Yeah, that kid's fucking dead. Right. Look what Vinny Vine Sauce taught me. I just bought law land in the metaverse. Tee -hee. <laughs> I just did what my hero, Vinny Vine Sauce, would want me to do. Hee <laughs> hee. Tucker. <laughs> Tucker. Tucker bought all the land in the metaverse, right? Holy fuck. Why did he have your card? They they they're, they're kids are resourceful when they get shit when they get shit that they that they want. You know, like in order to get shit that they want, guys, like Especially like undisciplined children. Undisciplined children will just fucking. Yeah, they would have no problem going into your wallet while you're asleep and taking the your fucking credit card. You kidding me? You kidding me? Oh, yeah. But. Yeah, all right. Tangent over. Plague! You idiot! Mark got so angry and slapped the kid. Bam! I like the onomatopoeia. Don't you know those things are for sale? Even if they're not, didn't I teach you to cherish things? Mark raised his voice and scolded his son furiously. And his son started crying hysterically. Honey! What did Patrick do? Michelle! Bro, she sounds like a big mouth character. Raised his voice and scolded his son furiously. And his son started crying hysterically. How do you know? Don't worry about how I know. Honey, what did Patrick do? I have not, okay, I have not watched it, but a part of me is like getting curious about it. I have, no, I, I swear to God, I haven't seen it. No cap, I haven't seen it. But I'm really feeling like I, a part of me, I think about it sometimes. I think about it sometimes. I do. I do. Sometimes I think about what if I did, what if I did, what if I did watch it? Don't worry, guys, I'm canceling Netflix. I'm going to fucking pirate the whole series just to fucking, just, just to spite Netflix and then not even watch it. You know? That's what, that's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Michelle, why didn't you watch him? He was doing terrible things. Oh, <laughs> was he being naughty again? He's just a kid. Just let him be. Let him be? This is not a joke! Sorry to interrupt, but the boy already destroyed some pieces of Destroy the child. Your wife already paid for the damaged furniture. Really? Has he already broken something else? That idiot! Mark was so enraged and scolded his wife and son. So they just kept crying while listening to my boss. <laughs> Apparently, it was not their first time breaking display items at store. They just do this for fun everywhere they go. Mark makes a lot of money, so the family lives a luxurious life. But his wife and son somehow grew a habit of going into shops and breaking things on purpose. <laughs> what? What? Like, a, like, like, is this, what is this shit? Why? His wife would also disrespect the store employees with paying for the damaged items. She gets off on it. No matter how rich people are, I'll never understand such a hobby. That's fucking infuriating, dude. Divorce time. What the fuck are you doing? It's Divorce this guy and enter into a homosexual relationship with your coworker immediately. My fault that I'm What are you doing? Always so Be gay and do crimes. Not that kind of crime though. Busy. I should have spent more time with you. Still, 
breaking things just because you're bored is absolutely unacceptable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm can't. He says he's sorry. Stealing your credit card. Does the dad not notice thousands of dollars disappearing every other day? I think rich people just like actually don't pay attention to their fucking bank if that makes sense like i really i really do think rich people are just will, will just like yeah when you're that rich you just give your fuck you're like here have a credit card honey have a credit card timmy you know like uh, here you go you want to buy some land in the metaverse here 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 you go uh tucker do you notice every time you lose a quarter i i guess that i guess that but scaled up Use your own money to pay for the damages. Mark was infuriated and made his wife pay for all the damaged items. He looks like he's more angry about the fact that this sexy, voluptuous, erotic furniture was destroyed. Later, I heard that Mark had divorced his wife. Uh, Zakute, thanks again for the uh, super chat. He's this divorce. Good, good. You know what? Good, good. Good. Thank you so much. Since Mark got custody of their son, his wife not only had to reimburse the money paid for the damaged furniture, but she also had to pay him child support. What? She... No, 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 no. Bitch, you are taking this kid out of my life. There was punishment for his son, too. His son had to make furniture and tablewares by hand all summer to learn the value of things. He didn't learn shit, this kid. You know what I would do? I would just go to her house once a week and break everything. I would just walk in and just break shit. His son learned how hard it is to make things from scratch and understood why it's important to cherish things. Charlie, my son has changed. He won't even break his toys now. That's great! I was too busy with work, so I gave them money to compensate. Now I realize how wrong I was. At least you taught your son a valuable lesson. Yeah. I want Patrick to understand being wealthy doesn't mean he can do whatever he likes. He needs to learn to cherish the smallest things in life. It'd be nice if your son becomes- Just reiterating, just reg regurgitating what they just fucking said. He's interested in interior design someday. Mark's son changed a lot after the incident. Even though he's still young, he should learn to cherish rather than destroy things. I hope Mark can always remind his son of the importance of respect so he can grow up cherishing a lot of things in life. By the way, FFAP called this Charlie in the Furniture Factory. They were saying he's like the Willy Wonka of furniture or some shit. Which actually makes sense. Trouble Busters! What a piece of shit video that was fuck me yo how come how come there's there there's never the the bitch with the green hair how come we never see her in any of these and usually when we do she's like a side character or something she's like irrelevant she's not ne she's never in them I think it was a YouTube comment or something, but one of you was like, 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 unironically mega horny for this character. Like, like, one of you was unironically super fucking horny for this, for this character, yeah. That was a couple of nights ago. You saw that? Mido, Mido Rico is so hot, she distracts from the story. Maybe that's why they stopped putting her in these videos because the, because the YouTube comments were like were too were too inappropriate, right? Did we ever get an explanation for what the trouble busters are? Yeah, it's right here. Well, there, there's some kind of superheroes, obviously. Trouble buster. Who's this? Who's that? Oh my god. No, Hikari does have a lot of R34, apparently. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay. So that's a trouble buster. Do you want another trouble buster? Because there are more trouble buster chat. There is more trouble busters. Do you want another trouble buster? Okay, we will do one more trouble buster. Okay. More assassin rapper. I don't have any more assassin rapper. Okay, before I do another trouble buster. If you were new in this Twitch channel. Walter, here's what you're going to do, Walter. If you're new to the Twitch channel, here's what you're going to do. You're going to click the links that are in chat. All right, you're going to follow me on Twitter. You're going to follow me on TikTok. You're going to subscribe to my two YouTube channels, three of them. All right, here's what you're going to do, Walter. You're going to subscribe to the YouTube channels. The links are in the chat right there. Thank you so much, Tune the Note. Okay, and you're going to, uh, if you want to support the channel, you can click the Ko-fi link or the Patreon link. Uh, right there. You can also follow on Kick. There's a link there to that. And also, uh, you're going to join our Discord server, Walter. You're going to click that link. You're going to go to the landing page. You're going to follow the instructions to join the Discord server. You're going to join the Discord server. Because you're going to get stream notifications. And you're going to get some good gluck luck too. All right? So get to the Discord server right now. Okay? I'm going to post the links again. In case anybody missed it. You know, you guys are talking about getting a link tree, but I realized something. You know why a link tree won't work? Because you can't ask somebody to click on two things. It's a miracle if when I post that, somebody clicks on any of those links there. If I had to click, if they had to click a link that takes them somewhere where they then have to click another link, that is asking way too much for of a, of a person. I'm not I'm not kidding. That's how like lazy people are. Like they straight up don't what you can't be bothered to click two things. They, they won't do it. They won't they won't do it. They'll be like, oh, that's gonna take me off site link tree. I don't know what that is. I'm not clicking that. Sleepy boy said, I'm a web designer by trade. This is legitimately true. You are 100 percent correct. Guys, I'm not fucking around. I know it. I'm not fucking around. I, I, I don't, don't ask me why. I don't know why. Vinny made a link tree yesterday. Yeah, well, he fucked up because nobody's going to click on any of that shit. It's not going it, 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 to work. Because people won't do that. They won't click a link tree and then, be, and then click something else. And that's too many clicks. That's literally that, that. Then their finger has to move twice instead of once. They won't do it. Mike, my wife told me you were showing whole soon. How much do I have to donate for that? You couldn't afford it. Okay. This is not a trouble buster, though. Hold on. Um, is this a trouble buster? Busters. Yeah, it is. Okay, here we go. Trouble Busters. My name is Adam. I'm working in a certain hotel. Our hotel is often used for dinners and parties. We this voice acting, though? I have a reservation for tomorrow night from a certain company for their New Year's party. I'm still new at this job, so it'll be a first for me to deal with a New Year party. Uh, I hope I don't get caught by some drunks. Hot girl heaven. Just before that party, our manager, Lucy, gathered all of the staff, saying that she had something important to say. Well, about tomorrow's New Year's party, I have something I'd like you all to cooperate. Doesn't even sound like him. It will. What? It seems pretty serious. What's gonna happen? Lucy gave us the most unbelievable instruction. I was about to experience the worst party of my career. The day of the New Year's party, all of the staff kept Lucy's instructions in mind and got to work. Apparently, the client's company was rather large. As a CEO, the last VA is in prison for murdering three people. Oh, a section manager and a lot of employees were attending. However, none of those employees were smiling. They were all looking down and. 
There she is, guys. Their laughs, expressionless, as though they were bored of listening to a school principal's speech. In the midst of that weird atmosphere, the New Year's party started. Adam, can you check the table? Everybody's on edibles? Doesn't serve more food if they're running out? Yes, ma'am. Out? If they're running out? If they're running out. Guys. Canada. Hold on. Let me get. Canadoid detected. Ejaculate. Ejaculate. What happened? What? Um, about yesterday's orders. Are we really? Shh, just do as I say. And so, the New Year's party began. First, the CEO, representing the company, made a speech. Well, thanks to all your hard work this year, we've made very good progress. This must also be thanks to me, who raised you all. I wonder if I could set up the stream deck to, to, to turn on the filters. But you know what? It's a fuck. Again, it's, it's, it's just, I was so happy when it was working earlier, and then it just died. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Went to such great employees. <laughs> the CEO made such I got, typically horrible jokes. I got I got spoiled by the stream deck and how like luxurious it is to to how much it's it streamlines streamlines making shit like this. Representing the company made a speech. Well, thanks to all your hard work this year, we've made very good progress. This must also be thanks to me. Who... Buy another one. Yeah, it's only like 200 bucks. Also, I have no guarantee that whatever happens to the new one isn't going to happen to this one. Especially because I'm fairly certain this is a software issue and not a hardware issue. Raised you all into such great employees. <laughs> the CEO made such typically horrible jokes as he made a speech. But... And he made such beautiful sing-song rhymes. All of the employees were completely ignoring him. They were all doing as they please, drinking and eating. Some were even speaking or using their phones. Uh, <clears throat> it seems that young people nowadays can't listen to what their seniors are saying. If you keep that attitude up, none of you will be successful. He must have gotten angry at being ignored because the CEO started to complain. Even so, the employees were still acting as though he didn't exist. This is me when I stream and chats tabbed out the cock porn. The CEO kept mumbling on, but it seemed like nobody had any interest. So, Or when I'm trying to talk about anything and they're just sitting there. Talking about like, like, like fucking like. Sh he returned to his own. Whatever trash they, you guys talk about. Without even finishing his speech. Next up was a second. Arguing about the fuckability of mermaids. The manager. Uh, well, today is the New Year's party, so usually I would refrain from lecturing, but I can't overlook this. You're all being incredibly rude to the CEO. The section manager was outraged by the employee's attitudes towards the CEO. You, you young people, with your phones and your chit chat. You this blows. Don't have any concentration at all. His speech was more of a lecture rather than a speech, but he was also ignored after all. Most of the employees were now talking, so the section manager's voice was lost in a sea of conversation. That's actually kind of based. Fuck these guys. Just like the CEO. Like, why did you force them to come here? You think they don't have better shit to do? By the way, are, are they on the fucking clock for this, cocksuckers? The section manager gave up and returned to his own seat. Hey, Jade, pour me a drink. Smith, the other day I found a plastic figure I've been looking for for ages. <laughs> Jade, are you listening to me? Johnson, what are you planning to do for this year's Comic-Con? I think I might cosplay. Jade, what's with that attitude? <laughs> there must be a mosquito or something flying around. The CEO and section manager were... Jade at Comic-Con. Still being ignored by all of the employees. I wondered why these two were being treated like this. It seems that there was a valid reason. So, let's turn back time to when Lucy was giving us our instructions yesterday. Well, about tomorrow's New Year's party. No matter what happens, I'd like you to keep quiet. She has Hikari shoved up her ass. Quiet and not interfere. Huh? What do you mean? Is it a pro wrestler's New Year's party? Are they going to fight? Of course not, you fool. The truth is, I've been told about a certain plan devised by someone from the company. Plan? Seems like a pretty big deal. Could it be a surprise proposal or something? All of the employees are cooperating to get their revenge on their horrible boss and manager. Aw, oh, proposal's not even close. I wanted it to be something much happier. According to Lucy, the CEO and section manager's oppression you was fool. terrible. Most of the employees had had enough, so they had come together for the New Year's party to get back at them. Like that, we would be cooperating with the revenge too. 
has got nothing to do with me, but I won't forgive them. Trouble busters. After being ignored did again okay for so long the ceo finally lost his temper and began to shout and bro he just fucking went homelander look at that finally lost his temper and began to shout and rage he was pushing employees that were seated nearby and was screaming at anyone in the vicinity he was struggling so much. Plates were falling from the table, crashing down to the floor loudly. However, we had already been given instructions. But you know, these people can't use sound effects, so you'll just have to imagine it. Instructions not to interfere. I cleared up the plates quietly. It's just like a robot. It, it's just music, voice acting, and an occasional wow. Without any emotion, midway, the irritated CEO shouted that I was in the way. It's work, but what a horrible day. After that, <laughs> the party was just pure chaos. The CEO and section manager were pissed off. The employees were still ignoring them. Look on the right. At this point, the two who were being ignored were more like clowns. Sad clowns, stuck in the corner, with no one to pay attention to them. The chaotic part- They should just fuck. Like, what else, did, what else are they gonna do at this point? The party was finally about to end. I mean, that- Bro, that was a fucking Mr. Mint, like, like, RP outfit. Clowns stuck in the corner with no one to pay attention to them. The chaotic party was. <laughs> <laughs> that is some form of gay sex. Finally, about to end. One woman who had been quietly drinking until now stood up and took hold of the microphone. Uh, test, test. What, Jade? Are you going to make a joke or something? <laughs> she usually doesn't have any sense for jokes. I wonder what she'll show us. <laughs> Women aren't funny. How about you dance around naked then? <laughs> All of us employees will be taking you both to court. What? The both of them were making faces as though they'd swallowed something down the wrong pipe. We've all endured it. The pigeons? Yeah, Herrick, hold on. Yeah, they need, um, where is it? They need, they need one, of, yeah, mm-hmm. They need one of these right now. It's a company that makes pigeons. What, like, the drones that are, that are spying on all of us all the time? Like, the fake birds, the fake bird drones? They need one of these. Enough of your harassment. We can't take it anymore. Whoa, it started. Oh, life's dramatic. Yep. What are you talking about? When did we ever do something like that? You've done a lot up until now. We have evidence, too. Shut up! You don't have the right to talk back to me like that! Uh, I didn't expect anyone to make any comments. Oh well. Anyway, we'll be taking you to court. Prepare yourselves. After hearing the word court, the CEO and section manager seemed to be panicking, but the employees were serious and didn't hold back how angry they might they make the shells? The internals are all produced by private government facilities. Guys, I don't think it's it's a good idea to make up like meme conspiracy theories. Because if anything, the last, I don't know, like six, five, six years has taught me, it's that um, people will just believe it. I, I you know, I got they were with their glares. Well, now that we've made that clear, let's go home. Yeah, we don't have. I, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Like, I don't think it's funny or quirky. I think it's fucking scary and dangerous. Hang around with these two. The next time we meet, we'll be in court. Our battle has only just begun. <laughs> and then you know, like ten years from now, you'll have like a serious fucking like like presidential candidate like like running like the fuck like the fucking somebody running in like the republican primary who's like like legitimately fucking believes or is legit or is saying that they believe that that birds aren't real she's I mean, acting like she's in a movie all of the employees left the hall looking like they were or in some shit spirits. you know like it's well, fucking they've drunk plenty too i'm not surprised the only ones left in the hall were the ceo and the section manager looking lost just like i had promised lucy i didn't talk to them at all and continued tidying up silently 
and people saying it's based like, and voting for them course. and being like, yeah, this fucking rules. And all the other finally somebody saying all staff it. were doing the same. The hall became empty, and finally, the CEO and section manager left too. They had been standing pretty aimlessly, so it must have been quite a shock. And so, the unprecedented New Year's party came to a close. Adam, thanks for your hard work. Yo, Jam, thanks for 54 months. Looking forward to the hole. I knew you would be. Lucy. Nobody loves a good hole like Dem Jam. Thank you, too. You must have been pretty soon, surprised soon. by today's situation. Well, I felt like I had become a robot. It's the first time I understood how Pepper the Robot feels. Well, the woman that made that announcement is my friend. But really? Lucy told me that the woman who spoke at the end called Jade was her friend. They had been talking about her workplace from quite a while ago. Yeah, who's Pepper the Robot? And Lucy had wondered if there was anything she could do to help. Like that, they came up with a plan to use the New Year's party as their location. A Japanese mascot. These videos are from Japan, by the way. Now, I, you know, it just clicked. I understand why chat loves these so much. Because you're all weebs. And this is the closest thing we could do to watching anime on this fucking channel. Straight up. Straight up. Location of revenge. We've all come to a decision. We're going to take those stinking managers to court. That's for the best. He's on to us. To help? We're planning on booking the hall at your hotel for the next New Year's party. We'll get our revenge there. Huh? Please don't tell me you'll be setting off a bazooka or something. Of yeah, we're gonna not. fucking kill the we're guy. We're not on TV. We're going to step all over their pride and embarrass them at the party. Whoa, that's a really simple revenge. Trouble Busters is better than Death Note. Of course, it's not just me. All of us will be going, we'll be ignoring them. No matter what they do or say, I just want to make sure that none of the hotel staff will interfere or say anything. Is that possible? Yeah, it's okay. I'll let everyone know. I'll make sure they don't do- Is this, this one fucking eats ass. Holy shit, Anything this is or bad. say anything. This way we can rip their stupid pride into teeny tiny pieces. <laughs> Happy so pride. Oh, the plan to give the CEO and session manager the- Fetal juice, uh, fe fecal juice is in chat. We also have a fetal juice, by the way. But fecal juice is here, and he says, This is my Akira. Cold shoulder was to proceed. For the employees, it was their final chance to take their anger out on their managers and embarrass them before they sued them. The hotel staff were ordered to play a. This is a bureaucracy episode of Clone Wars. I never watched Clone Wars, but why do I know exactly what you're saying? Like, why does that make so much? Because they're because they're based on the prequels, which suck cock, right? Long, so that the plan would... Fetal juice and fecal juice should kiss. ...and go to waste. Just as we planned. <laughs> they should. <laughs> oh, no. Lucy Smith. The two juicer. The two juice. <laughs> the juicer ship. Making a really evil face. Stop shipping real people, chat. Ace. Jade. Juice maxing. <laughs> Said that she had planned to rethink things if the CEO and section manager had apologized. Mike, I'm gonna say it. Star Wars sucks and is overrated. I've been saying that for years, and every time I do, somebody fucking flips out on me. But they didn't reflect on their actions at all. Well, I'm not surprised. It's only a matter of course the employees wouldn't forgive them if they kept on with that attitude. Anyway, my job was finished too. I wasn't directly involved with the resolution, but I'm glad I could cooperate with the employees. A while after, I heard what happened from Lucy. Jade told me- <laughs> Star Wars is dog shit. <laughs> ...that her CEO and her section manager were beaten to a pulp by the law. Beaten to a pulp by the law? That sounds scary. In other words, the employees won the case. Oh, really? Uh, that's true. I'm glad to hear it. The CEO and how the is this? How is this this long? ...manager have been replaced, and it seems the company has changed as a whole. That's great! I was curious about what would happen after a chaotic party like that. The employees from the party are currently working under a new CEO. It was a strange day for me, but all's well ends well I- All's well that ends well, Sadik! Yes, personally. I never want to work at a party with a chilly atmosphere like that again. Trouble Busters! Fuck you, Trouble Busters. Maybe the next time you guys are craving some Trouble Busters, you'll remember how much fucking ass that one sucked. Jesus Christ. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Let's, let's see what's, let's see what's going on in the... Trial period folder. Guys.
what was the one FAP, the, the one with the uh, the guy who eats the garbage? What is, what is that, guys? What is that? What Where is that, guys? It's called On the Edge Dream Hunter. Thank you. Let's fucking crush this folder tonight. Let's just let's just finish this folder tonight. Let's just I'm Joji Kita. Okay. There's three videos left in here. They're like five minutes each, okay? I'm Joji Kita. I travel around the world looking for odd food. I also heard Junji Ito, but that's not what he says. I traveled through Egypt to reach the Sahara Desert. Wow. What a view! Yep, that sure is sand! And a lot of it! This is incredible! It was hot as hell out, but I didn't care. This place was amazing! I'm telling you, this is the same voice actor for, uh, for Trouble Busters. The odd food I was after was pretty big. It even had a Guinness record of its own. We almost there? Yeah, almost. He's after that hot cum. No, that was the last episode we watched. Just hang in there. I was headed towards a nomadic village out in the desert. They were called the Bedouins. They're a very proud people. I see, said my driver slash tour guide. When it rains in the winter, they go out into the desert. And when it gets dry during summer, they move to the farmland near the water. They've been doing this for generations. So they're constantly on the move. Where did he say he was? I blanked out. Constantly traveling through the desert. That can't be easy. He just said the Sahara Desert. He didn't say where. A few hours later, we finally arrived at the village. There we are. The Bedouin village. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. It was straight out of a movie or something. Amazing. Just amazing. But I wasn't here to sightsee. Let's get down to... Hey, Han, Hane, yo. I've stayed overnight at a Bedouin camp. They're really nice people, and the food was really good. Um, I have heard, I have, I have heard this, actually. I, I talked to somebody who did this once, yeah, and they said something really similar. I also saw, I think it was a Bizarre Foods. Um, Andrew Zimmern went and, and hung out with these people, and... I rem ac I actually remember thinking what they what they were eating look looked actually cool. Like I would want to try. I would want to eat it. Business. Let's see if there are any restaurants that serve this. Something about like camel milk too. This dish. It's a very special dish. So I don't know, but let's go find out. So we went around the village, but there were only two restaurants in there. These would be Berbers or Toreg, not Bedouins. You're, you're saying that because the Bedouins are in like. That's like Saudi Arabia, right? That's not North Africa. Is that that's what you're saying, right? We don't serve that. It takes too much time. I see. Yeah, you're right. And neither of them served yeah, the right. dish I was looking for. I was ready to give up, but then they're having a wedding today. This is Bedouins, like like the the Middle East, the Middle East, not North Africa. Yeah, they're in the Middle East. Come on! What? My tour guide came back with some good news. He took me to the wedding. They're confusing them. They're confusing like the, these these nomadic tribes, basically. Venue. They were already eating when I got there. I should probably offer them something. Just hand them some Japanese yen and you'll be set. So I did. I handed the host some money. Video is Hello, loud. Hello, sir. Man, that took a while though, huh? Yeah, I see that. If you don't mind, I'd like to join the ceremony. Of course! Join us! They were such nice people! <laughs> what was that, Mike? <laughs> yeah... And so they let me join the party. What on earth is that? That's lamb and rice! Use your hands! Don't be shy! My hands? Everyone else was eating with their hands. Yeah, this fucks me up because... I see these big plates that everybody is sharing from them. And... Nobody's using utensils. Everybody's just like grabbing shit and just being like, yum, 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 yum. And I'm just like, yeah, I got to tell you something. I'm way too germophobic for that. I'm way too germophobic for that. I, I got to. No. I... You wash your hands. I, I, I don't know. I don't have any way of knowing who washed their hands, who, who didn't, who doesn't. 
That's too much trust in other people. That's too much trust in other people. Oh, wow. There's people saying Germa again because of how funny it is. I'll wait. I'll wait for them to stop. Chad is so funny. So funny. Um, there's a little bit of debate about this. Like I, I seen debate around this on Twitter. Um, if, if, if you, if you say that you don't think people should eat with their hands, um, I, I've seen people called racist for that. It's a, it's a discourse. It's a discourse. It is. Uh-huh. Mike, in most cultures, people eat with their hands. There's a dedicated poop hand and a dedicated food hand. It's been around for centuries. Yeah. Okay. I'm still good on that. I don't know if I trust it. I mean, maybe the guy forgot which hand was which one day and he touched his poop... And he touched some poop with his food hand. You know, I mean, I'm not watching all these people in the bathroom like all the time and seeing what hand they're, you know, wiping their ass with. Okay, like I just don't. Mike, how do you eat burgers? Is a burger a communal thing, though? Like, is that something like, like, am I grabbing a burger and biting it and handing it to you and then you're taking it from my hand and biting the burger? Like, are we doing that? Like, is that... You know? Also, how about the fact that, you know, yeah, I get germs on my own hands sometimes. You know? Like, I just... You don't know about burger rotation? Like, these people will eat rice with their hands. Like, they'll eat, it'll be like, taking it, like, 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 big fists full of rice and then just like shoving it into their mouth like it's like germ city i i don't know like that just that just seems that just seems uh, but like a uh, uh ethiopian food for instance they use a flatbread as a utensil instead of their hands there's just something about picking up, like, food and putting it in your mouth that's, like, I, it seems really unhygienic to me. I don't know. And I know that, like, you got, how often do you clean your keyboard? It's filled with silverfish feasting on the flakes. There is something about, the, yeah, just eating, I, I, I guess it's certain foods with your bare hands that, like, fucks me up. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know why. Like, sir, I feel like just certain things like, like just like you see that plate right there, like just taking a fistful of that and shoving it into my mouth, into my mouth fucks with me. Okay. And especially when, especially when I know there's other guys like ramming their hand into that and I don't know where their hands have been. Okay. Um, it was wild to see the discourse on Twitter. And there was this... Okay, so it was about this guy. And he was like a British... um, A British guy. And he was talking about like table etiquette. Like, like proper English table etiquette. And he was just making... He was making this, and he did that. Yeah, that's that's fuck. It's it, it's fucking lame. Let's let's start with how fucking lame that is. Okay. It is fucking lame. But he made his little post and he said something in there and he was like, you know, use this fork. Never use your hands to eat this. And like, I sort of felt kind of bad because he was getting quote tweeted like. He was getting destroyed by all these people calling him racist for this. 
<laughs> like they were annihilating him and like abusing this guy. And I went to like his Twitter account. I was like, maybe I was like, maybe this guy is like a raging Nazi or something. And then I went to his Twitter account. It was just, and it was just like this nerd who was like obsessed with like, you know, table etiquette or, or some shit. He was just like, like some kind of fucking cringe, like, uh, like, like silverware nerd or some shit. <laughs> it was just fucking roasting the fuck out of him, dude. <laughs> it was like, Holy shit. And uh they were like other, you know, other cultures uh eat with their hands, you're a racist fuck, you're a colonizer, you're a piece of shit and all this fucking stuff. And I was like, "You know what? Yeah, sometimes, you know, you whip that stuff out, but why do I feel like in this situation this guy maybe didn't deserve this?" You know, like I just a historian like he was he was like a historian yeah he was like it was kind of that vibe i don't know i'm not saying the guy's some kind of saint or something you know but it was like the way he was getting dog piled was like holy fuck and then he he, he i i think he responded at one point <laughs> somebody was like they were like dude If I came from a culture where the bathroom hygiene was taking a piece of thin, tiny, tiny, thin paper and scraping it against your asshole and praying you scrape up as much shit as possible, I also wouldn't want to eat with my hands. And it was like, Okay, yeah, but we usually wash our hands after we do that, you know, like we usually, it's not, it's not like we wipe our asses, like it's not like we scrape up the shit, you know, and then go and fucking eat and like eat food, you know what I mean? Like we wash our hands afterwards, right? Usually, usually, so, okay, okay. Normal people do. Normal people will wash their hands after touching shit. Okay? Okay. Also, here's another thing about rice. All right? It's rice specifically. Okay? A lot of a lot of pe a lot of cultures around the world will will just yes, yeah, grab handfuls of rice. Aren't you dropping most of it? Now I'm not I'm also not saying okay. I'm not saying a fork is a great answer for rice because rice still will not, you know, rice will you'll you'll lose some rice that way. Chopsticks are probably like the number one way rice gets eaten statistically globally. You know. When it's sticky. When it what about when it's not sticky? Depends on the rice. Depends on the rice. Yeah, I mean, like if the rice is sticky, then yeah, with the, with the chopstick. I mean, I've done I've done it many times. Yeah, you just, it's not an issue. But like, you use your hand like a scoop. So all right, so you get you scoop up the rice, okay, and then and then you, what? Jay, drop it into your mouth. How much are you again? How much of it are you losing in the process? The sticky rice with sweet mangoes. I'm hungry. Don't do that. Hand facing up king. Hand facing up king. Okay, so you go... Nom, 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 nom. And the rice is not getting everywhere? Shovel hands. You push it up with your thumb. So you, you, you do what? You go... You eat one grain at a time, one grain at a time. Like logistically now, I'm talking, I'm talking logistically here. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond the, I, there's something that seems unhygienic about it. Now I'm going, now I'm on to logistically. You know, you know, just get a spoon, spoon, spoon. What if we invented a kind of ladle to scoop it into your mouth? I don't know. Would that be crazy? 
Please don't call me racist for this. Please don't say I'm racist for this. Please. Okay, please, please don't. Just, just don't. Just. Chugalepsy. Too late. You pick it up and then maybe like tilt your head back and like drop it in. Drop it. Pick it up. Like make like a, like a scoop. Make a scooper. And then you're going to just scoop it. Scoop it in. Pick it up. Pick it up. Like a mini shovel. Pick it up. Drop it in. Like the claw, like a claw machine, right? Yo, Carbiter, thanks for checking out the channel tonight, bud. You have to suck a bit. You guys suck it? Cancel Jabroni Mike on threads. <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't, I, I'm not seeing a way to do this where you don't get rice all over the place. The Yeah, you guys are going to cancel the wrong jabroni mic. You're going to can <laughs> cancel some completely innocent guy. You know what's fucked up about that guy? I'll tell you something fucked up about that guy. All right. He wants nothing to do with me. He was at TwitchCon San Diego last year. Made no no attempt to contact me or come talk, see me or anything. He thinks he's better than me. He thinks he's the better Jabroni Mike. I'm joking. Please leave him alone. Okay. How do you know? Because I went, I, 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 I don't remember how, but I ended up seeing his Twitter. I think because somebody was like, oh, I tried to find you on Twitter and I found this guy. I think he was, I, I'm pretty sure he took a picture like with, with Amaranth or somebody. I was like, oh, so that jabroni Mike wants, he wants to go see Amaranth and then, okay, that's cool. He doesn't want to see me. That's fine. That's chill. All right. So that's cool. I hope Amaranth doesn't think that that's me. That's all I'm saying. I just hope I just hope she doesn't think that that I'm that guy. I'm just I just hope I just hope she doesn't think I'm that. I just I just don't want her to think I'm that guy. Because if she sees that, maybe she sees that name later and she's like, oh yeah, that's that guy. You know. There are two hundred people named Jabroni Mike. How common do you think it is, really? Well, Mike, you don't show your tits. Of course he'd pick her over you. Yeah, but I show whole soon. Okay. Damn, he looks different now. Damn, he wasn't that red in person. Yeah. Uh-huh. This, like this, like that, like that, uh, like that. He's figuring it out. Hand facing up, scoop rice into your palm. Uh, uh, like that? Not backwards jerk off. Yeah, so the, you think that this is not getting rice everywhere, bro? You're going to want to ask your eating partner to spread his ass and then use it as a plate. I bet there's a wiki how for hand rice. Oh my God, I bet you there is a wiki how for hand rice. Can we go back to the video? No! Shut up! But yes. It was pretty wild, but it wasn't that rare. In many cultures around the world, people eat with their hands. No going back now. Let's eat. I love learning about new cultures. Can't be afraid to try new things. The dish was pretty good. 
It was loaded with garlic and spices. And the lamb meat was delicious. I do love lamb. I would, well, I would want to eat that. I would just want to eat it with the fork. Hey, sleepy boy. Do you have any tips for international travel? Well, I haven't done it in a long time, but, um, no. No. This is great. Roll with the punches. That's the only thing I can say. Roll with the punches. Go with the flaw. Great! I wanted to eat more, but I had... That's all travel, though. ...to save some space for the main dish. Then the main dish came out. There you go! Whole stuffed camel! I'll take one toe, please. <laughs> Later this year. Oh, I'm going to TwitchCon Las Vegas. TwitchCon Paris is happening right now, actually. Isn't it? Wow. I didn't see this coming. This thing was huge. Look at the size of that thing. Pretty amazing, huh? Only in Africa. Scorn. <laughs> the whole stuffed camel holds the Guinness record for the world's largest item on any menu. And the plate was huge, too. I was speechless. That thing feeds about 80 people, so... 80 people. 80 people?! Even the best food... 40 people?! What the hell?! The fighter in the world won't be able to finish this thing. I want to get... Is anything happening in France right now? Yeah. TwitchCon Paris. I share, but... It's so heavy! Look at this thing! Camels weigh about 1,300 pounds, so... And it's stuffed, so it's a lot of meat. And the way prepared this dish was pretty interesting. It's a turducken, bro? Two. First, you stuff a fish stomach with boiled eggs. Then you stuff a chicken stomach with that fish. Then you stuff a sheep stomach with that chicken. Finally, you shove that sheep into the camel. <laughs> Holy fuck, really? All right, so... So if it's a turducken, right? What would this? This would be a um, a cat, a ca sheep, a ca sheep and eat a ca sheep and ca sheep and fish egg. Ca she canish egg. Ca she canish egg. Ca she canish egg. It would take three weeks to cook that. I bet you they do They do cook it that long. What do you think the eggs in the center of this are like? Bro, it's like surf and turf and sky. Bro, bro this has fish, poultry, and fucking meat. Like f mammal meat. Holy shit. Flesh Fetty, thanks for 18 months. Fish can't fly. Yeah, we know. Gorilla meat? Yo, what if they stuff the camel into a gorilla at the end? Wow. Then they chuck the camel into a huge pot and boil it for 24 hours. That's it. One day. Looking good. Where do you get a... Looking good. Pot that big. Anyways... I was really grateful for the opportunity. Okay, then. Let's eat! I took a bite out of the hump. They said it was the best part of the camel. It tasted okay. It tasted like cow guts, but with much more fat. This thing is almost all fat. So oily. Yeah, I could see that being the case. Look up the Wikipedia page for this recipe. What, are you, are you seeing it? But the flavor was pretty good. Then I tried the red meat. It was so hard! Wow, it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> they only ate the old camels that can't move anymore, so... These people needed the camels to move around the desert. They only ate the camel when it was no longer useful to them. That's all like, it's like a boomer camel and the meat is all shitty. The soup tasted good though, and so was the stuffing. Look at all these different ingredients. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's a very special dish, so... Overall... I really enjoyed it, but then I realized something. So much rice. Hold on. J 
JD, I just permitted you. Can you post the link to what you're talking about? I can't eat anymore. We were stuffed. This thing was huge. But I'm an odd foods hunter. And this is a special occasion. What am I missing? What is this? Uh, it's a f uh, uh, oh. Whole stuffed camel is a satirical folklore dish consisting of a camel and gastrated with a sheep or a lamb in turn stuffed with other ingredients. The reference to this recipe is made in the comedic novel I Served the King of England, first published in 1971 by Czech author. However, as a traditional Ethiopian dish cooked for a visit to Prague by the Emperor Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie was a real guy, though, wasn't he? It was a lie. The novel Walter Music by T. Corrigan Boyle contains a recipe for a camel stuffed with dates, eggs, carp, seasoned bustards. What is a bustard? What? What is a bustard? And sheep baked for two days on hot coals in a trench. Bustard makes me feel good. Zakute, thank you for the bits. Selassie Prager, job bless. Uh, yes, uh, Selassie is like venerated in, in Jamaica. I, I remember talking to a Jamaican person once and they were telling me like, oh yeah, in Jamaica, that, that, that guy is like, like he's everywhere. We love him. He's like weed Jesus or something. Yeah, yeah. It's it's some something to do with Rastafar Rastafarianism, right? He's somehow connected to Rastafarianism. Uh You mean to tell me the horse semen drink was also a lie? Maybe he'll maybe it'll get to the end of this video and it'll turn out that he was like japed by the Bedouins. Uh, and it's tied into Pink Floyd somehow. Okay, so... Really enjoyed it. But then I realized something. So much rice. I can't eat anymore. We were stuffed. This thing was huge. And so it's literally just about the rice and like finishing the rice. But I'm an odd foods hunter. And this is a special occasion. Ah! I can't waste food. Why is everyone yelling? <laughs> and so my trip was over. Are you sure you don't want to stay? Yeah, I'm sure. If I puke, I'll ruin the wedding. <laughs> I wish I could have stayed for longer, but oh well. In some countries, they drink camel milk and use it to make chocolate. Wow, awesome. So this whole fucking thing was a colossal lie? The, the the whole thing the whole th we just we just got fucking lied to guys thank you for watching don't forget to check out our other videos and please subscribe to the channel we just got fucking lied to <laughs> our intelligence insulted yeah right because we have any intelligence left after this night yeah they're pregnant uh okay I'm Joji Kito I travel around the world seeking odd foods. Today, I was in Indonesia. I was in a town called Banyuwangi, located on the island of Java. It's so quiet compared to Jakarta. Banyu, Banyu, Banyuwangi, Banyuwangi? Jakarta. It was on the east side of the Java Islands. It was so rich in nature. I met up with my local guy near the airport. Are you Kito? I'm Denny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I wasn't here for sightseeing though. Get on. What? He pronounced it wrong, though. He pronounced it not the way it was spelled. I don't know if you caught that. This. He added, like, an extra syllable to it. The cock. The 
think of it like a cat. The cack! What's this? My cack! Get on! Get on! What's this? The cack! Think the cack! Get on a cack! Get on a cack! Snap into a Slim Jim! Get on a cack! The cack! Get on the cack! Think of it like a cat. This is how- Think of it like a cack! People got around. Is this- Get on the cack! Safe? I was a bit nervous. That's what I say to Yamada. But I hopped on. But then- ah! You want the cack? Get on a cack! It's like a social media platform. Like, get on getter or whatever. Get on a cack! The driver slammed the brakes. My body flew out of the seat. Hold on tight! That was a close one. I love learning about new cultures. It was pretty- I love learning about new cultures and taking cock in my ass. Exciting! I was heading towards the Ejin Volcano. There was this lake there, known for its blue fire. But the blue fire can only be seen- Blue fire? At midnight. It was still around 6 p.m. Yeah, if it was interacting with, like, a chemical, right? Cobalt. So I had to kill some time. Denny, know any good restaurants around here? Sure thing! Right? Cobalt? So I decided to enjoy some local cuisine. A few minutes later, Denny took me to this restaurant. But there wasn't a, there weren't any restaurants around, so I had to make up the cuisine for myself. I saw a donkey, so I started jerking it off. So I could have a shot of warm donkey cum, because hey, they might as well drink that here. And if they did, I'd drink it anyway, so why not just chug some donkey cum? Then I saw a bunch of cockroaches on the floor, so I picked those up and shoved them in my mouth. Because what the fuck, why not? Because I'm a fucking loser who eats garbage. Then I picked up a styro piece of styrofoam and started eating that too. What the fuck, why not? Because I just go around the world eating trash, apparently. And then, to top it all off, I picked up a nugget of dog shit and swallowed that! Divine moment! I'm in a John Waters movie! Three-course meal! Sometimes you gotta make the adventure on your own, folks! Like, what the fuck? Am I wrong? Am I, am I am I even exaggerating? Am I even exaggerating right now? Brown flamingos. <laughs> Desperate living with Junji Ito. Well, the 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 one with when Divine eats dog shit is pink flamingos. Desperate living. Oh, De Desperate Living is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my fucking life. What a pe what a horrible fucking movie that was. My god. That was that was, that was worse than Pink Flamingos. That fucking movie, I forgot about that. That movie is horrible. Holy shit! Jake and Bacon, thanks for twenty one months. This place is amazing. Ah, looks nice. We went inside and took a look at the menu. They're memorable but difficult to sit through. I gener generally don't recommend anybody watch that movie. Like, do not watch that. Try this, Paniki. You will get nothing out of that, and it'll probably just piss you off. It's very good! Paniki? What's that? It was this local dish made out of lots of spices and stuff. But only if you can hit- What movie? I'm not telling you because I told you not to watch it. I zoned out. Well, you're pro- that's your problem. It. That sounds like a challenge. Bring it on! Sounds- Bring on but the cock! It's exciting. Let's do this! A few minutes later- Here you go! Paniki! Wow, what the- The waiter placed the paniki dish in- That's a bat. In front of me. I didn't know what to say. It looked like some kind of bird. Wait, is this? You eat bats in your country? It was a bat. I knew it. Is it safe to eat bats? I hear bats have all kinds of- It's just a bat appetizer. That was awful. I, that, that, I'm actually going to apologize for that one, guys. Diseases. Go on, eat up. Oof, it smelled like- Ozzy Osbourne moment. Piss. Smelled like piss. Bats have all kinds of disease. Bro. It's a bat. And it smells like piss. Rouge! No! Jesus. Go on. Need up. Oof. It smelled like piss. No! <laughs> they got her! They got her! Oh no! Mike, as if you didn't hate this guy enough, he started COVID. I was terrified, but there was no going back now. I can do this! Ah! 
The people living here eat it all the time, right? I'll be fine. Except for the one time, it wasn't. Look at her ears. Oh, she's super dead. She's super dead. I took you know what I don't understand about eating bats? Because apparently this is a thing that, that goes on a lot. Where's the meat? Where's the meat? Like, like where, where's the, where, what the fuck are you eating? Have you seen a bat? They're, they're literally just bones and skin and fur. There's nothing on there. It's like a chicken wing. It's not like a chicken wing, dude, because it, it's, it's a mammal, first of all. All right, so it's not going to taste like poultry or, or anything. Second of all, uh, there's no meat on those wings, dude. That's just skin. Have you seen a bat's wing? It's, it's just skin and bone. Literally just skin and bone. A chicken wing has fucking meat on it, bro. The wings are hands, right? Presumably you eat the arms. What arms? The bat's wings, hold on. We're like the right color for Rouge the Bat. What, right here? <laughs> Real talk, guys. Never handle a bat. Don't touch them. Leave bats alone. How do you catch a bat? Just, you could trap them and shit. You would eat the, back, the bat's pe pecs? Again, they're like this big. They have no meat on them. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing to fucking eat. It's like eating a sparrow. Like, what the fuck are you gonna? Are you gonna? You gonna take the tiny little bones and and like chew the non-existent meat off the fucking microscopic bones, bro? That's gonna be a terrible meal. It'll be horrible. There's not. There's nothing there. That's not. There's nothing to eat. Is my point. But there is no going back now. I can do this. Ah! You can see he's about to eat this thing has fucking fur on it. Because the fur is most of the meal. The people living here eat it all the time, right? I'll be fine. I took a deep breath and started eating. Let's eat. I grabbed the bat and shoved it in my mouth. To my surprise, it Sharon! actually tasted pretty good. It tasted like chicken. Oh, this is good. This he thinks it tastes like chicken. This isn't so bad, but then... Just fuck, people say that about everything. The horrible smell came back out through my nose. Bro, cum. <laughs> cum. This dude tried snorting cum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, holy shit. Ah, that smells terrible. It was disgusting. I thought I was going to pass <laughs> out. Back home. The bats they used for Paniki were called Mega Bats. Mega it's Bats? High protein, low fat. I see. So it's good for you. It had a very strong smell. So they cooked it with a lot of spices. Then a few minutes later, Keto, we should get going soon. Okay, let's go. Time flies when you're having fun. It was about a two hour drive to the Aegean Volcanoes. The Aegean Lake was located near the base of the volcano. At night, the blue lake glows in the dark. The blue lake glows in the dark. Oh my god, dude. He got the sh he's gonna get the shits from the bat. He's going bat shit crazy. He's gonna get the shit. He's gonna be shitting himself from the bat. Oh my god. So I started pissing out of my asshole from the diarrhea. And I felt something big come through my anus. So I took a look in the toilet and it was a big blue gem. I think it was one of the Chaos Emeralds. Turns out that bat I ate was a jewel thief. Go figure. Turns out that bat I ate was a jewel thief with a piss kink. <laughs> Hold on. Uh... <laughs> It was about a two hour drive to the Aegean Volcanoes. The Aegean Lake was located near the base of the volcano. At night, the blue lake glows in the dark. <laughs> but the water in the lake contained high levels of Pagliacci. Sulfuric acid. Brand new sentence. Brand new sentence. 
It was also known as the Lake of Death. A few hours later, we were finally at the base of the Egent Volcano. So this is it, huh? Egent Volcano. It's gonna be a long walk! You ready? We were already more than 6,000 feet above- He's gonna get to shits, I'm telling you. Sea level. It was getting pretty cold. We started walking towards the lake. I was so excited. You smell that? Yeah! We're almost there! The smell was getting pretty strong. We were getting pretty close. Then, about an hour later- Wow! Look at that! There it is! We made it! I saw the blue lights! It was magnificent! So, that's the blue fire, Hugh? Yeah! Let's get closer! So we went closer to get a better look. As we got closer to the volcano, why are they all wearing masks? Oh, no worries! We're fine! The other tourists were all wearing gas masks. Wait, gas mask? That can't be good. Wait, I want one too! They're wearing those because they heard you ate the bat dish that was reserved for the idiot tourists. That always gives them major IBS and, my, IBS and like intestinal cramps and fucking gas that smells like came from Satan's asshole. You got one? No worries, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I sure hope so. I guess I got no choice but to trust him. I climbed down the stairs to the volcano. Then, wow! What a view! There it was. The blue fire. The blue fire is a Junji Ito plot? No. I was at a loss for words. Then suddenly, this guy walked past me. He had a bunch of yellow rocks on his back. Those are the, the piss gems that they use to lure the bats into the traps. Devno, thanks for 19 months of support. <laughs> what is he doing? He works at the mines here, Teddy replied. They're miners. They make a living mining sulfur. I see. Makes sense. Mining sulfur next to the lake of death to make a living. Interesting. I used to work here too, so I know my way around here. I see. Glad you made it out alive, man. So that's why he didn't need the gas mask. Then, the sun- Because he already had lung disease? Uh started to come up. Ah, the blue fire is gone. Yeah, it only comes out at night. The blue fire was gone. It was back to being a normal volcano. But then I started to wonder, why were the flames blue here? Denny, what causes the fire here to turn blue? Oh, that! Well... But then, right as Denny tried to answer my question... I, I love that he, he does this thing where he thinks something, and then the next line of dialogue is him saying it out loud. It happened twice tonight. The wind started blowing in the other direction! Wow! What the... Ah! No! Did they just, like... Overlay a cloud PNG on top of like the art. The smoke from the volcano. What am I looking at? Closed in on us. Then everything went gray. <laughs> he fucking died. <laughs> I can't breathe. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Oh no! They're not wearing gas masks. Imagine surviving eating all of the fucking intestinal parasites and shit that he has and all the diseases that he's definitely ingested. And then like only be, and then just, just to be killed by like a shitty cloud. But this is what gets him really. I was starting to feel dizzy. Then a few hours later, I woke up in a hospital bed. Oh, you're up, good. Uh, where am I? What happened? I must have passed out. You got volcanic gas poisoning. You could have been killed. I You've been in a coma since you ate that bat. Why did you eat that bat, you idiot? See. Uh, the whole thing was a dream. I guess I should have worn a gas mask. It's been nine years. Yeah. The doctor said it was a miracle that I was still alive. Going in there without a gas mask was basically suicide. Oh, and to answer my question, the blue fire was caused by sulfur. When sulfur burns, it creates those it was sulfur, not cobalt. Beautiful blue flames, but in the process, it creates poisonous fumes. So the guy, the tour guy, took him up there without telling him that. And he was like, "How come you're not wearing a mask?" Oh, I don't need to because my lungs are all fucking used to it. I guess. What about me? What about you? <laughs> You know, my, my lungs aren't used to it. And? <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> That's why everyone... Denny wanted to sell his organs. Denny was actually trying to fucking murder him. To <laughs> sell his organs. ...was wearing gas mask. 
<gasps> Wait, what about my guy? Is he okay? Uh, I'm sorry, but Denny didn't make it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. A few days later, I was discharged from the hospital. Daddy didn't make it, guys. <laughs> he didn't make it. I decided to head home. <laughs> His lungs are used to it. Oh, my God. That is... Bro, that is some of my dad energy right there. No, I don't need the fucking gas mask. My lungs are used to it. I'm going to be fine. And you're going to be fine, too. Stop being a little bitch pussy. Take that fucking stupid mask off your face. You don't need no mask. That's for pussies and the babies. Shut the fuck up. Grow up and be a man. And breathe in the sofa. I don't need it. Totally, again, 100% my dad move. Absolutely my dad. My dad all over that. Zagute, thanks for the uh, super chat, man. Uno reverse card. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. Denny, rest in Replace the words with Denny didn't make it. Peace. That was a close one. Rest in peace, Denny. Just glad I made it out alive. But then, I started feeling sick. Uh, I'm gonna throw up! Was it the sulfur, or was it the bat? That was nine years ago. Anon, thanks for the gift sub to my dad. Oh, man. I guess we'll never know. And do you think he learned his lesson, this guy? Spoiler alert, he didn't. Miners working at the Aegean Volcano carry about 180 pounds of sulfur per trip. They do this twice a day, but they only get paid $5 a day. Um, guys, unionize. Thanks, Biden. Guys, there is only one more. There's only one more video in this folder. Uh, it is. It is in the, the. Finally, we are seeing the the uh the contents of what FAP titled the quarantine folder, guys. I'm Joji. The quarantine folder. Here it is. We're going to crush this folder tonight. I'm Joji Kito. I travel around the world looking for odd foods. For my first trip of the year, I headed out to China. This place is empty, probably because of COVID. China hey, COVID mentioned. See, Fallout Boy, was that hard? Look how easy that was. You couldn't do that, Fallout Boy? I had one of the craziest foods in the world. I was so excited. A few days ago, a friend of mine called. Joji, I got the stuff you were looking for. You should come over right away. Rip got the stuff you're looking for. What I was looking for was pretty rare, so... I got on a plane right away. I took a cab to his house from the airport. He's a man who knows what he wants. His house was near Beijing University. It's been a year. Hopefully he lost some weight. Last time I saw him, he was on the verge of getting diabetes. So here we are. Look at this place. He was a professor at Beijing, Pretty rude. Beijing University. His house was huge. Joji, welcome! Long time no see, Jen. Did you lose weight? Yeah, doctors told me to watch my diet. Gotta stay healthy, right? Usually we went out to restaurants to eat, but my maid got the ingredients for me. She'll cook for us. Sounds good. Today we were eating at his house. Then I walked into the kitchen. So this is it, huh? Yeah, the human placenta. That's right. The ingredient I was looking for, it was the human placenta. Sounds messed up, right? I know, but the thing is, it was actually pretty normal in China, at least in the old days. Some say it's been around since 250 BC. I see.
I don't like that. Scorn goop. That's like one of the one of the weird babies after you juice it and scorn. Also, why are his proportions messed up? I'm equally disturbed by this character. I was speechless. I'd never seen anything like it before. Then the maid walked into the kitchen. Kids these days don't eat it anymore. But I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> this is my daughter's, actually. Glad it's not gonna go to waste. She was quite happy about this. Mike and food waste. It's not food, though. It looks like a puddle of zombie gore from a PlayStation horror game. Somebody in chat is saying China is a massive mistake, but dude, I I have heard of people eating placenta like all over the world. Dude, I heard that placenta eating was huge in the UK at one point. Like the U the UK was was into this. They do put it in there. People in the US do it. Well, I, 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 I think what's not common is that, like, you eat the placenta from somebody else. Like, I think, I, I think, like, women are eating their own placenta. I, I think is what's, is what's happening. Like, like, somebody cooks it for them and they eat it. I don't think it's like, oh, I'm going to just eat a random person's placenta. That has nothing to do with me. I, I what? Mike, what? I'm telling you. Yes. They eat their own placenta. You just don't like. Okay. So Chad is saying, oh, it happens in nature all the time. Okay. Animals eating placenta makes a lot of sense. Why? Because there's a ton of calories in it and like protein and all the fucking shit that that when, when, when a fucking animal gives birth, okay, it is expending a fuck ton of energy to do that. And when you're surviving in the wild, okay, eating the placenta that comes out is you recouping some of the, the caloric deficit that giving birth took. And guess you have to continue surviving in the wilderness. We, on the other hand, have a fucking society, okay, where there's absolutely zero justification for eating this shit, okay? Stop complaining. Eat the placenta, bigot. <laughs> like, those women can get the nutrition elsewhere. And then th this, this fucking freak has even less of a fucking reason to be eating a stranger's placenta. Okay? People believe it has health benefits. One of them being it's full of nutrients left over. It is full of nutrients left over, but again... Okay, prehistoric man, fine. But I can go get a whole turkey at the supermarket and get the protein that way, man. Okay? This is rancid. Prehistoric humans? Yeah, okay. People make a big deal out of pineapple on pizza, but what about placenta on pizza? Mike, privilege. Oh, yeah? Okay, stop fucking stirring up shit in here, Static. I see what you're doing right now. Placenta, a placenta lover's pizza from Domino's. Under $10. 
Has anyone in chat eaten a placenta? Don't ask that. I don't want to know. I don't, I don't want the answer to that. I don't want the answer to that. Placenta, how about I place these nuts in your mouth? Place these nuts, enter your mouth. Not bad. I'm finally rev revolted by something from this channel. It's, it's not from my channel. It's from this fucking channel. Big smelly socks. By the way, didn't we, didn't we dictate and put out an edict that you had to change your Twitch name? Didn't we say you had to do that? Didn't we? An edict. We put out an edict. My sister is pregnant. I will ask her if I will, if I can have the placenta, and I will fucking ban you so so hard and so fast. Okay. With with extreme prejudice. Okay. There is no universe where this is is justified. The maid just gave birth and is forced to cook her own placenta instead of being on maternity leave. No, it's the maid's daughter's placenta that she's about to cook for these men. These unrelated men. Okay. This is borderline cannibalism. No, this could just be cannibalism, dude. I don't know. Because a placenta is really just like like a, a, a mic wad from your vagina. It, it's just a little like failed homunculus thing. Like it's just meat. It's scorn meat. It's scorn meat from your vagina. Why are you eating that? No, that's human flesh. That is, hu that is human flesh. That is human flesh. You eat this, you're, you're a fucking cannibal. Straight up. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Eating calm is cannibalism. False equivalency. Is calm meat? Okay, is calm is calm meat? No, it is not meat. Calm has human DNA. It's it is answer my fucking question. Is it meat? No. Is the placenta meat? Yes. Yes. Scorn come. <laughs> it always comes back to eating cum. Well then, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, thank you, ma'am. Sure thing. Why? Why do people? Wh I'll get started right away. Why? Why? Just why? In my. Ma personal matrix like simulation that I'm gonna that, that the assassin rapper is gonna make for me, okay. Placenta eating will not be a thing in there. There will be no no placenta eating will take place in that in that fantasy world. None people won't even it won't even be a concept. No one will ever have thought of it, even. Okay. I asked her if I could stay and watch her cook. So much blood. Yeah, they froze it right after my daughter gave birth. So oh, they popped it in the freezer. Oh, it's still got some blood in it. I popped it in the fucking freezer, guys. Just pop it in there. Right next to the, you know, pizza rolls. And the ice cream. See, amazing. Just amazing. She washed off all the excess blood from the placenta. Wow. I can now see the arteries underneath the surface. I've never seen anything like it before.
Arteries, bro? Does cum have arteries? Assholes! Does cum have arteries? Assholes! This is just incredible. Yeah, never seen anything like it. We just stood there, speechless. Then the maid jumped. Drinking cum is like sucking data out of a USB drive. <laughs> Up the placenta and mashed it into little meatballs. Oh, meatballs! Meatballs, guys. Meatballs. Mamma mia! Then she threw them in the pan. Ah! It's. Those are dragon balls. Smells! Wow! Ah! The smell was atrocious. We ran out of the kitchen for some fresh air. A few minutes later, the maid came out with our dish. This is fucking bad. Here you go. Hey, what's up, uh, Dr. Hugbees? Hey, I'm eating meatballs right now. Not anymore, you're not. None of you are eating anything right now. Thank you. Well then, the stage was set. I not anymore. I've had my share of odd foods, but this was different. If I do this, there's no going back. Ooh, I was about to eat human flesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, where is it? Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wild TikTok screenshots. When I have a baby, I will 100% be eating my placenta. Not on some health nut shit, but literally, what other chance do you have to eat human? Eating an organ that has been made in-house is so crazy. Let me say this in advance. You will not fix her. You will not fix her. White women shit. White people. White people shit. Assholes. We're watching a, a, a fucking video taking place in China. With a Japanese guy who's like all about fucking chowing down on some fucking placenta, okay? This is, this is everybody's shit. Okay? Stop, stop bringing race into everything. Someone says it, why fix her? She's perfect. <laughs> Shh, let me make fun of white people. Okay, I'll tell you what. You can make fun of white people when you stop making fun of red people. Okay, guys? How about that? All right, how about that? Deal? Yeah, that's what I thought. Look at this. Eating an, an organ that has been made in-house is so crazy. That is fucking rancid. What is fucking wrong with... Oh my god. Christ. This is cannibalism. The plate was right in front of me, <laughs> but I couldn't move. Gorilla meat! Gorilla meat! I was pretty terrified when I came face to face with that gorilla, but... This is even worse. Guess we didn't see that episode. I could feel- Mike, don't say red people, say Native Americans. Okay, I'm talking about myself because chat keeps saying I'm red. My appetite going away. For anybody who doesn't know that, okay? But I can't stop now! I knew this day would come. Might as well get it over with! I took a deep breath and picked up the meatball with my chopsticks. Let's eat! I opened my mouth and threw the meatball inside. As soon as it hit my tongue, the atrocious smell spread all over my mouth and into my nose. Yeah, he's not pitching it very well, guys. Ah! I nearly passed out, but somehow I managed to stay up. It's not even good. People were eating this out of fucking necessity, guys. The smell. I recognize it from somewhere. It, it smells like cow guts. Only a hundred times worse! But we were both mammals, so... 
I guess we weren't that different. It smells pretty bad, but... Look at this art right here. <laughs> My this Yakuza fanfic is weird. Why is Kiryu doing this? I am shitting and crying. Kiryu would never do this. It's actually pretty tasty. Yeah, prion disease you get from eating human flesh. I bet you could get that from doing this. He's Speed Luigi. <laughs> Speed Luigi! And the maid got the flavoring just right. It tasted pretty good. Didn't he just say it tasted like shit? And what flavor? You got the flavoring right. You don't know what's right or wrong here. This is hopefully the only time in your life you're going to eat this. This is mass starvation food. You don't eat this unless you're close to eating tree bark. Yeah, thank you. Chin was hesitant at first, but a few minutes later, he picked up his chopsticks and joined me. Interesting. It's got a distinct smell, but not bad, right? We finished our meal a few minutes later. The maid told me they used to feed this to women recovering from childbirth. Yeah. It works for all kinds of things. It's more like medicine than food. Eating placenta was pretty common back in the days, but these days, not so much. So my first challenge of the year was over. Bro, look at how he's holding his stomach right there. Well, you see the way he's holding his, his stomach? <laughs> his pregnancy was transferred. <laughs> he's pregnant with the scorn baby. Holy fuck. Pregnancy transfer strikes again. Ah, that was great. What a wonderful way to start the new year. A avocado? Yeah. What an adventure that was. Can't wait to see what's next. There was no adventure. You just ate a fucking placenta and then that was it. The These are so bad. These videos fucking suck, dude. Holy shit. 10% of parents take home their newborn's placenta in Nanking, China. His food baby was part of a baby. That is all parasite. Just a fat basketball of 12 different parasite species all rolling around in there. <laughs> Ten percent of parents are fucking insane. Mike, stop being a bigot and eat the human meat. Shut up, bigot, and eat the human meat. Very happy to be deleting this folder right now. And placing these into our watched folder. Guys. Um... This is normally about the part where I would stop wrapping up, but I am noticing that this chat is moving, it's happening, it's going crazy. It looks like everybody's having a good time. Looks like everybody's having fun. When I see that, I feel compelled to continue the stream forward and not end the stream. When I see that going on, I just, I don't want to end. I'm like, everybody's having fun. Why would I end this now? Looks like, looks like a, a, a small percentage of the chat is tabbed out to cock porn. You know? Makes me not want to, uh, makes me not want to end. This is what, this is what we live for. This is what streamers live for. Streamers live to see a chat going crazy and having fun and enjoying themselves. This is what we all live for. This is why we do it. So, yeah, now we're going to watch something else. Okay, Pluto has a recommendation. Trial period, on the edge, unfortunate life. They are, okay. Recommending, oh, we haven't, we haven't been in this folder, huh? This is a new, a new channel? Okay, this is, again, from the trial period folder where we are, uh, we will look at that booter at some point, Iowa. Um, 
kind of checking out videos, figuring out uh, whether or not we want to see more of those things. I personally would like to see more of that channel we, we just watched in the future. Um, let's check out uh, this one right here. That's the alarm for the methane. Okay, uh, it's, um, you know what, let's just... The name of the YouTube channel is Unfortunate Life. Guys? It's this, oh, it's the same YouTube channel with different characters. Duke Mike, thanks for five months. Appreciate it. Uh, huh, okay, okay, okay. That's the alarm for the methane gas. Ah, oh, damn it. Views were all over the place. I was starting to feel dizzy. Then. Lunar, uh, thanks for the 16 months. And I fell into the puddle of animal feces. Ah! Crap. I gotta get out of here. Fast. Dun 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 Loud. Uh. Yeah, Lunar, thanks for the uh, 16 months. Whatever happened to My Story Animated? We'll get back to that. I'm Hirofumi Satake. Mr. Grand, let's take lunch. So, I work for a training company. I was at a sewage plant in Germany for a business trip. Recently, I sold some water... This was the one you wanted me to, to play, right, Pluto? I mean, there's a guy going headfirst into some doo-doo, so I would imagine... Why is a man falling into shit? This feels on brand, basically. Treatment equipment in this facility, but... Ha! Ah, that smells! Huh? Oh, sorry. I got some dirty water on my clothes this morning. You got to be careful. It smells terrible. I've been here for two weeks now. The place smells terrible. There were sewage plants all over the world. I checked the digestion tank. All clear. Good. They used microorganisms to break down and treat sewage. Culp pods! This plant was looking for some new equipment, so I introduced some new models to them. I was helping- Bro, he looks like he's taking a piss in the water supply right here. ...them with installing the new equipment. Ah, looking good. Mr. Satake, thank you for everything. Dude, is that just a giant dookie in the back there? Is that just a huge turd? Position is going really smoothly. Good to hear. Things were going pretty well. Then, a few days later, all clear. What happened there? Oh, just burnt myself. You like their, their German accents? I was using the iron. No big deal. It's interesting because when we were watching those other videos with the, 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 the food guy, he was traveling to all these countries around the world, and nobody ever had an accent. Like, none of the voice acting ever had accents, right? You know what's funny? Hey, Cal, thanks for 22 months, bud. Why is this guy the only one who looks like an anime character and the rest of them don't? You gotta iron it up. I was out in the plant, inspecting the new equipment. I was paired up with Mr. Grand that day. My wife and I just had to pay- Thanks again, Zachary. Why does it sound like the Chinese South Park character? I hear you gotta it. Gotta help out with the housework, you know? Ah, I see. Congratulations. His hand was injured, so I carried the bucket for him. We needed it to collect some samples. The digestion tank was filled with waste. The stench was atrocious. Ugh. That smells disgusting. Don't puke in the bucket now. I'll be fine. I felt like throwing up. The digestion tank was filled with microorganisms. Ugh. So I had to get some samples to make sure the equipment was working properly. It was nearly a hundred degrees Fahrenheit in the tank. I was sweating like crazy. Ah, it stinks. And it's so hot. Oh they could wear masks, yeah. Oh, Sal. It was so hot. The smell. No, I never. I'm not gonna wear a face diaper. It was killing me. He doesn't want. They don't want to wear face diapers. That's why. But then, I started to feel all dizzy. Then, the alarm started going off. That's the alarm for the methane gas. We gotta go! What? There was a methane gas leak. Bye, bye, 
buy, 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 buy. Buy, 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 buy. Bisexual detected. Bisexual detected on premises. Uh, we got some gift subs here. Nintendo Donut, thank you so much. Iowa with the bits, thank you. Uh, Lone Banana and Sausage Coffee, thank you so much for the resubs, guys. Bike, by the way. Thanks, guys. Spinando! First time chatter. Thanks for coming to check out the channel tonight, buddy. Um, thanks for the bisexual hype train, guys. This was bad. Mr. Gran was starting to feel dizzy too. Oh! Crap! Oh. Crap! Crap, crap, that is the point. Then, oh! Ah! Mr. Gran fell over towards me. We lost our balance. Then, ah! Augustus Gloop moments. Uh, ah! We fell head first into the digestion tank. Ah! That means you're getting digested, dude. Augustus Gloop? More like Augustus Poop. I was feeling dizzy, but the terrible smell moved me right up. I was sinking fast. Crap! I gotta get up there! It was so dark in there. I tried my best to swim up. Oh my god. To the light. The tank was filled with waste. A hundred degree shit tank. <laughs> microorganisms. His mouth is full of liquid shit. Crap! I gotta go! I'm gonna die if I stay in here! I tried- And that was when I realized I had a raging boner. When I fell into that digestion tank, a new fetish was unlocked. Being submerged in liquid feces was the only way I would be able to, to ejaculate for the rest of my life. He becomes the guy who goes like like skinny dipping in septic tanks. Remember that? Swim, but I was barely moving. I could feel the feces entering my system through my mouth and nose. <laughs> ah, I don't want to die. The light was getting smaller. My body was sinking lower and lower. This is a cool Marvel OC. Oh, this is a like, like a superhero in uh uh what do you call it? origin story like like like, I don't know, shit man? Shit man. But I wasn't ready to give up. Ah! I'm not dying here! I moved as fast as I could. The other workers were calling for help. Tuzwaka just fell in the digestion tank. Get help! Everyone started to panic. Then, as they were getting ready to rescue us, ah! <laughs> Mrs. Satake! You made it! I managed to pull myself out of the tank. Mrs. Satake! You're okay! Thank goodness you're alive! Ugh, that's- Shat man. Stinks! Mr. Grand is still in there! I was covered in feces, so I still had to go to the hospital. But for now, I'm safe. Around the same time, at the Central Command Center- Start the digestion tank! What? How's that going to help? Bro, isn't this- Isn't this the set from- Chernobyl? This is the Joker origin story? No, the Joker didn't fall in a vat of feces, guys. Did he? No, he didn't. He was just butthurt because people didn't like his stand-up. That was the Woker. Oh, the Woker fell in the feces. Abachi, man. Thanks for 10 months, bud. He fell in a vat. Oh, that was in one of the fucking Tim Burton movies or something, right? The, the vat, he fell in some vat. Oh, it was like laughing juice or something. Right, he fell in like a, he fell in a vat of like laughing juice or some dumb shit. Right, right, right? He has, he has many, many origin stories, yeah. That was Nicholson's Joker, yeah. Uh, Oklahoma, thanks for the 14 months. Just do it! And call 911! No! They were working hard to rescue Mr. Grand, but they couldn't just shut down the plant. We can't help him with all that sewage! 
The only way is to empty the tank. That's impossible. If we stop the plant, the city will overflow with sewage in no time. He fell into the dip from who from who framed Roger Rabbit, guys. Can, can can I can I tell you something? Like like primal, like a core like a core memory for me. There's a scene in Who Framed Roger Rabbit because the dip is 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 actually fucking terrifying. Yes. Guys, that cartoon shoe. I can't even think about that without wanting to cry. You came to Jessica Rabbit. No, I didn't fucking come to Jessica Rabbit. Pay attention. Guys, that that fu it was like a cartoon clown shoe that like it was fucking begging for its life. What the fuck was that? That was fucking horrifying, dude. Dude, that movie is twisted. Every, Wisp says every time somebody brings up that movie, I think about that scene and how it scarred the fuck out of me. You were brave little toaster. I was brave little toaster. I felt so bad for that show. That was so fucked. The shoe is fine because the sequel comic shows that the tunes can be resurrected. Really? The shoe is okay? Oh my god, that feels like uh, I, 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 that is actually, I'm gonna like cry from happiness if you're telling me that shoe was okay. Dex, thank you for 25 months. That's Cope? Guys, please tell me that, please tell me that shoe was okay, guys, please. Please tell me the shoe was okay. What was that? Why did they make that so fucked up in that movie? Were they trying to horrify children? Guys, I saw it when I was a kid and it fucked me up. I saw it again when I was in my, like, I, I want to say I was in like my early 20s. Seriously, seriously, I, w I was probably like 20 when I, the next time I saw it and it, it, and it fucked me up worse. It fucked me up worse. Mike, that movie's not for kids. Yes, it was. It was, it was a fucking, it was a family movie. Yes, it was. They want you to learn that life sucks and you must deal with it. Guy, it was a fan. It was it, it was okay for kids to watch that, okay. Max Zlock, what's up, bud? I once had a double feature of Seven and Who Framed Roger Rabbit while zonked on an edible. <laughs> that sucks. Guys, please, please, please tell me that shoe is okay, guys. He was right. If they shut down the plant, the city would be covered in sewage. Finding him in the tank wasn't going to be easy. That shoe needs, like, his own spin-off movie. Ah, he's in Zah. Please help him. To make up for, like, the trauma he went through. Mr. Grand! Ah! The rescue team came, but they couldn't find him. Mr. Grand didn't make it. <laughs> he drowned in the shit! An hour later, we found him. He was stuck at the bottom of the tank. His body was starting to bubble. The microorganisms started decomposing his body. Dude, then... death by feces. Holy fuck. He got dipped. He <laughs> did. He got dipped. 48 hours later. Wait, what is that? Huh? It's a body. We found his body in the secondary digestion tank. He got dipped. I thought he, they found him an hour later. What are you talking about? We pulled him out, but no. Mr. Grand. 
Holy fuck! Oh dear! We couldn't even recognize him anymore. The director of the plant lost his job over the accident. Mr. Grand! And many of the employees were traumatized. Most of them quit after the accident. I was hospitalized Scorn. for a few days, but I was fine. It was time for me to go home. I still can't get the image of his decomposed body out of my head. Yeah, I don't think you're fine, dude. I know I gotta move on, but it's gonna take some time. Holy shit. Bro, he got fucking digested and turned basically turned into feces. Fully fecal fecalized and loving it. Dude. He essentially got 3D printed. He got turned into poop. He got turned into poop. Fuck. People die in manure lagoons outside of factory farms. Manure lagoons. In 2019, there were 36 sewage accidents in Japan. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And Guys, this fucking YouTube channel is terrible. Alright. Guys. One more. It ends on a guy dying from shit. One more. From the same channel? Yes? No. You want a Fabiosa? It's too late for Fabiosa. Well, you just want to watch one Fabiosa video? They said they, they, they said they want something more lighthearted. We saw two videos where someone dies at the end. We did in a row. You want something more lighthearted. Okay. Here it is. My husband lost. Here we go. My husband lost 66 pounds on a business trip. He was hiding something in the bathroom. <gasps> Get out and shut the door. Um, have we seen this? No. He just took off his penis and threw it in the toilet. I searched all over and found nothing. I prepared a romantic night for our anniversary. So We're gonna have to start doing volume warnings for these streams too. Sorry, but I wanna sleep. I'm tired after my trip. I began to think Paul had a lover. The next night, strange noises woke me up. I saw the silhouette of a- That's fucking Wee Fit Trainer. Ballerina in a tutu. Did your lover escape through the window? It's just me and I'm hot. Let's go to bed, Zoe. He was wearing the... The yeah, next he... day, okay. I found shapewear under the wardrobe. I wanted to talk, but Paul never came home. His car was parked outside a fancy mansion. Non sequiturs. Okay, where... What... Okay, did you randomly, by coincidence, see his car parked outside of this house? In the courtyard, I saw who he traded me for. I was about to approach her when suddenly... <gasps> Paul, here. Thanks for cleaning the pool. Good news. She was married. Paul wasn't cheating. Bad news. He could still be fucking her. Paul was hiding what the money was for. I'm like encouraging her paranoia. I waited at home, desperate to know the truth. But I hadn't slept, so I couldn't stay awake. I woke up. Mike, have you seen the video of a sewage worker breaking open a pipe and falling in, getting sucked straight through with the sewage flow feet first? Yo, fucking... Sewage 
related accidents sounds like a really, really on cool rabbit hole to go down. Honestly, probe. Thanks for nine months of support, bud. And saw a note from Paul on my desk. He left again for an urgent long. I'm off on an urgent business trip. Didn't want to wake you. He left again for an urgent long business trip. I decided to follow him. I wanted to get the address from his work, but I found out he took his second leave this. I was approached by a on dead shade from the fucking the far side of the river sticks who told me he took his second leave this month. Month. Paul's lies broke my heart. I fainted just as I was calling the ambulance. I woke up in the hospital. The doc was concerned. She's going to fuck him. You have to calm yourself. You're pregnant. <gasps> Shocked. I was about to leave when suddenly I saw Paul and the doctor. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat the placenta. We just remove everything under anesthesia? Eating an organ made in-house sounds so crazy. Yeah, don't worry, it will be quick. But my wife doesn't need to know. I won't let you take my baby away. Zoe, you're pregnant? They were talking about Paul's surgery, not mine. <gasps> What's wrong with him? Is it... Is it cancer? <laughs> the fuck is this? Placenta farming? I made sure you didn't see this nightmare. He wanted to lose weight for our anniversary. But he didn't expect his skin to sag so much. Cream for stretch marks, shapewear, nothing helped. Scorn. So he began to earn extra money for the surgery. A manager by day, a janitor for the rich by night. Also, he wouldn't be ashamed to be with me. Soon Paul had the excess skin removal <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Look. Just one little snip and a tuck later and you got a fucking six pack and massive pecs. Also huge biceps, by the way, which... What? And we became happy parents. Good intentions can pave the road to hell. Good intentions can pave the road to hell? I, 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 I guess that makes sense for, for this. Because he had good intentions, but no, because not really, because it, was, it wasn't her good. No, because it was her paranoia of, of him and her insecurity. That were, was paving the road to hell. Not his good intentions. So no, it doesn't make sense. What secret... Google Translate garbage. Almost destroyed your marriage. What secret almost destroyed your marriage, chat? My husband glowed at night. He was a fucking Twilight vampire? He ate a meal prepared with uh, cave glowfish. Glowing cave fish. His shirt tore apart and revealed huge stitches. Why are you surprised? You got the same ones. What? 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 He's a lizard person? Uh-oh, better not let him on the plane. You got the same ones. Why are you... Bro, he's got a zipper on his back like little fella. My wife found out I was a Jabroni Mike viewer. Speaking of lizard people... Uh... Holy shit, really? Hmm. What do humans have on their shelves? Barbecue sauce sounds about right. Look at how odd that is. You know what they don't understand though? 
Yeah. He's a sweet baby Ray's fanboy. And that is so sweet bottle of sweet baby Ray's up there. He's a sweet baby Ray's fanboy through and through. Right? I think he put the uh, sweet baby Ray's up there just to like goon over it. You know what I'm saying? Like he put it up there just to be like, uh, as, as like, that's like his Reddit shelf. Like that's his version of having a Funko Pop behind him. You know what I mean? For, for, this, for the Zoom call or something. Right? He knows the meme. He thinks it's funny. You think so? He's either going with the joke or he has bottles stashed all over his house for emergencies. Or he's on ironically such a fanboy that he popped it up there and he's like, yeah, I'm I'm rep I'm repping sweet baby Riz. He defo knows the meme. Field huge stitches. Why are you surprised? You got the same ones. The same what? A bad stitches? dream became a reality. I couldn't breathe. Because of my husband's briefs, but he wasn't around. Seth, I had a dream that you're back. He didn't let me finish, hit his back, and made me leave. I asked about it on the way to our honeymoon. I gently stroked his back, but he shrieked with pain. Seth lost control, and we skidded off the road. Busy fixing his car. Yo, she's a... Uh... She's looking thick. Seth ignored me. His shirt tore apart and revealed huge stitches. Why are you surprised? Yeah, he's just going to fix that by himself. Yeah, he's just going to fix that. You got the same ones. Chills went down my spine as I felt the threads. My back was indeed covered in stitches. Seth Holy fuck. Claimed we used to be one whole. What does that mean? Guys, what the fuck is going on? Scorn. Um. Still. Still think she's hot. I have to sew you back to me, so we'll always be together. Seth woke me up. I dozed off in the car. This is fucking demented. I had a nightmare about your back again. I stopped. His back was glowing through the shirt. This is this is fucking directed by Christopher Nolan. <laughs> I ran. No, it's more Nolan shit, bro. There's a car coming. Get a load of this. Without looking back, and fear gave me strength. I ended up on the road and saw headlights too late. Fear gave me strength. Lars von Trier. Then something lifted me in the air. It was Seth. He just jumped over that car. Seth was wrestling. Bitch, you were supposed to eat one edible and you were supposed to wait two hours for it to activate. After miraculously saving me. I broke the rule. Look at her dumpy crushing that vehicle. I'm sorry. I can't stay with you. Wait, explain. Who are you? He swore I'd know everything in nine months and vanished. Nine months later, oh, no. I had a son. His back was glowing. And he had wings. Was my husband an angel? The glowing started getting too bright. My eyes. What happened? How did I get here? Where's my son? There was no child. He spent a week in a coma. <laughs> You've been in a coma since you ate that bat. Why'd you eat that bat, you dopey bitch? <laughs> we crashed on the way to our honeymoon. Seth died. In denial, I fell into a coma. Yeah, but... He d Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. In denial... Seth died. <laughs> it's a chat! Seth didn't make it. Uh, dude, three in a row. Three in a row, dude. Usually only, this, only the Sonic ones contain this much death, right?
Uh, the la the last one didn't have death. No, the one no, it wasn't three in a row. Three in a row. It wasn't three in a row. The last one didn't. In denial, I fell into. Yeah, but the shit with the with 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 the the stitches on their backs was was going on before they even left for this honeymoon. Wasn't it? To a coma, the stitches, rescue, baby, none of it happened. I remembered the crash, but something worried me. Seth's back. He did hide it. I was right. Spiteful Crow, thanks for 29 months. It's a Shanamalan movie. Yeah. But why? My husband's calendar notification popped up. He had a meeting with a Stacy the next day. I found the chat. They met before our wedding. My fiance can't know. It is, there's too much happening here, dude. Oh. I couldn't believe my Seth had a lover. Our love was like from a movie. And then I tried to stop imagining someone leaving scratches on Seth's back, but I needed to know the truth. Scratches. On Seth's back, but I needed to know the truth. I escaped from the hospital and went to that meeting. The address led me to a tattoo salon where Stacy worked. My sweetheart wasn't cheating. He got a tattoo. Maggie, you're my wings. That blows. Oh, because the baby uh, had angels in the dream, but the baby doesn't exist. See, here's where I thought it was going, right? She finds out that this guy cheated on her, and then it's like, I'm happy that he died. The end. Man, really dodged the bullet with that one. Thanks for killing him, God. Right? Like, I thought, I thought, I thought that was going to be the ending. Turns out it was a good thing that he died. But they made a mistake in my name. Meiji, you're my wings. Seth hit his back for me until it was fixed. <laughs> it was Meiji. <laughs> my beloved didn't... She touched his fresh tattoo and that made him die. Betray me, but he was gone. In my dream, <laughs> Seth was an angel, but with no wings. Wow, so she killed him. He was my wings, and I couldn't fly again. She killed him. I couldn't live without him. Why live without him? She's gonna fuck that doctor. You'll go home soon, thanks to your guardian angel. Seth didn't just save me in my dream. He shielded me. The paramedics could only resuscitate one of you. Seth sacrificed himself and begged them to save me. That doesn't make sense. Wait, he, but, 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 but how, but he was unconscious. He could only resuscitate one of you? Like, it's, it's, it's like fucking paramedics drive around with Phoenix Downs. Right? Like they, drive, they only have, they only have like, f they only have like four of them and they used three of them that night. You know, like they had, wait, what, why can you, why, why could you only resuscitate one of them? So they resuscitated him and then he said, no, put me back under and, and use this on her. Put me, re-kill me and then use your final resuscitation on her. Revive was on cooldown. I decided to heal sluts. Carry on for his sacrifice all alone. I just don't, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I just don't understand what that means. They could only resuscitate one of us. So if he was fucking unconscious, then how did the, how did he, like, 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 like what happened in that scene, man? He said it in the voice chat. <laughs> he said it in the voice chat. He was conscious and he said, no, take my wife who is in a coma to the hospital and not me. I guess. Seth's 
Seth left me nothing but memories. Before I was... Seth left me nothing but memories. ...discharged, my new test results came in. I was pregnant. Seth left me a part of himself. The I thought there was no baby. What the fuck? This, this, this is so bad. Boy was born a carbon copy of Seth. Exactly like in my coma dream, but for the wings. She's a slow living blogger. You can tell by the way she talks. Seth left me a gift. A massive load. I will take Matt. The boy. I will take Seth's place. Was born a carbon copy of Seth. We go to Seth's favorite latte shop. And then I saw a butterfly. Exactly like in my coma dream, but for the wings. I see Seth in my dreams every night. Thank you for your love, my life, and our son. Our time together was too short, but unforgettable. Even in the daytime. This fucking sucks. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is this bad? Wow. I know Seth is always around. He'll always be a guardian angel for me and our boy. Who do you consider your guardian angel? Your fucking mother. Fuck you. All right, that's it. Enough of this shit. Fuck this. All right, listen to me. That fucking sucked. Oh my God. What? Guys, thank you so much for being here and watching. Do not leave yet. Do not leave. Thank you for all the support, though. Thank you for all the money, the gift subs, and the the uh, subs, and the uh, super chats and shit. If you are new to this channel, please check out the links I am posting in chat. It's my social media stuff, my YouTube channels. Kofi and Patreon, if you'd like to support. There's my Kick channel. Follow there, too. And uh, please check out our Discord server. Okay? Get in the... Don't leave yet. Go in the Discord server and join it so you can get stream notifications and you can get your cock sucked clean. Okay, very cool. Guys, we're going to do something very special at this point. Okay? This is why I asked you not to leave. Okay? Um, we're going to do something very special. We're going to do our amazing, unique, one-of-a-kind... This doesn't happen anywhere else on Twitch. Uh, our community media share segment. All right. You are not going to want to miss this shit, guys. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. It's from uh, Jack Cheese. It is some uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic or Oranges art. Uh, there's, oh, a little comic. You see that awesome organ boss. Remember we saw that at the, in, in Sonic 2 at the bottom of the mine? At the bottom of the, the, the caverns? And there's, um... There's Amy. I wonder if this boss is cool. Is it cool? Was this cool? <laughs> right, because I had all the Chaos Emeralds at that point. So we just steamrolled that son of a bitch. Uh, we also got this one from Rat King, Iowa. It's a very, a very fun little um, angry mic. And there's a little, a little Venetian mask fella back there. He's saying, come. Love it. Really cool looking. I love when, I love when, when, when the word come is, is used. Um, just fills me with so much joy. And here's something from Screen Anonymous. Check this out. The Gluck Gluck Hamster. And he's enjoying a uh, grapefruit there. He's uh, eating the peel, which is a little concerning. But hey. Gotta find some way to avoid scurvy. I guess, right? You gotta... Gotta uh, make the best of it. Uh, screen guy, love this. Thank you. Very cool. And finally, what looks like from Bosun Joe, some kind of video uh, that we're going to see here, guys. Let's, uh, let's take a peek here. 
After a controversial interview with lead programmer Mikuro Kakusai of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it looks like Pride Month may become Pride Year. Take a look at this. So the new building mechanic has been a big hit among players, but a lot of them have used it to make large penises. Was there any concern to prevent this in development? Well, yes, we certainly had the technology to prevent such constructions, but we decided against it as it conflicted with the ultimate goal of the game. And what goal is that? To turn anyone who plays it gay. The <laughs> hit. All right, hold, hold on. I guess this is crop is fucked up. Yeah. Zelda has gamers drooling for cock. An <laughs> agenda behind the latest Zelda game was a surprise to many, but popular video game live streamer Vinny Vinesauce was quick to pick up on it. Wait, someone else? An Italian with a beard that is not Vinny? CNN. They had Vinny on CNN again. Okay, I apologize for that. We do not have Vinny Vinesauce this time, but instead his estranged cousin Jabroni Mike. Jabroni Mike, like many other streamers, thought The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to be a comfy game, but already at the intro, his expectations were shattered. <laughs> subliminally. What subliminally? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Is that lighting? <laughs> what is that? Are you seeing that? The twinkification of the main character did not go unnoticed either. Why are his <laughs> hips so wide? It's the, uh, the estrogen. They gave him cake and made him fucking, dude. What are they fucking doing at Nintendo? They made him at perfect, like, cock, cock eating height. The stream started with epic fails and silly moments, but after only 30 minutes, Jabroni Mike was starting to change. I like men now! <laughs> Jabroni Mike is no longer streaming the game after an incident where he mistook the low gravity for dropped frames, and has since moved on to more extreme fetish games such as Fat Baby and Lord of the Rings Gollum. A tragic story indeed. <laughs> since the release of Tears of the Kingdom, birth rates are down while cock porn consumption is at an all-time high. <laughs> the president of Nintendo of America, Doug Bowser, has given a statement on the issue. <laughs> Listen up, bitch. I have the exclusive Dragon Dildo Amiibo and when I scan it into the game I get 7,777 free draws, no! the legendary hero Lucky and an exact replica of said dildo with 10 million powers <laughs> spawned right into the game. When I fuse it onto my thick stick I can use it to pound Ganondorf's prostate until it's flat like a pancake from the Denny's Hobbit <laughs> breakfast meal, beating the game easily in- Fuck you! In under five minutes. Yeah, you heard me. Ganondorf is in the game. It's spoiled asshole. And if you have a problem with that, feel free to send me an email and I will print it, lower my trousers and drop a fat steaming log on it. Now don't call me ever again. <laughs> Fucking great. After a controversial interview with- Oh, uh, that was outstanding. Thank you. Uh, uh, who was it? Bosun Joe having a lot of fun with uh, the AI voices there. Link to this. Uh, it's on the boo room. I'm gonna put this in the chat. Guys, I gotta go. There's a little bit of a something happening. Uh, I think it might be poop. This video ruled. Guys, you all ruled. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight and uh, supporting the channel, everybody. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did tonight. Like I said, I keep saying this is like my most fun kind of stream to do. Um, I, um... I'm going to stream tomorrow. I think just Dave the Diver. I think, honestly, we'll do Sonic. Like, later in the week. We'll do it later in the week. We'll do it, like, Wednesday or something, okay? Um, Have a great night, everybody. Oh, yeah, showing hole. Um, I'm going to show hole very soon. Like, right now. Ready? Here it comes.